How's everyone doing today? It's your boy Keychan, and today we're gonna continue our MSQs, boys. We're gonna continue our MSQ. We got my machinist leveled up. She's nice and ready, and so we're still in queue. We're at, like we're the 17th player or the 15th player in queue. All right, well, I think we're the 17th player in queue because there's 16 players right now ahead of me. Um, as soon as we get in, we'll start off with the uh, MSQ and uh, go on from there. My day off, so I might be playing for a while. Hey, Ladybird, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. How's the new PC? You excited? Huh? You happy you got a new PC? Is, this, is it better than your Xbox? It's fun, right? <laughs> I've been well, thank you. you know, I've just been working lately. But the new expansion to this MMO came out, so I, I, I wanted to stream it. But mostly just work, you know? I, I've been staying away from stall, uh, Call of Duty, anything competitive. It's just fucking stressing me out, you know what I mean? Oh, wow, there's a new update to the plugins. Let me turn the music off. Uh, all your plugins were disabled on manual due to this update. This is normal. Open the plugin installer and then click update plugins. Do I have the plugins now? Let's see. Oh shit, you can't even see the game, right? Um, let me put this on for you. Hopefully y'all can see it now. Perfect. Yeah, just work. It's it's okay. Yeah. I got this plugin, you know. All your plugins have been disabled. While we tested and the release plugins considerably with a small set of people and believe they are, are stable, we cannot guarantee you. All right, let's see if we have our plugins installed, if it works. Installed plugins. Oh, they're not working yet. Um, update. Let's just update some of these plugins, boys. Update. Easy maps. Update. Update. FC name. Update that. Fly text. Update that. Finally, we got some. Some of my favorite plugins are available. Market board. I don't even use market board. Peeping Tom. Uh, let's update that. Ping plugin. Update that. So we just know our ping. Nice. Okay. What's map? Repair me is not updated. Res me please. That's I like using that. Simple tweaks. I like using that. Mm-hmm. Russ is gonna be happy that the plugins are available. Some the oh the F uh the FPS counter is not not working yet. Oh well. Let's see if they have any new plugins that I might like. Alright, that's fine. We'll stick with that. My UI, how's my UI? Cool. Inventory. Alright, so U UI is good. What is that? Open the plugin installer. Yeah, we got that. Why is it beating like that? Why is it flashing like that? Is someone looking at me? Maybe someone's looking at me, admiring my freaking. My uh, baddie. My baddie of a fucking. Bunny lady. So sexy. Mmm. Sexy lady. 
All right, so let's go ahead and speak to Lucia. Right, Dylan's broad. Oh my god, I gotta refill my water soon. All right, <clears throat> Garden Mold. Let me message Russ, tell him there's plugins in the Discord. <sighs> I'm gonna be lurking. Thank you, Ladybird. Appreciate that. <laughs> Much love, you chan. Hope you have an awesome stream. Thanks again, Ladybird. Thanks for the support. Always showing love. I appreciate that, dude. I'm just gonna send a screenshot to Russ here. Uh huh. Give me one second, ladies and gentlemen. Uh huh. Just loading my screenshot folder. I hate when it does this. It's loading all the vi uh, the the pics and all my screenshots for the past like. Eight months. Oh, I'm getting like fifty FPS here. Shows. Mm, thank you for informing the others of our meeting. When everyone is here, we'll begin. Cutscene. Our present situation is as follows. Efforts to aid the people of Garlemald have begun in earnest. Moreover, having entered into the capital, the Imperial Palace is within our reach. But before we proceed further, we must learn what has befallen this city, for therein lies the key to understanding and combating the Telophoroi's designs. I have a suggestion, if I may. <laughs> Several of the Imperial soldiers we captured on the Magna Glacias are members of the Popularis and acquaintances of mine. Once we have cured them of their tempering, they should be able to give a reliable account of the events leading to the capital's downfall. A promising idea. I will assist the healers and their ministrations. Of course, I will require a proxy of my own, assuming you can spare one. Would you like a hand? No, no, I am sure we will manage. Better that you take my place in the field. The noxious <coughs> eater of this place disagrees with me, and as I shall need to draw on my own for the treatment, it will be prudent for me to remain within the camp. Okay. This talk of curing the tank is all well and good, but I reckon that shit. Yeah, shit. My smiths reckon that with the right parts, they can have them working again, but it won't be easy. Understood. The machinist will assist them in the repairs. The rest of us should either stand watch or survey the area. We've made our presence known to the Telophoroi. They will be searching for us, if they have not already ascertained our position. That we have seen no sign of them since the battle suggests they have yet to do so. However, I suspect they may be biding their time. Or perhaps we are beneath their notice. Don't say that, Stinian. In any event, we'll find no answers standing around here. Urianje, Estinian, and myself have visited Garlemald recently, so we'll lead the reconnaissance efforts. 
perhaps bolstered by a few Bosnian and Dalmaskian scouts from my previous excursion for good measure. Don't forget about us Alamegans. We have experienced scouts of our own. Well now, this is turning out to be a rather sizable team. With such numbers, we should be able to cover a wide area with relative ease, including that surrounding the Imperial Palace. How about you, Graha? I have a feeling we'll find a use or two for that vanishing <coughs> spell of yours. Vanishing spell? There you go. It would be my honor to be of service. Though I doubt that you of all people need rely on my tricks. That leaves us with guard duty. No worries. As a matter of fact, I have something else in mind for the two of you and Alphino. Between here and the center of the capital lies the Eblen Rhine. I would have you search the area for survivors. Okay. Your keen sense of direction, honed in your extensive travels, should prove useful in navigating the ice fields. Right. If there are any survivors, we'll surely find them. Extensive travels is something of an understatement, but I suppose if there's nothing else that needs to be doing. Ice fields? I love ice fields. Oh, wait, no, I don't. <laughs> I have faith that you will, and look forward to greeting you on your safe return. Yeah. You all have your duties. Let us make haste. May the Fury bless and keep you. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh, we're gonna talk to. Oh no. Ah, uh, gods be good. If 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 it's this cold with Doctor Rose closing, I dread to think how we'd fare without it. I must remember to thank her the next time we meet. It makes me realize too that while the people of Arlamal have spent their whole lives in this con in conditions like these, even they're they're they'd be hard pressed to survive. Anyway, from the warmth of their homes, if there are any survivors. We must find them and quickly. Uh, system configuration audio. Mm. Eminolian, I can't pronounce his his name. M. Minilian, Eminilian, Eminilian, Eminilian. What ho chum's been giving something to do? Have ya? As it happens, I too have been ordered to make myself useful. Sounds like sounds like rather a tall order. Um, since you asked, where to scour El Eblon Rhyme for survivors? Excuse me. What? Wander around ice fields on the off chance you'll find someone? You take forever to finish a job without the benefits of my expertise, or more specifically, my telescope. Come, friends. I know just the spot to begin our search. We're gonna use a uh, telescope. Hmm, I'll probably regret this, but we may as well honor him. Ah, uh, humor him. I say, I say honor. Why are we gonna honor him, dude? All right, so now we gotta find this guy over here. My bird can't fly. My bird can't fly yet. But she's trying. <laughs> oh, ether. Ether, I mean aether. There's an aether current. <laughs> Give me this, my good sir. Someone's chasing that poor man over here. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> so fucking cute. These things are so cute. Too bad I have to kill them if they if they act too if they act up. I might have to fucking put them down. You know what I mean? I have to end them. They can make me act up. Hmm. Look at that telescope, eh? Hmm. What do you see, right? 
Hmm. I spy with my lens. Whoa, chill, bruh. I can't read that fucking fast. A massive sheep thing. Or maybe it's a cow? Not what we're after either way. Is that an aether current? Oh no. Just a wind spite. <laughs> That's what I always think too when I see an aether current. An aether current. <laughs> it's a fucking sprite. Other than that, it's all snow. Snow, snow. But lo, what do I see our yon or yon hill 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 hillcock? Hillcock? Hillock? <gasps> There's no mistaking it. That's a lady. Hmm? A survivor? Show me. Over there, behind that tree. It looks like she's running away from something. Something, though. Surely not us. She wouldn't even know we're here unless she has a telescope like mine. All I can tell is that she's wearing a pale green dress. A rather f uh, fetching one at that. Mm-mm-mm. She'll be long gone by the time we get anywhere near, but we should be able to follow her footprints. Aye, aye. I'll let Lucian know where you're heading. Oh, and take these warming tech, uh, tech cures with you. Ten, ten kickers, ten kickers. Hmm. The poor girl must be chilled to the bone, if not on the verge of freezing to death. That's actually very thoughtful. Thank you. But won't you need some for yourself? No, no. I'll be fine. As a man of chivalry, my honor demands I do no less. And lest, lest we forget, the very reason we are here is to protect those in need. Now, go and Godspeed. Okay. Sounds like you just didn't want to come with us, you little, little bitch. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I got a polar bear, the perfect, okay, the perfect animal for this. Yes! Yes! Footprints in the snow, how f Wow, really? She didn't see us over there? Wow, really? okay. She didn't need a telescope to see us. Oh my god. A trail fresher footprints leads east. Someone's already mining or scavenging here, my lord. Back up. Back the fuck up. I'll end your life. These footprints to be the same those as you, you saw for you previously. They led to the which was a building. Ah, uh, we're getting closer. I'm sure of it. At first, we thought she'd gone inside the building, but the door doesn't look to have been opened in some time. So it might still be nearby, so we'll keep looking around here. Then again, it, uh, it's also possible that she ran right past this place. Would you mind searching up ahead? Sure. I'll go ahead in the dangerous wilderness. Okay. Surveying. Someone gonna attack me? I wish they would. I wish they would. Give me a reason to use my pistols. I wish they would, motherfucker. No, they're, they're not. They're not. They don't want it. They didn't want it. Didn't even want it, boys. Mm. Oh. She's right there behind the fucking tree. Do you not see it? The girl in the green dress anxiously surveys her surroundings. Were you to call out to her from this distance, it might attract wild beasts to her, to her location. It would be safer to get closer first. But you must do so without drawing her attention. Another sneaking mission, I right? am. Hey, another sneaking mission. Uh, follow the girl from a safe distance. The objective will end if in failure if you're unnoticed. Make sure to cover use cover such as rocks to approach her without being seen. Similarly, the objects the objective will also end in failure if you fall too far behind. Should you fall to complete, uh, should you fail to complete the objective, you may try again to return in the designated location. <laughs> now that'll attract attention. <laughs> Did 
Do you see me? Do you see me, lady? So far, so good. I saw Russ doing this type of mission, er, like, in his stream, too. But he was further ahead than I was. Don't you care, don't you dare. Use your peripheral peripheral vision, lady. How did you not see that person running in front of you? And then say anything about that, huh? Is someone there? No. What are those fucking things? Oh, she booked it. She done booked it. <gasps> Better catch my breath. Let me hide. Let me hide behind this rock here. So strategically placed, conveniently placed right here where you wanted to take a breath and. Look around and see if anyone's following you. I say hacks. Yeah, I'm so close to her. I could smell her. Hey yo. Pause. I hope my luck holds. I'm already looking for my next cover position. Gotta keep going. They're all depending on me. Who? Let me help you. Oh, she running it, boy. She running, boys. She running, boys. Oh shit! Bruh, bruh, are you serious? Bruh, she saw me. God damn, you serious? They got so far, dude. Talking all that noise. <laughs> God damn it. Talking all that noise and then she saw the shit out of me, bro. I gotta start all the way over here, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's not cool, man. Burr, man. I think she saw my chicken, that's why. Don't know what the fuck I'm around. I was still not showing their item level gear, though. You're gonna see that for sure. So far, so good. That's what you think. Kind of doing the same mission as me, bro. Showing them all the secrets.
<laughs> I'm trying to talk to him. He's not having it. He's not looking at his chat. I'm gonna have to go over here quick. My chicken. It's just a normal green chicken, right? In the cold. Go ahead. This is the final sprint. If she turns around now, I'm fucked. Okay, nice. Girl in green. Duty completed. Phew! Still in one piece. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Are you stay back this house is back with explosive take another step and I'll blow this place sky high what please we just want to talk and our good friend Cora we have no intention of hurting or taking anything from you or anyone else I give you my word and we are comrades we come to provide aid to the people of Garlemald Aid, you savages are the one who's responsible for all this. You did this to us. No, bitch. We didn't, I promise you. One of the reasons we came was to find out what happened here, in fact. The Teleforio are the ones to blame. They're, they're the ones who laid waste to Garnemouth, and they won't stop until they've destroyed the entire world. They're the enemy. Our enemy. On our way, we encountered an Imperial soldier who had the... Who had made their, their, who were made, who have been made their thralls. Those poor souls are now in our care, and we're striving to cure them of their affliction. Ah, oh, my nose itch. You're the first first friend we met, who hasn't already ens who hasn't already enslaved. What? Okay. How are you able to escape the Teleforos inf influence? Are there any others like you? I'm sorry. I don't mean to overwhelm you. Let's start with introductions. Can you tell me your name? My name is Licinia, and as for those I managed to stay, uh, as for how I managed to stay sane, I've been asking myself the same question ever since that night, and that roar, that terrible roar, and then the screams. I was screaming too, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember. <laughs> then came the silence. Everything was still. It was like waking up from a nightmare. I thought that maybe fighting had stopped, so I stepped outside. Damn, dude, girl, I all fucked up. If your hells are real, I saw one that day. I ran past friends, people I've known my whole life. Eyes vacant, dead, staring at the sky. Jesus Christ. Others were mad and violent. I saw them struggle with soldiers, but didn't stay to watch. I fled as far as my legs would take me. Do you have family here? Is this their home? Shakes her head. No, this is Victor Spoils, a mansion for retired soldiers or it was but now me and my me and a few others are I'm borrowing it as for the explosive 
I was just making that up. Yeah, Cap. She used to have it. She shot him lures in. Uh, I just wanted to keep everyone else safe. And I didn't know if you were... The truth is, our supplies are running low. You said you were here to help. Can you? Of course. Whatever assistance can we provide, we will. Thank you. I better tell the others first, though. Wait here. <laughs> this is everyone. How are you? This guy? this guy's wearing like a a lighter sweatshirt than you. Come on, man, man, man up. Lucinia said you can be trusted, but these are desperate times. We'd be fools to let you uh, foreign troops into our home. Having said that. Were you to provide us with means of heating this place as, as a sign of goodwill? Perhaps we can take you in at your word. If that is too much to ask, then leave us be. Time to put a f time to put my firewood gathering skills to use. Could you provide the spark with a little magic, Alize? Oh, these twins are cute. We'll have a fire burning in no time. May uh, may we build it under the under the the gazebos? Uh -huh. The what? Oh, you mean the bower? Yes, yes. Do as you will. It's a gazebo, bruh. Where are you from? You freak. Fucking freak. What am I to do? Oh, look for the wood. What's wrong with her? Well, you don't want to talk? You little bitch. Let's talk to Lysenia. Oh, we get a, uh, a leg gear. Hmm, sorry. I was still finding it hard to come to terms with all that's happened. Now that you're here, though, I'm hoping things might change for the better. You know, I've worked up quite a sweat from all that running about, so I'll leave this pla uh, space around the fire for the others. As, as you can tell, they're, they're in a far worse state than me. We're planning to look for somewhere warmer, or with more food. But they're not going to go anywhere until we nurse them back to health, which I don't know how to do. Is there anything you can do to help them? Da -da 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 -da. You want me to switch to healer, bitch? Are they playing music? They're jamming out, bruh. I can't believe they still have radio stations, but oh well. I can treat the frostbites on their wounds, but it'll take time for me to fire for for the fire to do its work. Now would be a good occasion to make uh, use of Emilian Tentacle Curse. Ten ten pictures. the one that can warm the body from the inside out. Would you make sure everyone gets one? Sure. Sure, I'll hand I'll hand them out. Start off with this guy right here. The, n the numbness is beginning to subside. Subside. Though I can suspect once the first the fire dies, it will return with a vengeance. Yeah, that's always the hard part. It's good now. Then when your painkiller worn, uh, wore, uh, warns out, wears out, it's done. Warming, ten pictures. I've never had such a thing. No harm in trying. But tell me, have you heard aught of the city? Through calling and. Though calling it that, that, calling that, calling it that seems absurd after what happens. It's nothing but ruins now. A few buildings still standing offer no more than a meager protection from the wind and snow. Food production, water purification, and the magic that sustained us has has come to a grinding halt. What machina that remains are oper operational cannot be run for a lack of uh, cerulean. Of course, cerulean ing ingens is full of that stuff. For all the good it does us, no one here knows the first thing about extraction or refinement. Ah, all is well. Yes, never better. You're, you're gonna get better here, bro. This is gonna be better for you, bro. Mm. Oh, 
what sweet liber uh, libation is this? Is it poisoned by any chance? Yes, bitch, actually it is. Try it. <laughs> it was a joke. A joke. <laughs> uh, uh, if I laugh, this that I may not weep. So said the poet, and alas, my tears would freeze on my cheek. Here they fell. We are all the we are we are the blessed blessed damned to bear witness to the fall of a great empire, while our brethren lay dead or live on live on as puppets of flesh. First came the war, then came the roar. When morning came, Garloman was no more. Hey, this this dude's spinning, bro. He's spinning, and it <laughs> a cacophony of gunfire explosions and screams was our beloved capital raised razzed to the ground from the rubble rose to the devilish remnants their lavish fi uh, finery kicked in ashes as they shuffled mindlessly towards the palace each bearing a fragment of a stone of stone or metal an offering perhaps to the architect of the of our destruction a hopeful few tried to reason with the deranged only to be beaten for their kindness but i know better than to plead with the with the horde i fled with my health if not my conscience preserved now i now i wait with my fellow cowards on our final judgment and that dude was spitting for a minute. What do you want, bitch? Hmm. Man, might as well drink it, I suppose. This guy being an asshole, bro. This? It's a radio. You don't have them where you're from, I take it? We use them to listen to messages sent by others. Even our great dis even the great distances. <laughs> there are different types, but this model is by far the most popular, made with, with quality components crafted with the finest ore. Sourced from Locus Locus Amo Amoanus What? Amo Amo Amonus it is? Not all this, I said anus, not all that useful since the capital fell into ruin. The people at the broadcasting station must either must have either fled or ended up like the others because all we've been hearing is the same music being played over and over again. Home Beyond the Horizon, an ode to the brave men and women sent to reclaim our ancestral homeland of Locus Amonis. We have founded an empire in this frozen ways, but we always hope to take back what was once ours. Tis a solemn reminder that, though we must suffer great hardships, better days will surely come. Despite everything, I believe the Emperor of ours yet lives, and that he speaks to us th through our radios. It was a cunning stra strategy. I can't. I can never say that word. Faking his murder, we must have foreseen this, uh, foreseen this catastrophe and chose to concern, conceal himself. <clears throat> that he may one day make his triumphant return. Yes, yes, I'm sure, but Emperor Varus would not be defeated so easily. And. All right, next. What's that? Try it. It's for you. Well, this is what you gave the others. Thank you. I'll save it for later. Actually, I have a few things to ask you. Are you part of the group staying in Latarium? I saw Legatus Virgilius troops heading towards that. Towards the Magna Glacius a few days ago. And they're the ones you encountered? Hmm, camp's broken glass, you call it. <clears throat> and Virgilia and her men are all there now? Hmm. 
So how did you read to Magne Glasses? Glasses? Did you cross the mountains on foot? Why are you asking for intel, bitch? I don't trust you. Airships. Then there might be a way to. Where is everyone? Is something the matter? I knew I couldn't trust a voice from inside, you say? You must have been you must have been imagining things. Everyone's out here. Perhaps a baby ominously has found its way into the house. It wouldn't be that first it wouldn't be the first time. Amaste? Almost, almost, uh, without the soldiers just carrying them off, wild animals have been roaming closer to the settlements. Some even been known to attack people too. I've, I've just an idea. If you and your others are strong enough to defeat to defeat a le legatus, then surely the, a few beasts wouldn't shouldn't pose a threat. This girl is lying, dude. If you mind to continue helping us, perhaps you could head to the other side of the lake. There's a small group of trappers living there. People whose jobs was to extract ceruleum. Still, they still do, from what they can, from what we can tell. I've already tried asking if they would uh, share their fuel with us, but they're not willing to give it away. She wants. She she has an airship. They want food in exchange, lots of food, and that's something we don't have and can't go on on our own. On top of that, to even reach their den, we'd have to make our way past all those creatures. Would you be willing to go in our place? We've only need enough ceruleum to last until the others are strong enough to travel to your camp. If the offer still stands, that is. Oh, and I don't expect you to give up your own supplies, but there might be another way to pay the tappers. The ceruleum you need is the room you shall have. You best watch for baby honesties while we're away. Yeah, bitch. I don't trust you. <laughs> I don't trust you, bro. You lying. There's something in there. Huh. Oh, yeah, of course. I see. Uh, if I see any, I'll be sure to shoo, shoo them away. Oh, this bitch is lying, dude. To reach trappers, then you'll have to cross the lake. The ice is thick enough to support a person's weight. But if you rather not take the risk, you'll need to take the long way around. Finding the entrance can be a bit tricky, too. It's easier to just look for someone standing guard outside. However... You decide to head there, please be careful. This bitch is lying. On God, she's lying, dude. <sighs> Why are you lying, huh? You want me to go all the way over there, huh? I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna go through that ice. Hey, a machinist. I might need another ring. Exartic. Augmented, augmented, augmented. I need to augment that. I'll start by slaying this beast ahead of me. Look at these creatures. I'll start. I'll start by slaying these creatures. You. You creatures. You creatures, stay away. Stay away from this place! Uh, you creatures! You damn creatures! Oh, 
creatures? You think I'm scared of you creatures? Huh? You think I'm afraid of you creatures? I'm doing this without a chocobo, you creatures. I'm, clean. I'm, I'm, I'm destroying all these creatures, bro. How did that creature not die? Honestly. I don't need help. I think I've destroyed enough creatures for now. Who goes there? How did you find us? Did you not just see me murdered all those creatures? Ah, oh, those stuck up our heirs holes. Thought they could come waltzing in here demanding Cerulean with nothing to offer in return. Ah, looks like those boots on the other foot now. The capital's gone to shite. So they resorted to sending you to negotiate. I know your game sells word. If you think you're willing to give, uh, your, if you think we'll give you into, we'll give in to your intimida intimidation. You've got another thing coming. Oh, bro, you want some? You you want a, you want a piece? Oh, you want a piece? Oh no no no! You, you want a piece? I I didn't know you wanted a piece. I didn't know you wanted a piece. I didn't know you wanted a piece, bro. Oh oh shit! You wanted a piece, bro. You wanted a piece. You get the whole cake, bro. I'll give you the whole cake, bro. You wanted a piece, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Huh? <laughs> you know, bro, he, he thought I was all, he thought I was in about my business. He thought I was just talking. Let it, you know. How to give him a piece, bro. How to give him a piece. There you are. Just after you left, Lucina asked me to go and catch up with you in case you needed a hand. Somehow, someone must have let that slip that I've had a little experience in transporting barrels of Cerulean. Hmm. This, so this is the trapper's den. Well, after you. Let me look at my chair a little and my arm is kind of... Who are you? What happened to the guards? I oh, fucked them up, dude. Merosian and Rose here to save the people of Merlemond? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Why in hells would you pass up this, this chance to put those Imperial bastards to the sword? Let me guess, none of you are Gerlanian. You were brought here from other lands. Hey, you're right. Garabania, Yanxia, Boja, Delmasca, to name but a few. Some dragged here against our will, others fret bulks about a better life. But to work ex extracting Cerulean? All given the esteemed title of, uh, of On, placing us firmly in the bottom r rung of the ladder? But the old hierarchy means nothing in the new garland mode, as we as says we. About the only thing that's escaped more or less unscathed in Cerulea is Cerulea engines still sustaining us, even our past our pain masters out of the picture. We hear you're you're expert in drawing up Cerulean from the bottom of the lake, but how can you do that if it's frozen over? Ah, wouldn't you like to know trade secrets, I'm afraid. At any rate, it's not as if Cerulean is used for much these days. With what the city in ruins, we take enough of, to power our he our heaters and sa uh, save the surplus for later. And though it helps drive off the cold, it does sod all all it does it does sod all about our hunger, unless we can trade it anyway. Speaking of which, be sure to tell your conting contingent we've got Cerulean by the barrel full. If you're interested, we'll exchange for whatever provisions or be willing to spare. We can certainly ask, but if you're all free from free to go now, we carry on living here. Free to go? Go where? 
Even if we manage to get back to our homeland, there'll be nothing left for us thanks to the Empire and the knowledge and skills we acquired working here would be practically useless outside of Garlemon. So we're staying here for the time being. As long as there's a need for Cyril, we'll find a way to get to get by. Even if Garlemon, as we knew it, is gone for good. I don't know about gone for good. Gone for good? I don't know if it's gone for good. I doubt it. Regardless of what the Ilzbar continue does, does for the people of Garlemont, the Empire itself is already a thing of the past. For many, that would be a cause for celebration, while for others, their whole way of life have been, will have been turned upside down. After all the atrocities committed to, in the Empire's name, perhaps it is for the best that we, that this is co-signed uh, co to history. But what of the ordinary people? Their lives, their stories, should they be forgotten too? I suppose there'll be plenty of time to ponder this later. For now, let's see about getting them getting some cerulean. Hey, legs! I got leg uh, leg stuff. So you can't see cerulean, have you? No, I'm just you know chilling, chilling in the snow. What those pure buds up in the Victoria Sproles sent you? To turn their enemies for to turn to their enemies for help, they must be more desperate than I thought. But then again, listen, <laughs> has got her little sisters to think about. A sister, but we only saw the scene in three men. It's possible she died from whatever she was ail uh, what was ailing her. If she may, uh, needed treatment, I doubt there'd be any way to get to get it around here. That's why she wanted to save that for her sister. I may have refused Lucina at first, thinking she'd come back with something to exchange, but I can spare them a bottle's worth, worth of cerulean. Consider a reward for introducing me to the rest of your communion. Be sure to send them our way, You're, you hear? Mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't for the life of me think, though, why Lucinia would keep her sister's secret from us. But we can ask about that after we deliver the cer cerulean. Come and hurry back. Da, 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 da. Uh. Da, 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 da. Oh. I don't like that one. It's too slow. I mean, my wolf. Look at these creatures. I just murdered your whole clan, and you still want to get no? You still want to get feisty with me? For a while, relax on Not the toxic shell chest as well. Wow, seems like regular Wednesday afternoon to me. I thought this was League of Legends. Wow, they're actually fighting in the shell chat. It's pretty bad. I'm not here, not in, not in Final Fantasy, guys. Just for that, I'm gonna report. Damn it, I can't report him. Yeah, forget it. Oh, look, at that. look at that little lollipop. This isn't right, it's too quiet. I would have thought often it would still be treating them by, by the fire, but they're nowhere to be seen. I'll look inside the house where you should have watched that. They can't go far. Yeah, I knew it, dude. Ah. 
I like how she walks. The sound of her walk. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. What the hell are you doing, Alpha Moon? Why did you fucking murder these three men? They asked me, asked me to help carry supplies, but when I followed them back here, they, they attacked me, caught me off guard, forced me to defend myself. I fear they feared rather worse than me. You can't fool us. We know, we know what you're about. What are you talking about? Vultures. That's what you are. Waiting, waiting in the wings for us to show weakness, and then you swoop. See, Garlemald, like, see how these people think, dude? Here to help? What a rot. All you ploy to make us lower our guard. Let you in. Put ourselves at your mercy. Put us in chains. Steal our lands. Get your revenge. I found an empty medicine. I found empty medicine bottles and a bed that was still warm. It's true, really, you know, was adding her sick sister inside the house. But now there's no sign of either of them. Where are they? Where did they go? Away from you and yours. And if you think I'll tell you, you're a fool. I'd never give up my people. Oh my god. It's so arrogant. So ignorant. We're trying to help them, you idiot. Tell them. Tell her. Tell them. Tell them. Her sister's ill. The empty bottles prove it. So the medicine ran out, or she put them in her pockets to make it easier to carry. Or to avoid sound of clicking glass. Clink, clink, clinking, clink, 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 clink. There are beasts everywhere. How can you let them go alone, you fucking idiot, to protect them from you? What is, what is with your thought process? You, you're, you, you need help. You invade our homeland, taint it with the same sorcery you used to slay our countrymen. A Garlanian should should sooner die than suffer that, the insult. Better for them to flee, keep their purity intact, than be corrupted by your vile magics. Aw, oh, dude, you're so ignorant. We were, we were waiting, waiting for a chance to flee them, since the moment you arrived. <laughs> you know, they, they think they're better than us. Let him die. This is getting us nowhere. I cannot say how the Sienna and your sister will react when we find them. But find them we must. Go without me, both of you. I first need to tend to my injuries and theirs. I will join you in the search after. Alright, be careful. Just kill them, bro. They're so ignorant. They don't want any help. They think they're better than this. So let them die. We'll do our, our our best to find them quickly. We're only one path out of here, so that's where we'll start. And it's raining. It's snowing. It's raining. Let's go. Speak with Alize. Yeah, let's talk in front of the sprite, huh? Talk in front of the sprite, huh? This is the fresh red young, young woman judging by the size. This is definitely them. Come. Those footsteps are small. What are you talking about? Who are we chasing? Fucking infants?
The trail stops at the frozen lake where half they chose this route so that yeah, I can't think of any reason. Look at this place, it's crawling with bees, and I can only imagine how hard it must be for him for her alien sister to cross the ice. We could really do with Alphanu's help, but we can't afford to wait for him. Let's uh, split up and look for clues. Look for clues, eh? I find uh, found something shining over here. empty bottle it smells faintly of alcohol the thin coating of dirt indicates it's been here for some time it's unlikely to have any connection with the CMS this year. where else can I look for clues maybe over here Buried piece of paper. The wet paper half buried in the snow preserve for hours there. That's not it. <laughs> this one moves pretty fast. Oh, fresh blood. This has to be it. She probably coughed it up. Huh. Dumbass. You dumbass. It serves you right, you idiot. You fucking idiot. We're dead. Good pose. I know a good pose. Right here, right here, right here, right here. I know a good pose. Oh, wait. Two. Play. Dead. Too close. Oh, no. You're kneeing them right in the face. No, damn, she need him right in the face, though. I have to be closer over here somewhere. And play dead. And now we go to cheapos. Great kneeing her head. <laughs> I want her kneeling. Like, devastated that they died because they don't listen. They think they're so much better than us. And now they did. I can't. I don't feel sorry for them.
Get this fucking NPC out of here. Get my minion out of here. This is what happens when you don't listen. Yeah, I could have done a better posing job. Yeah, this, uh... The two bodies are already cold. Yeah, they're dead. They're dead. trail we found one they were attacked no oh, hold on Safer to brave the wilds than trust in our magic. I, I, I don't. I don't feel bad. We should have. I should have. Oh, leave him there. Feed him to the. Feed him to the beast. We can't leave them like this. Nah, I'm not caring. No. What if we're only making it worse? Maybe we don't belong here, but neither do they. Not out here in the wind and the cold. They chose that. They chose that, Alpha Nude. I heard the story about Varus's voice from beyond the grave. Of course, I didn't believe it, but Lacinia and her sister did. Perhaps there is something to the tale after all. I want to understand. So I'm going to borrow this for a while, if that's all right. No, they can't hear you, Alpha. No, they're dead. You had every reason not to trust us. We came as trespassers, invaders. But I pray that in time, we will be more than that to you. That we will find a way to help your loved ones. And see that no more children are left to freeze alone in the snow. You're too nice sometimes.
There must have been something we could have done, but what? Should we have come here? Would they still be alive if we hadn't? Your mail. Subscription received. Thank you for renewing your class two access. Thank you, dude. Mind state thirty seven just subscribed. Your. 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 <laughs> so we get a foot gear. We've already caused enough harm here. Let's return to the camp before we cause any more. As for those inside the house, we should send someone to take care of them. Someone who isn't us. All we can do now is make our report to Lucia. Lucia. And do everything in our power to prevent further tragedy. So let's, ling so let's linger here no more. Let's go. I always press E. I'm always I like when I put my fingers down in the keyboard. I thought I think I have it on WASD. Let's go. Seventy gil, say less. I'm rich as fuck, boy. What is this do I have here? It's a little coffer. What do you have here? What do you have here? Ooh. It's stronger than my... Uh, it's uglier too. It's uglier too. It's stronger than what, what I have now, which is the Crippler Curse. 520 gear. This is a 525 gear. I don't know if I should get the augmented Crippler. Maybe I should. How much is the augmented Crippler? We'll put it on for now. Oh, we can't even glamour here. Uh, let me just get the uh, augmented Crippler real quick. Nine hundred seventy-five gil. Say less. I'm rich as fuck. We'll compare the stats. Crip lurker gear exchange. Do I have the? Oh, I don't need the gun. Armor. Is it fine? Oh no, it's him. Tomes of poetics. Other. Tomes of Poetics, uh, Dawn of War, Aug Armor, Augmented Crypt Lurker from a Machine, yes. that's an item comparison, it's way stronger. I gotta start selling some stuff now, my pants are starting to fill up. Augmented Crypt Lurker. Let's equip. And then where's the Crypt Lurker one? There it is. Retrieve Materia. Used to be 60, now it's 24. Kinda whack. Kinda, kinda wacko. Kinda wacko if you ask me. I'm out of water. Let's go. Wait. While we're here. Let's get the augmented crippler ring while we're here. Might as well. It's only like 200 uh, poetics.
Where's the ring at? to get material on that thing too. Direct hit or determination. We're going direct hit. Please! Jeez Louise. Thanks for the subscription, by the way, my state. You're the best. You're the best boy. Mm -hmm. While we're here, let's see if we can get my... Where's the... Where's the fucking... There is summoning bell. Still selling. Hey. Just paid for my um material. Thank you. Yell. It's all good. I'm rich as fuck. This is just a shot. Mm, I was saying enough to tell me they finish. Tell me they finished their primary search for survivors. But I refrained from saying much less much more than that but refrain from saying much more than that clear there are they are reluctant to provide de provide details when i ask for your account my throat it just <sighs> thank Voice you acting? for your report nice we shall inform the troops of these developments and instruct them to proceed with the utmost caution should they encounter any survivors Allow me to go and speak with the ones at the Victor's Spoils. They may be more willing to listen to a fellow Garlean and accept our offer of assistance. I pray you are right. And though I am loath to burden you any further, should there be an appropriate occasion to speak of Lacinia and her sister, please do so. I'm sorry to have put you through this. My distress is nothing compared to their suffering. So <laughs> tell me, what else have we learned? As you may have already heard, we have succeeded in curing the members of the Popularis, Maxima identified. They have provided us with some intriguing insights into the current okay. state of Garlemont. Sorry, my sister just sent me a text. The assassination of Emperor Varus was the catalyst God for the civil damn. war. Because, Nerva declared uh, his claim to the throne, and his opponents refused to recognize it. Uh, Fighting broke out in the capital, where Nerva's third legion clashed with the first, who remained no. loyal to Varus even after his death. Of course, even Imperial warmongers would balk at the idea of turning their shining city into a battleground. Like burning down the wood to spite the wasps. Neither side would be so mad. Unless something or someone inflamed their animosity to such an extent that they could not help but act against their better judgment. It brings to mind events of the Gimlet Dark, does it not? 
the Emperor's sudden withdrawal from the front line, specifically. Nerva and his father, Titus, Varus's then political rival, took advantage of rumors that Crown Prince Zenos had been possessed by a demon. Elidibus, what better way to disparage your enemies than with the truth or a close enough approximation? Indeed. But before their accusations could be substantiated, many of Titus's followers were silenced. While some were merely stripped of their status, others died under curious circumstances, one after another, suddenly and suspiciously. Again, Elidibus. Like as bit. not, he had a hand in it. No evidence was found to implicate Varus, certainly. Nevertheless, Titus, Nerva, and the Third Legion would have judged it a brazen attempt by the Emperor to rid himself of his political enemies. And then, in the midst of this growing turmoil, Varus Soscalvis is murdered. Varus Soscalvis. And Garlemald's own prodigal son, Gaius van Belsar, is named the murderer. Shortly thereafter, Nerva claims the right of succession, and in response, the First Legion claims the assassination was part of a coup d'etat orchestrated by Titus and Nerva. Nerva. So no one is at fault, and everyone else is to blame. <laughs> I should add that both parties received substantial financial backing, presumably to provide them with the means and encouragement to pursue a swift victory. And that these contributions came from the self-same benefactor. I'd heard House Brutus had been filling the Third Legion's coffers, but the first as well. It would seem so. Though the Popularis determined that the First Legion received funds from a variety of organizations, all had connections to House Brutus. So Fandaniel, in the guise of Asahi, was playing both sides against each other the entire time. Hmm. The information we gained from my friends does not end there. One night, shortly after fighting broke out, the capital was shaken by an immense tremor. From that point onward, they have no memories, no recollection of any events, including our clash on the Magna Glacius. But when asked about the Imperial Palace and its bizarre transformation, they somehow recall Emperor Varus giving them orders in their dreams. May the Tower of Babel stand as testament to the glory of Garlemald. This sounds awfully familiar. We have something to show you all. Varis spoke to them through this radio. Perhaps it was a recording, but if not, that would be inexplicable. We are of one mind, then. What do you mean? The ether that permeates the ore used in this device is almost identical to that of the talismans. I see it. While it is likely more by coincidence than design, these devices might also ward against a primal's influence. A picture is beginning to form. If the tremor felt throughout Garlemald was a wave of ether emitted by a primal, then while those within range would have been tempered, those huddled around a radio desperate for news concerning the Civil War would have been spared. No wonder Licinia kept it close. My friends, I must speak with you. A young man was caught trying to steal our supplies. He is a soldier of the Iron Men, we think, but one who has not been made thrall. Thankfully, Magni restrained him before blood was spilled. The stranger is outside, if you wish to ask him questions. Let's go. I think we do.
Who do we have here? Hey, Lady Bird. Still here. Garlians? Hey. I like it. Did you make that yourself? Traitors to your homeland! Have you no shame? Nice. Kaka. Now nah, Foxy made it for me. It looks beautiful. Awesome. I am Lucia It looks Junius, nice. A temple knight of Ishgard. And you are? It's nice out, friends. I can make stuff for you, Julius right? Julius Pier Norbanus. And that's all you invaders will get from me. Oh my god, didn't get the fuck on my camp, bitch. We are not here to invade Garlemald. Far from it. Like you, our allies in Eorzea and the Far East fight in defense of their lives and their loved ones even as we speak. <clears throat> but it is the people of Garlemald who have suffered most. This we know. And that is why we have come to offer you our aid, that we may unite against our common foe. They refuse to see that. Whether you believe me or not, those are the facts. Now, answer me this. Why would a proud soldier of the Empire be reduced to stealing? The situation must be dire indeed for you to go to such lengths. <clears throat> if it is supplies you seek, we would gladly share ours. Or turn a blind eye while you leave with your spoils. I will not negotiate. My commander will determine how to deal with you and yours. If you the wish to treat with him, I me. will take you, but no more than three. I don't much like the sound of that. But if we do accept his proposal, I suggest the two of us and. Hmm. Ooh. Alpha now? Please allow me and Alize to act as envoys. <clears throat> and that's four. That's not May three. I ask why? We have seen with our own eyes the hardships the Garlians face. How their futures and lives hang in the balance. It's not the warmest invitation. But it's an opportunity to prove our intentions true. Maybe not a chance to make things right, but a chance to make them better. Hmm, I'm going with. I can see that persuading you otherwise is a lost cause, but you will proceed with the utmost care. Yes. Yes, mother. A couple of children and what? A cell sword? Is this an insult? Rich, I'll put you down where you stand. Not in the least. You will find that they are more than qualified to speak on our behalf. There are many dangers on the road ahead. I will need that back. Is he a gun blade? Oh, he's a gun breaker. Received as an invited guest, so I urge you to observe proper social etiquette and conduct yourself accordingly. Your safe return takes precedence above all else, remember this. Fanshirt in particular will be worried sick if you're gone too long. May the fury which over watch over you and keep you safe. So, are you are you and your children ready? <laughs> I'm gonna slap this bitch with my pistol, bro. I'll explain the route the route once we get uh, we're outside your camp. If anyone attempts to follow us, we will judge it an act of hostility. 
and we will act oh well, wait follow us we will judge it an act of hostility we will not hesitate to take appropriate measures i would expect nothing less if you have our full cooperation if you have, i think that's what he said i think one that on I mean, I can, well, I can all you want bro pull this out This is far enough. Listen carefully. We'll head over that hill, then follow the road until we reach uh, Liminal Station 4. Children in the lead, I want I want you where I can see you. We do have names, you know. <laughs> I'm Alizé, and he's Alphanode. And at least, at last but not least, there's Cora. Cora. Ooh, where have I heard that before? No matter, Alpha Node and Alize will watch the road ahead while we bring up the rear. I wasn't lying about there being many dangers, so you, so you're, you're so you're two to run no saunter run. What? I can't read that. So you're to run no saunter run. What does that mean? Towards the station. If you even think about going for your weapon, the deal's off. Should any creatures uh, bar bar the way, we go around them. Once you choose to depart, Julus Jul Jul will accompany you. Alphano and Alize will, will then begin moving towards the destination. Make your way towards the mineral station 4 without falling behind. If you leave uh, Jul Julius behind for any reason or lose sight of Alphano and Alize, you may try again. Oh god, I hate these type of missions. Ready to make a dash to the station? Let's go. Come on, dude. <laughs> it's a bear! It's a bear! It's a sprite. Oh, this must be the road. Should lead to the station. Bruh, how are you just gonna run? You know, I. Like, they'll aggro to me, and you just run in front of them. Like, run through them. What's he saying? What's the event say? Ready to make a dash for the station. Battle. Hmm. We'd better not draw attention. Yes, that'd be nice. She died. They died somewhere right here. That's so sad. Now they're over here somewhere. Victor Spoils. That's where they died. That's so sad. He's probably never going to visit Victor Spoils ever again. Hmm. Can't draw my weapon. Not even just for the fun of it. That was easier than I didn't. I thought. This is it. Oh my god, so fast. Let me read. I'm not a fast reader. Are these your headquarters? Hmm. No, we're stopping here so I can check for pursuers. Since it appears you've kept to your side of the bargain, we can carry on. North of the station is Re Regi Regio Domorum, Demo Domorum. Regio Domorum, one of the main residential areas of at least, it w or at least it was, the afflicted can roam the streets in packs. They'll tear us apart. They'll tell us start. <laughs> they they'll tear us to shreds if given the chance. Keep close, no wandering off. Understood? All right. Damn, boy, you're going crazy there, boy. All right. Okay. From here, we'll be heading northeast, keeping to the left of the railway. While the route itself is straightforward, getting past the hordes of a unseen is anything but. Keep your weapons at the ready. 
They would attack their own countrymen. Aye, they spare their own but slaughter the rest without hesitation. Though, we'll try to avoid direct detection. The chances of sneaking by completely unnoticed are slim at best. I will lead the way, but in the event that we are seen, you're to fight them off. Those two will follow us, provided they can refrain from drawing their weapons. While I doubt they would be foolish enough to st uh, stab their, their guide in the back, I will, not take any, I will not take that chance. With that said, let us proceed. Look at that ugly mount. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you want? Oh, you want? You? Oh, oh, you want? You? Oh, oh, you want a piece? Oh, you want a piece, dude? Oh, you want a, you want a, 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 a piece of the pie. You want a piece of the beatdown pie. You want a piece of the pie, bro. Damn, bro. Huh? Hmm, I see your comrades show. See, I see why they show. Uh, Julius, our contingent has a cure for the affliction or temper, as we call as we call them. Your people would need would need to be taken into custody. With that, we may, may administer the treatment, but they would eventually regain their san san sanity. Is that so? For all I know, your treatment would simply force them to for forsake one master for another. As far as I and my legion are concerned, I'm no longer. They are no longer our people. They're beyond saving. Those who thought differently and tried to reason with them were butchered from for their uh, bleeding hearts. Come, we have to keep moving. Damn. <laughs> there goes uh, so much for healing them, huh? Alright, so we just go straight forward right here. Get a nice mount. This dude flies already? Jeez. Where'd you find all the currents? More people to kill. More people that want. More people that want the peace, bro. More people that want peace. Oh, oh, oh! You, you, oh, 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 oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! You want a peace? You want a fucking peace? <sighs> Looks like we're not being followed. We will continue onward. Sure, how many times do you have to double check if we're being followed or not? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's go. Stop it. Stop it. I don't want to kill a plant today. I don't feel like killing a plant. Bruh, I told you I don't feel like killing a plant today, bruh. I told you I don't feel like killing a plant, bro. Step back. That's what I thought. Mm -mm -mm. I meant what I said. These people deserve only death. I stayed my hand before out, before only out of a desire to remain undiscovered. And that is still the higher priority. We should continue to avoid unnecessary confrontations. Keep following the railway. Looks like we're gonna tune this crystal pretty soon, boys. Ladies and gentlemen. Follow the railway. Follow the railway. I think it's straightforward. Auto run. Then da da da. Oh shit, the tempered imperial. The tempered imperial want a piece of this. Damn, 
they look like aliens, dude. They look like the freaking things from the zombies from The Last of Us. The clickers. Look at what they've become. Would you still stand there and claim that they can be cured? Those exposed to a vast quantity of the primal sanctuary may suffer severe corruption. Even with treatment, such victims can are beyond salvation. Then you admit it. Now that you've seen these monstrosities for yourself, perhaps you will think twice before speaking of a cure. Jeez, dude, this guy is such like an asshole. <laughs> he's such a he's such a such a dill hole. Now, where's this crystal at, bro? This where's this crystal be, bro? Let's minus well attune this crystal, B. Let's minus well just attune this crystal. Bro, where is this crystal, B? Oh, is this underground, B? Oh, bro, this crystal is underground, dog. How am I gonna get this crystal when it's underground, bro? Looks like we're not gonna get it after all, dude. I thought I get it traveled here, but I can't even fucking find a crystal or the path to the crystal, dude. It has to be underground, dude. It has to be underground. 1,000% underground. 1,000. 10,000% underground. Alright, let's go talk to Jul Julus. Jolus. <coughs> Jologs. We're almost there. You've kept your side of the agreement, so I will keep mine this way. You should have. After I fucking pieced your fucking friends. You're still thinking like we're, we're like we're trying to invade, like, bruh. We're fighting the same type of enemies. Yeah, I knew it was underground. Mm-hmm. This is Turretanium. Terratanium, one of Garlemo's largest stations. It now serves as our headquarters. I've already sent the twins ahead. I will be with you soon, so wait for me at the bottom of the stairs. Bet, say less. Theodora. Yeah, you do it. You're good, man. You're good out here, man. She clearly has no intention of speaking when you're fine. I'm trying to help you, bro. Bitch. This dude is dying too. Jesus. They just chilling down here or what? <laughs> There's the crystal. Explain and see why they chose this as their base of operations. They could have done it a lot worse, even so I imagine it's not the easiest place to live. Indeed, and if Julius was willing to make their make the perilous journey to camp, broken glass in search of food, their own supplies must be at all but exhausted. They may be shielded from the wind and snow, but it's still bitterly cold. Much like Victor spoils, it must be a constant struggle to keep their people warm. <laughs> no worry, forces. While you may be here as my guest, the others will not take kindly of your presence. To your presence, my commander is in the local motive over there. <laughs> They're fucking hiding from the Zambas. They're hiding from the Zambas. Let's go ahead and uh. You hiding from the Zambas? Oh, oh man, I can't even attune this. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Pretty weird. Hiding from the Zambas. Okay, cutscene time, ladies and gents. This might be the great opportunity to uh, go downstairs and refill on some water. Representatives. Very well. 
Let us hear what they have to say. Imposing commander. At that note, guys, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna grab some water. Let me be right back. Oh, my pants. Oh, my pants are slipping. Oh, you can see my underwear. There. Here we go. Very well. Let us hear what they have to say. <laughs> what do we have to say? Yes, sir. I present to you our commander. Lord Quintus Van Kena, Legatus of the First Legion. The First? I had no idea you had survived. We lost our emperor, our city. More than half our troops. 
For my wounds, I may never take the field again. But we survived, I. In a manner much to your liking, I dare say. We have no intention of adding to your misfortunes, nor do we bear you any ill will. Spare me. Though you children may speak in earnest, overtures of peace ever ring hollow in my ears. So long as man stands to profit from his neighbor's suffering, war is inevitable. Driven from our ancestral homeland into this blasted waste, Yet still you yearned to rob us of our paltry scraps. It was only with Magitek that you learned to keep your distance. Though we knew it was only a matter of time before you regrouped and returned. Conquest and Empire were our only defenses. Emperors Solus and Varys understood this, and through their campaigns saw us grow and prosper. Much blood has been spilled in Garlemald's name, aye. But if it is a choice between yours and mine, then it is hardly a choice at all. I do not deny that a great many conflicts throughout history were driven by the desire or necessity to gain by another's loss. That is not why we are here. Nor have we come to petition your aid in the war with the Telophoroi, grave though that threat may be. Our purpose is simply this. We wish to help you. Let us help you. If there is aught that can be done to ease your plight, we would be glad to do it. Perhaps you would. But regardless of the ideals you espouse, your leaders would not send an army into Garlemald if they did not stand to benefit. If we accept their aid, they will expect their efforts to be rewarded once the Telophoroi are no longer a threat. And after compensation and concessions, the great empire would be brought to heel. Her enemies rejoice at her downfall. Our third eye, a mark of shame. We won't stand idly by and let your people be humiliated. And we're not alone in that. We only want to make a difference, to make this world of ours better. Surely you can understand that. What I'm trying to say is, there are so, so many people who just don't care about making you suffer. And maybe that's almost insulting, after all the suffering you feel the world has subjected your people to, but... Believe it or not, that's the truth. And now we're here, and all we're asking is for you to tell us what you want, what you hope for. So much blood has been shed, so much lost, all because of this endless war. Who wouldn't want to end it? Can we not work together to face our problems as one? Seriously, dude. Answer me this, young peacemakers. If a world without conflict is your desire, why reject the unity and prosperity of Garlemald? Because everyone's different, stupid ass. Is it because we do not share your faith? That we do not share your heritage? That our ideals and virtues differ? That we cherish and hold in the highest that which you do not? Disparity is the root of discord, and peace built on compromise is flawed and fleeting. Happiness for one and all is a dream, and the reality is that to the victor go the spoils. That uh. is why we Garlians will never submit nor surrender. For freedom and for pride 
we will remain true to ourselves until that, the bitter end. That do be facts, that is though. My hope. Those are facts, though. We're spitting facts, though. Mm. It seems there is nothing more to say on the matter. You will remain here while I decide what is to be done with you. Do not be alarmed. No harm will come to you if you cooperate. This bitch, dude. We will not resist. However, as your guests, I ask that we be allowed to speak with the other members of your group. As you wish. I had no intention of locking you up. As by dawn, you would be frozen stiff and you're no good to me dead. You are free to move about the encampment. But there is one condition. Collar them. Just getting crazy. It's getting really political. What are these? Incentive. You'll be watched at all times. Incentive. Stray too far or act You'll suspiciously, and we will administer a rather painful shock. Stop. Keep away from that one. The champion of Eorzea is not so easily cowed. Yeah, I'm the champion, bitch. You already know that, huh? Even if she allowed herself to be collared, the shock would be no more than an itch. No. If she refuses to obey, we will activate the twins' restraints instead. Wow. You needn't worry about us. We'll forget we're even wearing them soon enough. Even now, you still... <sighs> Why go to such lengths? What is it all for? Because even the most better adversary may one day see reason. On the coldest, blackest of nights, merger through it may be, but we must share the warmth of our fire. Oh wow, he said that? You are a curious one. A far cry from the merciless barbarian others paint you to be. Not that bad. You will be their warden. Take them away. Yes, sir. Damn. He just, they don't want to see reason, dude. It's true though like why can't we all just live peacefully with our differences you know that's some legit shit that's some facts that's some facts speak speaking shit dude As per Lord Quintinius, Quintinius instructed, I'm, so, I'm to supervise you during your time here in Triternium. 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 A little bit of them. Before you ask, no, I don't have a key or any other means to remove your collars, nor would I tell you if I did. And if you're trying anything, you'll soon wish you hadn't. So, do you truly intend to speak with the others, or was it merely a ruse? We're in no hurry to no hurry to disobey, Lord Continuous. 
of the, if that's what you what you mean, or perhaps you doubt the wisdom of our decision. Do as you wish, but remember, I'll be watching. If I catch wind of what you of you doing anything unto untoward, trying to trick our people into turning their co uh, coats and and like that. And, and the like, those shock colors will be the least of your worries, understood. Though we somewhat compromise, to put, it in, to put it lightly, let's not waste this opportunity. I suggest splitting up and learning what we can, we can of their situation, and above all else, do use magic of any sort. Don't use magic of any sorts. You and the other hand may go wherever, wherever so you wish, even outside the camp. I know full well I couldn't stop you if I tried. But do not forget, if you do anything to endanger us or our interests, Alfred and Alze will pay the price. You came with Julius, didn't you? Well, whatever business you brought you brought you here, you you'd best keep your hands off off the etherite. It's deactivated, but I rather you didn't mess with it, mess about it, with, mess about with it, and whatever they're trying to say. I can't understand their English. There are others. There are others throughout the city built by garlands, for garlands. Could teleport all over in the blink of an eye, provided there was a terminal nearby. These days, however, we use their threat powers to keep this place lit, though it comes at a cost of an, of its normal function. So they use it for electricity. Octavia. It's you! Korra! I've served under Lord Gaius and, uh, what's that? Uh, 14th Legion? I was there on the night the uh, uh, Petorium fell. Perpetorium fell. You and your adventurers, you killed them. My comrades, my friends, swept them aside in their, in, in their dozens as though they were nothing to you. And maybe I'm too, just another faceless enemy to be cut down. But it won't be long until our countrymen return. Until you get what you deserve. Mark my words. Fuck you, bitch. You deserve to die. You and your friends and your homies deserve to die. I'm glad I put them in. I'm glad I killed them. I'm glad I put them to sleep, motherfucker. Try fuck with me. You, 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 y'all fuck with me. Remember? You all started fucking with me, man. She didn't know who you fighting with, bitch. Say hi to your friends. Oh, they're dead, motherfucker. I killed them. So cold. This young soldier is on the verge of losing consciousness. Should I burn his ass? Should I burn him? He's so cold. He don't want it. He doesn't want it. Magic take radio. You know who you are, the so-called champion of Ferozia. Come to gloat, have you? I'll, I'll wipe that smirk off your face by the blood of our fallen com uh, compar compatriots. I swear I'll... Uh, uh, damn. Tor, Tor, the sutures. Of all the times, the worst of the worst of the lot within striking this, and I can't even muster the strength. If it weren't for the Illard, Illard bleeding us, we'll, we'd be the end of you. Vigilous uh, tre treachery nearly cost Lord Quintus his life, but we made our escape, took shelter in the mansion, tended to our wounds as we prepared to strike back, and then night fell and we gathered around the radio. Then the roar, the terrible roar of the capital was in chaos, but we were spared. And if you can call this my mercy, my mind intact and body broken, a soldier in the name alone, I'd cut you down where you stand if I could, murderer. <laughs> sure. Sure, bitch. Sure, bitch. Sure you would, bitch. 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 Sure you would, bitch. You ain't doing shit, bitch. You ain't doing shit, motherfucker. Huh? Huh? Say that again, bro. Say that again, bro. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. See how much more badass it is to be a machinist? If I was a healer talking and then I'm taking all this shit from him? Mm, the radio is the same on all of these of Victor's spoils. Perhaps it's 
what saved the soldiers from being tampered. Of course it is. Hmm, did you learn anything of that? No, they all hate us, dude. They all want us dead. Then you're fighting so consistent with my own. They're playing a separate indeed. The sick and injured are the greatest risk. Without warmth and proper nutrition, I fear they will soon perish. I realize there is precious little we can do for them at present, but I cannot bear to see them suffer. Please, will you help them? Sure. So cold and probably hasn't had a proper meal in days. If only we brought some food with us, but perhaps I could use a little magic to. No, I mustn't. Gods, it's so frustrating. <laughs> Assisting by, you know, of like having my hand hovered over their heads. Who's there in my eyes? Like, I can't see all that well. Oh, I think you the numbness has subsided a little bit, but I know I won't last much longer. <laughs> You should look into the others who can still fight. Give them my ration. I'm going. If I, if me going hungry means someone else lives to see another day, so be it. At least I can still serve in that way. Jeez. So nice. Huh. So those you met better know better. I was afraid you'd say that. I know we were warned against meddling with their affairs, but we cannot leave them like this. Perhaps we might gain permission to have contingent to deliver supplies. Quintinius may have made his feelings on the matter quite clear, but even he must recognize there are need there are no position to refuse help. Maybe Julius persuades them. Though we need to persuade Julius first. <laughs> Gotta talk to Jol Jolos. 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 I'm just gonna call him Julius, dude. Well, seen enough. Julius, the people here have barely food and fuel to survive. Have you and other soldiers been able to procure any more supplies? We've been scavenging provisions from the nearby houses as, as most families kept. Keep kept rather some stored away in the event they they were snowed in still going out and getting is dangerous work and we're all and we've a lot of mouths to feed fuel is greater concern though we had some cerulean set aside until it was stolen we have identified a culprit could have been other refugees no or one of the afflicted for all we know Either way, we're down to the last drags. Without the heating they need, those in poor health is going to get worse inside instead of better. If it's a really we need our contingency secure, secure a re ready, ready supply, we can have some sent over. They just refuse help, bro. We will not accept your charity. If we can hold uh, hold on a little longer, the situation is sure to change. I, everything will change. One air conference mentioned something along those lines. Are those mysterious countrymen of yours, I assume? Heard something of it, have you? Well, from what I've seen, there's little you can do to interfere, but there's no harm in telling you. One of our scouts spotted a hooded man ensuing instructions to the afflicted, or in, or in the bastard's words, loyal servants of the Tolaferali. Then he made his way inside the Imperial Palace for what for what stands in its place. We'd identified the seat of the enemy's power and realized Lord continues dispatching a messenger to the to the tenth legion, saying as much, and instructing them to join forces with the provi provisional legions to prepare for a combined assault on the Telephoroi. Once our allies, your contingent will be sent running for the hills. Once our allies arrive, okay. then we shall reclaim the capital by our own hand. And how do you intend to survive the, in the meantime? At this rate, many of your countrymen will perish long before reinforcements reach Garnemont. They need help now. Say the word and we'll, be, we'll bring you Cerulean. Just fucking listen. A 
I'll speak with Lord Continuous. So, did he agree to it? Of course he would. No, he will not place Garlemon in depth of our enemies. I have, however, been ordered to reach for uh, search for Cyril and Masad. As you under my watch, you will come with me. Then we'll just have someone send it here and say you found it. Very well. After all, we may we, many hands will make light work. My, oh yeah, you lot are more troubled than you're worth. Once we're outside, you will follow my instructions to the letter. We depart shortly. To level 83. Oh my god. It's an 83 mission. Alright. Oh god, how am I gonna level up? Um we can do leveling. Alright, so we got some normal raids. What a pain in the ass.
I love this song. GG's GG's Let's fucking go That was Fen That was so fun Next up is, um, I think I got to do, what else can I level up real fast? I don't want to do the fairies. What's that person doing? I need to level up to Cookie. I want some Oreos while we wait for the queue. So we gotta wait 11 minutes for a fucking trial? Are you serious? Should I just do a dungeon? A leveling? for a leveling 13 minutes? Shit. We're gonna be here a while, boys. I need 900k. Actually, a little over a million. Hmm. 
Let's do the fairies. We'll do some fairy missions and uh, hopefully we gain some XP. These are like 300 mil, uh, 300,000 each. Three hundred K each, let's get it. And then that's like nine hundred K. I think I'll need another three hundred thousand to level up. Out of my fucking way, please. Thanks for your help, but. I didn't really need your help. What do I have to say? Easy quest. Easy 900k. Easy 900k. It's like almost a mil. Let's do this. Looks like everything's um hunky dory. Oh, 
all here. <laughs> you can't have me, dude. Uh, on second thought, <laughs> more than planning that you visit some from time to time. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys are happy. It's a happy ever after. Everyone wants everyone wants a little piece of Cora, I feel me. I'm not gonna stay here forever, bro. Thank you. Give me my XP, please. What's that? 57? Oh, that's not enough. You will receive ex uh, experience points, bonus upon completion of Pixie Beach Drives. I still with us. Will it give me 400k? I should have completed that fucking quest before turning it in. Damn it. I already got a wind up pixie. I already got all that. I already got that. Nothing really cool here. I need to find withdraw from the leveling. Let's just do the trials. Eight minutes, come on, baby. One trial should do. I would have been level 83 if I just accepted that damn quest, dude. God dang it. After, I, after this trial, I should be. Garlemald. I do it, fate. Hold on, let me see if I can level up with that. What is that like? 
100k. Let me see if I can level up by, you know, unlocking these areas. Could work. Could work. Could not. seen any quests yet for ether currents. Twenty six K Another 26k. Another 26k. Oh, I'm about to get it. We can get out of here. I could kill this monster and get it. Or not. Bum, bum, bum. Bottom, bottom. There it is, baby. <laughs> we is level 83. Where's the entrance to this again? Oh, right over here. Okay, didn't have to do all that. Did one uh, normal, normal trial or normal raid. Twenty six K, twenty six K, twenty six A, two four six eighty. Alright, so we got sidetracked a little bit, but we are now eighty three, so we can continue with the main quest scenario. Main scenario quests. Come on, Jewelos. Ooh, we get a headgear. I wonder what it is. We'll begin our search of Sir Cerulean and Rigido Urbanissima. Urban Urbanissima. Urbanissima. The first location is Forum Solus, a park of the northwest of the station. You are to remain close at all times and act only as ordered. Follow me. Yes, sir. Ouch. Urbis Cinema. Urban Cima. Urban Cima? Urban Cima? Regio Urban Sima? Regio Urban Sima? Is that how you pronounce this? Why am I walking if I can get him out? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. 
Faster, 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 Oh, my back, it just. Uh, uh, ow. Uh, hey. Faster, faster. Da, da, da. Faster, faster, faster. Talk to Alice. Talk to what to name? What do we say? Alice. I bet you this used to be a beautiful park. So this is the park. I'm surprised they found space for one amongst all of these buildings. Actually, it's a, rec a rec recreational area came first. The houses were later built around them. A healthy society requires communal spaces for children to play and adults to socialize. This park was named after the founding founder of the empire, the great Solus Zeus Galvis. Now it's a shithole. Did we come to the exact cerule did we come to extract cerulean and wreck wreck magitech armor? No. No, we already drained it dry. Some goes for the same goes for the rest of the machinima in the vicinity. But as our cerulean has been stolen, we must sour scour the city for every last drop. And while I don't expect to find anything here, I've decided to try one more time, in case something has been overlooked. I see. Then with your permission, we will commence the search. Got us fucking sleeping around. A rather small by Garland Garland Sanders is treasure as remnants of the merchant stall. Perhaps it was built for children play shopkeep. There's nothing here in Zanville or any other surround. Then why waste my time? Then why did I waste my fucking time with that? Machinima wreckage. I could really do that as you said. Yeah. Two more, two more locations, and we may proceed. Hey, of course. How are you gonna show me a slide and expect me not to slide down it? Huh? One more location, and we may proceed with the quest. Now, where is it? Where is this place? Up here, maybe? Yes, maybe. Up there. Up there, genius. Dingus. Dingus. So that's the park, eh? Okay? This is the park and all its things, eh? Uh, to, to your knowledge, however, one would require the use of cerulean. I need to find anything. Faster, 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 faster. Faster, 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 faster. 
faster, 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 fast, faster, faster walking, faster than walking, faster, 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 cut scene, voice acted, cut scene, voice acted. He's over here crying. Oh, it's you. Any luck? No, stupid. You checked this uh, spot already. There's no sign of any cerulean. Hardly surprising, but disappointing nonetheless. I, I couldn't help notice you gazing at the pond. Is something the matter? What? Yes, I mean, no, I'm... I'm just... It's, I'm just I used to bring my brother and sister here to play. The pond was heated to stop stop it from freezing over. So like all other children, they just had to wade, wade in and splash about. Would have stayed there if I didn't drag them out. We'd be soaping, soaping wet when all said and done. Every time. And every time we'd get home, mother would scold us, saying we'd catch our death walking about like that. Oh, the pond was heated. So there might be something underneath. Was there an empowered heater by any chance? I suppose it must have been. So come to think of it, I remember seeing engineers changing in the tank beneath the hatch. But it was a long time ago when the water was still flowed clear and wasn't this uh, blackish muck. We can't see a thing and I can't remember where the hatch might be. With the machinery most likely broken, the amount of filth there is probably the only reason it hasn't frozen over. I'd wager it's still unbearably cold down there. She's extremely buoyant. What are your thoughts on magic? The average girl in would jump out of their skin if they saw it, but the f the first has that. F but the first has a few foreign signifieries and medici. So it doesn't scare me. Medici. Then I take you won't mind if I employ a little now. <laughs> Alpha nude, as you have an eye for finding dry wood, why don't you bring me some? Once that's done, a blast of verfire should do the trick. Leave it to me. Hey, hey, banger, banger. You're not planning to go in there, are you? Of course I am. The tank isn't going to fetch itself. It's nothing so involved in ex exciting up un unpro unprocessed cerulean from a frozen lake. It's nothing so involved as ex extracting unprocessed cerulean from the frozen lake. Like how the trappers do it. We're talking about a shallow pond in a park. And we've our way warming ourselves up after. But that's insane. So, fancy a dip? A little friendly competition might make things interesting. Banger? Now someone to find us in a room tank is a rotten egg. Though I guess already we'll both smell like rotten eggs when this is over. I guess I dare say. Relax, brother. Relax, okay? Pond of interest. No, oh, we're not even swimming. This doesn't hurt me. Uh, you delve murk you delve in the murky butter came up empty handed. This has to be it. Chills you to the bone. I'm I'm freezing. I'm freezing to death. I'm gonna stand here in the sand of the rock here. Beneath the water, your fingers catch what you think may be a handle. Might be, might be. Oh, my baby. My baby in her clothes. You open a hatch and retrieve a ceruleum tank. Oh, however, your grand discovery comes at a great personal cost as you become acutely aware of the freezing cold and rancid odor emanating from every limb of your body. Jules will doubtless feel comp compelled to pinch his nose. You know, shut when you deliver him the prize. It's okay. It is what it is. 
Let me get in my car. Hey, talk to him. Did you find it? Oh, I hope you did. That's it. And there's still some cerulean left. Ah, flies still not ready. Hold on, I'll give Alpha Nude his hand. The fire's still not ready. I said flies. Ah. Let's warm up a little bit. How are we gonna smell though? <laughs> mm. Call me an old on because of my fire I am reborn and my clothes are most li mostly dry now. I appreciate you rec uh, rec recovering the Cerulean, but I wish you'd taken the time to discuss the plan with me beforehand. Despite the way you've been treated in Lord Quinton's eyes, you still and an you're sh you're still envoys deserving of protection. If you were to die on my watch, he would be most displeased. Your concern is duly noted, but all's well that ends well. Lucas, you mentioned coming here with your young, younger siblings. Did you grow up in Karlamov? I did. Not from from here. My father was an accomplished researcher in his youth, and for his contribution to the Empire Award and an estate, we lived well, better than many. But what was Karlamov like in those days? Everything. Here with everything you could imagine, and so much more. Even during the coldest winters, we've always found warmth and the comfort at home. Coming in from the snow, taking off your coat, and sitting down for a hot meal with family. Visiting friends and relatives, receiving the same welcome, knowing they had everything they needed. Walking down the street, seeing the lights in all the houses, hearing the faint sounds of laughter and song of happiness. And although the summers came and went all too quickly, in the brief respite, the ice would melt and the forgotten grass would make its triumphant return. Gray clouds give way to blue skies. Same mornings, we climbed to the top of the tallest building we could find to watch the sunrise. Never again. Those, roof star those rooftops are a rubble. Those friends, dead. And those memories? But if I could reclaim even a fraction of what we once had? Soon our chance will come. We just need to hold on a little longer. Fuck. This is sad as fuck. Thank you for the headgear. Appreciate you, big dog. Four hundred K experience. Ooh, let's go. Let's I, need, I, I still got a long way to go though. Uh, 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 um, another 400k. Now that the fire is burnt out, it's ready to move on. Alright, alright, now that you recover from your escapades in the pond, there's another location I'd like to search just outside the park. Faster, 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 faster. Faster, 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 fast, faster, fa faster. As you can see, this place is littered with remnants of various types of machinima. While my comrades and I have already recovered the tanks, the, the tanks from from the less damaged unit, those that took more severe beating, are harder to set, uh, scavenge. We decided to save those for another time. The time being now, rather than praise them, uh. Rise them apart piece by piece. It would be quicker to remove the outer casting using complex explosive. With luck, we'll gain access to tanks without even rupturing them. Though the force generated by the de device is relatively weak, I would advise you to stand way clear to avoid being hit by the shrapnel. Before even bothering, though, you should check with the machine and Cerulean engage to see if there's anything left. It should still provide an accurate reading, even if the unit itself is inactive. If the gauge is broken, I'll let you decide whether to use explosives or not. Should you need more, come to me. Understood. Let's get to work. Yas, yas. Mm. 
recording this room, guys. You need this room is empty. Uh, I'll be broken. Give me a different room for my home. Fuse. What is this? After successfully removing the machine, the other guys are the room. Thank you. Finally, completely, completely empty. Ah, that's what. That's bad. That's bad. Nas Uggs. Faster, 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 faster. Faster, 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 fast, faster. The faster, faster walk. Faster than walk. Yeah, let's, let's use it, bruh. Yes. Uh, so you find it completely empty, bruh. Is there anything? What is this? Out of there, bro. I'm tired of that shit. Um, yeah, relax, bro. I'll beat your ass, bro. Stop it. Oh, I need explosives. Oh, we got my motorcycle. <laughs> I need more. I need more. Stop giving me just two. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to see if it's been empty. Well, let's. I'll be the judge of that, motherfucker. After this, so you find it completely empty, motherfucker. On oh God, is there anything that has a room in it? I can just use it. Boom! Blow it up! Blow! Blow it up! Uh, either way, Joseph, we should be pleased with your order. Still full, yeah. Is that showing up? Yes, I got some for you, Jolos. Jolos, I got something for you. I got something for you, Jolos. More explosive. Wait, what? I think it is. Is that what I think it is? What I think it is? What you think it is? Motherfucker, it's fuel, motherfucker. You've done it. Truly, luck is on your side. With this, we should be able to refuel quite a few of our heaters. It's time we headed back. Wait here while I go and see how Malazai and Avenue are faring. Okay. Okay. Finally escaped the watchful gaze of your keepers, have we? Yeah. Don't react. You'll only draw attention to yourself. Just carry on as you are and listen. Thank you, thanks, Grin. After you left with the Guardian lad, Lucia bade a few of our scouts follow you at a discreet distance. We observed you being led into the station, but decided against venturing inside. When you emerged some time later, and we saw that the twins were sporting Magitek collars, it was clear what had taken place. Now, as quietly as you can, tell me everything. The Legatus himself, eh? The Legatus himself, motherfucker, yeah. This is also the first I've heard of a plan to join forces with the 10th and storm the Tower of Babel. 
Bad boy. An interesting development. And perhaps the opportunity we've been waiting for. Our comrades back at the camp also received some rather promising news. But it's still too early to get our hopes up. For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Garleans make, indulge them. With luck, this will all be over soon. Until then. They had not gone far. We searched high and low, but no luck, I'm afraid. I might have guessed you'd be the only one to find anything. Of course, I'm the main character. I wasn't expecting much to begin with. Eventually, there will be nothing left out here for us to safely salvage. <laughs> okay. For now, this will have to suffice. We should return to the station. Let's go. Lead the way. So I'm right behind you. Let me just drink some water. Uh, delicious. Tastes like regular water. Ah, oh, there you are. Heard you'd gone hunting for ceruleum above ground. Brought back a king's ransom? Hardly. But thanks to these three, we have enough to last a little while longer. Well, well. It's not at all as I was expecting, these ones. But for savages, they seem positively docile. <laughs> Do docile. Docile? Why are you speaking with an English accent? Would you like me to uh, fuck you it's up? A poor attempt at humor. In all honesty, I'm grateful for your efforts. But even with another night of warmth, there are those among us who may not live to see the morrow. I trust your expedition was fruitful. Yes, Quintilius, motherfucking Jones. Lord Quintus! Hey! Use what you procured to refuel the armor. Not the heater, you shit. But, sir, what about the heaters for the camp? The time for action is upon us. Oh my god. This guy's out of his fucking brains. My men brains. and I have matters to discuss. In the meantime, you are to wait here. Do not forget, you are being watched. You fucking off us, dude. I can only speculate. Let's get killers. Clearly something requiring their magitech, given what we just heard. Whether they plan to utilize it now or after they join with the tenth is another question. Fucking tired. Return to and reclaim the idyllic spaces of which Eulis spoke. Eulis. The J is silent. Finished your war, Council. <laughs> Alphino and Alizea to stay here as our prisoners. They will be released once your comrades have relinquished their supplies and withdrawn from Garlean soil. Oh, hell no. Nah. Until our terms are met, they will be detained at a separate location. Oh, bro, they changed their stance. They're trying to, they're holding us hostage now. After everything we've said and done, this is how you treat us. 
We Our sort of, allies uh, have but limited supplies. They may stave off cold and starvation for a short while, but what then? For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the garlic <sighs> deserve, indulge them. Ah. Uh. Get them out of here. Jesus Christ, what a fucking... What a fucking bitch. What a fucking bitch you are, dude. You will accompany me back to your camp where I will meet with your leaders and present more continuous demand. Before we depart, however, there's something I want you to ask you. Assuming you're coming, continue to comply so supplies will, they surrender will need to be transported here. That task falls to the legionnaires, Mercilinius Mer and Octavia, who will pilot Magitek armor to your headquarters. You are to inform them that we are leaving shortly. Tell them to ask the, the Ailey for further details. In those words, once you've seen that, when once you've seen seen to that, we may meet me by the exit. Yeah, little bitch, tough guy over here. Oh, you again? As Ailey said, <laughs> So that's to be the way of it after all this. What does that mean? Is that code for something? How ironic that you should be the one to deliver the news. If those are my orders, then so be it for the glory of Garlemald. Oh, what do you want with me? Shut the fuck up, Octavia, before I beat your fucking head off. Oh, the Lord for his richest decision. I knew he, he would uh, he would understand that we that he would recognize the savage in is a ruthless, this merciless creature, and to defeat him we must be uncompromising. I am ready in the name of the Emperor of Varus, for the glory of the government. I fulfill my duty. This is a coup d'état. Is this a coup d'état? Is this a coup d'état, Finn Balak? Rock and roll, rock and roll music. Rock and roll, rock and roll, rock and roll horse. Mm. Have you done what I instructed? The duties involve mer more than just I don't they? What do you mean, Asra? If I'm not I'm not at liberty to divulge that, what can I say is that you have no cause of concern if your demands are met. You and I are in this together now. Like it or not, we have to cooperate. There is another there is there is one other matter, a place I'd like to visit on the way to your camp. Short walk from here, follow me. Okay, sir. That's a fucking floating chair? The fuck? There's a floating chair on that motherfucker? 
Faster, faster, fast. Faster than walk. Faster than a walking. Faster, 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 faster. Faster than the walk. Faster than the walking. Let me go get see this person over here. Where is he? I cannot find him. There he is. So faster, 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 faster than walk. Faster than walking. Julius eagers to, lingers by the ruins, reluctant to leave and reluctant to stay, unable to move on. Wait here, yeah. This is his house, and now it's, it's like turned into shit. I thought he lived in a mansion. It looks like a small one bedroom studio. That's no mansion, bruh. Fitting, spitting lies. And he says, This was my this bedroom. This is my home. Oh. Ah, home. That's not a mansion, bro. It's a fucking studio. It was until that night. I was with Lord Quintus when the capital fell, and thus spared. My family, who did not own a radio, were less fortunate. When dawn came, I made my way here. My parents, my little brother and sister, they were still inside. Yeah, it turned into Zambas. They weren't themselves, and they... They tried to... And I had to... I had promised to take them away from the capital that very morning. To somewhere safe, to hide until the fighting stopped. I promised. Banger. Banger music, though. Garlean flag bears a chain. The bonds between our countrymen. A red link at its center. The blood of the fallen. Our loved ones who lived and died for Garlemald. But if she too fell, who would be left to remember them and their sacrifice? What enduring proof would there be that they were ever here? If we had turned to your gods, would they have saved us? Sorry, forget I spoke. We should go. Yeah. Your house still small as fuck, bro. Can't believe you fit like eight people in that house. Uh, eight family. Oh, no way. <sighs> it's no use. Believe me, I do not enjoy being here any more than you. But she wanted us to play along, so that is what we will do. Painfully so. Unbearably. The twins. <laughs> I've been thinking about what Quintus said. About why no one would accept Garlean rule. Irreconcilable differences. When coexistence isn't an option, only conquest remains. Varus at Gimlet said much the same. Only by uniting the world beneath a single standard would we rid ourselves of the Asians. But everyone's United different. As one people, one race cleansed of imperfections. The Alphans are dying over Cold here, bruh. 
and unforgiving vision. And when we fail to you live open up to your their eyes off and off. What place is there for us in their world? Well, this is still breathing. But the truly sad, truly frustrating thing is how damnably similar it all is to the lofty ideals of Father and the Forum. Non-intervention. Always non-intervention. Protect our knowledge and our people and to hells with the rest of you. And yet, I can see how it happened. Varys and Father looked to their elders for guidance and took their virtues as their own. But for this world was of their making. In who else could they place their trust? All of us lost in a sea of chaos. Searching desperately for purpose and meaning. But it shouldn't just be an extension of another's. It has to be ours. It has to be. We all have a stake in this world. No one should be silenced. I want a stake. I won't deny that we lack the experience of people such as Father or Quintus. Perhaps they've come to see the world as a series of problems. And the most efficient way of solving them? To reduce everything to fundamental forms. A stone is a stone, a cloud a cloud, a flower no more than that. Simple descriptions that strip the subject of distinguishing characteristics. Oh, Jesus Christ. A man is a man, divided according to race, creed, or allegiance, and to some, defined by such associations. Is that what you think? in my misbegotten youth. But what I believed wisdom was no more than aggressive ignorance. I've since learned to look beyond the banners and the politics, to see people as individuals with their own hopes and dreams. As for my dream of building a better world, well, every day I'm reminded that it is far more complex than I had ever imagined. But it only spurs me onward to find the wisdom and the strength to see it through to the very end. All of our supplies and an immediate withdrawal. These are your conditions. Demands, and you forgot about the airship. Once again, you will leave one behind. It will be used to return the prisoners. Their collars will be removed prior to the exchange. So in the end, not even Father's expertly worded rhetoric could deter you from your chosen course. I thought for a moment that it would. I've no love for violence, of course, but ours is a cause worth fighting for. I just wish he'd realize it too. Sometimes the only way to protect the ones you love is to take a stand. I'm to refuse asleep, to boys. suffer in silence. I want you to know I share your conviction. Whether it be on the battlefield or in the debating chamber, I won't back down. I guess what I'm saying is... You've found your own reason to fight. Yes. Yes, I have. God's willing, there will come a day when we can finally lay down our arms and there will be peace. But not until the Telophoroi have been defeated once oh God, and for all. <laughs> and you, brother, will have a vital part to play. By your words and deeds, you'll lead the way. 
I pray I am up to the task. There'll always be naysayers. Those who think us fools for even trying. It's easy for learned elites to criticize earnest efforts and assert their moral superiority, all without offering alternatives. Not that their sophistry has ever wounded you. So stubborn and strong. Stronger than you even know. Don't ever change, you hear me? If you stumble, I'll be there to catch you. Or give you a thick ear. Maybe both, for good measure. Thank you, Alizé. Just in the end. The scouts have secured Alizé and Alfino. Their collars were removed without complication as well. They report no casualties, not for their party nor the guards who will wake from their premature slumber in due course. It would appear the situation has changed. I propose new terms. We have information that will be of great interest to Lord Quintus, and I wish to speak with him in person. No. In the event you rejected our first proposal, we came prepared with a second. of the First Legion, proud servants of Garlemald, of the fallen Emperor Varys, shall safeguard these lands from the barbarian hordes until our countrymen return! Uh. Stop, both of you! Hey. This child may be the worst emissary I've ever seen. We received an urgent communication from the Grand Company of Eorzea. Envoys from the Imperial Army, led by members of the 10th Legion, came to Alamigo and requested an audience. They explained that their efforts to coordinate the reclamation of the capital with the aid of the 4th, 5th, 8th, and 12th had ended in failure. Communication between most legions has broken down entirely. Most of the 10th's conscripts have deserted, leaving their forces severely depleted. That is why, unable to continue the fight on their own, they and their allies turned to the Grand Company of Eorzea for aid. Lies! Every word! It is the truth, and I have not finished. The Tenth has requested that we deliver a message to Lord Quintus. Have the ill stand down. You have been listening, my lord? What... what are your orders? Inform her that we will honor the tenth decision. Oh shit. So that's what he was waiting for, and it failed. Bereft of hope 
And now dignity. You lost dignity, stupid ass. I release you from your duty. All of you. I take solace, your radiance, in the knowledge you are not here to witness our debasement. It was a grand, glorious dream we shared. Of a world united. Of peace and prosperity. We are ghosts, you and I. Memories of days gone by. Bonds forged in blood that I will not see tarnished. Just work with other people, dude. Just work with other people, dude. Quickly! We have to reach the station before it's too late. If there is still a chance that Quintus will agree to a truce, we must take it. I just hope we get there before he and his men do something rash. As for determining what comes next, we must speak with Lord Quintinius. Mm. Before we proceed, tell me what you know over the last, the first legion and the, 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 the position of their forces. They were preparing for a war while the refugees in their care were left to go hungry. A reckless, short-sighted plan that risked the welfare of the people that will, that they swore to protect. Nevertheless, we cannot compel them to to accept our aid. If we were to arrive in force with with the intent to do so, we would only incite panic. But perhaps they can be persuaded to follow one of their own. Go with Eulus back to the station and have him lead the refugees here. Some may be unwilling or unable to leave, but for the time being, I'll take what I can get. Alpha Nude and Alize, and the scouts sent to exercise them, ex exercise them, should already be at the station. I will be. I will also have our other comrades in the area lend their support should it be needed. Understood. So loud. Speak with Alize at the station. I don't like this mount, dude. Where's the bike mount? I like that that it plays crowd music when there's a lot of people here.
I fell asleep a little bit, guys. During that cutscene. I'm awake now. Jesus. <laughs> it's so funny. That dude just shot himself, though. I think he was just embarrassed. He did. He was just embarrassed. He he was um. What is this guy doing? He was um. He put all his eggs in one basket, hoping that the the tenth legion would help. And he refused help from us. He he put everything that he, that they would come and help. And he we didn't want to join forces. He wanted to stick with Garlemond and like. See, do it their way, how they used to do it. And now he got embarrassed, shot himself because he knew he knew their um their principle was broken. It broke. It was just you know, Garlemald help Garlemald, and then when the tenth asked for the Rosie's help, it's like, oh my god. I'd rather die. I'd rather die. He killed himself. Fucking idiot. <laughs> what an idiot, dude. Fucking killed himself. <laughs> Alize, what's up? We were right just before you did. Hmm. Too late for what? What happened? It's Lord Quintinius. He took his own life. After the news about the tenth, he revealed he revealed he relieved us of our duties. Then when he was alone, he He offed himself. No. No, he wouldn't! He did, dude. Oh shit! This motherfucker. Thanks for the other uh, uh, and the others assisted, but assisted by the soldiers have seen, has seen to the remains. In due course, shall the uh, should the legatus be afforded a proper burial? Shall the legatus be afforded a proper burial? He released released us from our duty. He wanted us to be free, free to choose our own fate. Without him to guide us, where I. Then you got Thanksgiving's coat now? We're copying his. Oh no, that's the urban coat. I have just this moment spoke with Lucia. We are ready to commence the transfer of the refugees, the refugees here to Camp Broken Glass, should they be willing to accept our aid. Some would rather die, but most of us just want to live. Songs and standards are damned. Sang, song, uh, songs and standards be damned. We just want to live. Oh shit. We'll need to speak with the refugees. They all have to decide for themselves if they wish to come with us. If any would prefer to stay, we can have supplies brought all over, over for them. It'll be a hard journey for the others, but we'll see they reach our camp safely. Just leave this place, bro. Everyone has like coats and shit. I'm here rocking a mini skirt. Mini skirt and heels, bro, in the snow. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Let me, let me go down here with my... Oh wait, they have sad songs. Let's uh, stick with the sad song. Let's see where he killed himself.
Why? Man, he shot he was right here and we like <laughs> Why do we have to talk to this guy? Mm, it was only ever a dream, wasn't it? To think we could reclaim it, rebuild it all ourselves. Before this all happened, I, I sent my wife and daughter away to the provinces. If there's a chance I might see them again, I'll take it. So take me. Take me with you, please. Okay. Zaro, what do you want? Well, got the Aether sword and sorted in this end. It took... All it took was a few adjustments, and now it works as well as I ever did. For what I can tell, th the one in Litterium is also functioning as normal. That's where you lot are staying, isn't it? Now that most of us are packing up and leaving this place, I reckon there will be no more use for me and my skills over at your camp. Nice horse. Hey, do we get that mount? I want that mount. I want that fucking mount. Ah, it's you, the one who treated me with such kindness. I heard from the others that you're not from around here. I thought you were one of us. Not that it makes much difference now. Pure bloods, immigrants, savages. After a while, those words start to lose meaning. Until all you're left with this, with is anger and fear and hate. I'm not, and I'm, I'm not, I'm too tired. Oh, God. If you and yours have come to offer aid, I'd be glad to accept. I butchered that sentence. That last part of his dialogue, I fucking butchered it. Alpha nephew, we've much to discuss. Our rescue, our rescue to attack on Camp Broken Glass. What we hope to talk about with continuous, but all of that can wait. More urgent matters demand our attention. Are any of the refugees willing to come to our camp? Yeah, I think the 12, think the 12. You and I should go first and secure the route back to Camp Broken Glass. With all the creatures and tempers skulking around, I'll, I, I'd expect we'll have our hands full. This should come in handy. Conqueror's chain, courtesy of our Lamincian friends. I've seen it for I've seen it for the temper though. I'd save it for the temper though. I'll mark a few points that need surveying on the map. Once you've taken care of the riffraff, we'll meet back at the air camp. Clear this place up, I guess. Wait, let me Google. Like, do we get the mount from the Endwalker? That's this.
There's the ether current. I'm not getting an email from Square Enix. Alright guys, I'm just checking my email. I want that mount. Dude, there's so much junk here. Shit, the junk. I'm on a junk here. Come on. Okay. Confused as why I didn't get an email about my fucking I bought the collector's edition, didn't I? Oh, 
shit. Yeah. I can't find it. And I didn't get a mail. Full time. Um, where's this one? The Azure Boy. Where are you, boy? Where are you, young man? Is he on top of me? Oh, he's right here. Another block, block street. Who are you? Mother sent you. Hmm. Tell her I won't be going to Emmy's camp. I'm going home. You stupid boy. You stupid, stupid boy. You want to get killed by these things? That's how exactly. That's exactly how he sounds. Where are you going? No, boy. No, you didn't, boy. I'm right here, boy. <laughs> I'm right behind you, boy. This way's blocked, too. Gasp! Where you going, young boy? I'm going home no matter what. Come on! <clears throat> hey, What a funny mount that was. I think I have that same mount.
I'm going home no matter what. Was that a thing not attacking it? Almost there, I think I gotta fight that thing. I thought I was... I thought he spotted me. Dude, your house is gone. Sorry, bud. No, our home. It was here, right here. It's gone now, dude. What the happened? Can we just have this child die? Easy peasy lemon squeezies. Why do you care so much? We're enemies, remember? Why are you trying to help me? If you need help, I'm offering it. How would your mother feel if something were to happen to you? I still don't care. We don't need your help. Mother's word, I should go back to the station. Hey, there we go. Easiest way back to the station is by a quick teleportation device called Instant Transmission. <laughs> Look how fast I'm going. Look how incredibly fast I'm going. The speed, the momentum, the speed and the power. Oh my god. Oh my, come back here. Come back here, no. God, I need my bike. That was really slow. Where is everyone else gonna do? You should have. Okay, thank you. Now, we do. 
the main quest. And clear those roads. Who's talking to me? Oh, there's a game. Oh, wait, no. Game doesn't start in two hours. Another two hours. Faster, 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 faster than walk, faster than walking, faster, faster. Can you help? I supposed to do with this guy What am I supposed to do with this, guys? What am I supposed to fucking do? What the fuck am I supposed to do here? I'm so confused as as to what to do. God damn it. I'm supposed to fucking heal him? Killed so many of these guys already. Survey the designated. Oh, 
Oh my god, this thing is fucking broken. Direct hit. Oh my god. Survey the designated and deals with any enemies that appear. Okay, I'm fucking doing that. I did it like eight fucking times. This thing's so stupid. God damn, bruh. A temper, uh, subdue him first, then use a conqueror's chain. Stupid. Fucking stupid. That pissed me the fuck off, dude. That just annoyed me, really. Really, really, really. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he probably saw him. He saw me raging. Saw me raging, Russ. He probably fell asleep. That's why. Homework. Russ is doing homework. <laughs> oh, fuck. We gotta do this thing again. I do it. Next up, speak with thanks, grid. I don't think he did it yet. Ugh. As expected, I ran to a few bees who went down without much of a fight. The temper proved somewhat un uh, troublesome, but those chains should keep them under control until our allies take them into custody. With that taken care of, I'm, I'm, I'm to gather a few supplies and then return to the station. Well, I see to that. <laughs> Would you mind uh, praising Lucia of her progress? As it happens, I have some rather patient, uh, pertinent? information of our recent scouting forays but i'll save that for later first things first and all that what first things first and all that i uh, so i can't uh, like, like sometimes how they speak just throws me off when i read the shit they're saying why are you on the next dungeon well wait for me you're not i'm not whew. i'm not in the next dungeon bro 
You stripping. You stripping. Ether current. Uh, just what I was looking for. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Hove. I've been put in charge of the argument with uh, that person in DC. They wish to help with getting Jutunia platform G up and running. The very same platform that that's at the head of the Imperial's primary energy program. That's more. What's more, he's Garlanian. I'm convinced that the only engineers left that person uh, were from conquered territories. In, in any case, I'm not qualified to judge the motives of the man. I'd feel much more at ease if someone has expertise helping me make the call. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> I suppose he must be the friend, uh, Rymel and I would have wanted to fetch. I think you passed me. Yeah. Yep, my thanks for getting him to agree to the proposal. Do not misunderstand, I have, no, no, I have yet to agree to any such thing. I merely wanted someone else to present during our, our talk, present during our talk. Very well, though, I do believe my pro, uh, pro, pro for deal would be born to, but would be a boon to us. And thus, as much continues to like. That may be so, but your relationship with the facility not, notwithstanding, what should a girl such as yourself still be taking refuge in the 10% stem, trapper stem? We've been uh, led to believe that the former workers are signing there were from our ter other territories. You're right on the on the technicality. I was a supervisor rather than your typical staff. When the platform went down, I've only seen it only seemed right that I stay with my crew. I've always thought we were close, but living alongside them at Trapper's Den has made me realize that I love I took I took them and their skills for granted, and that's not saying nothing of a rebellion did I. I turned to their struggles. That's why I came to you at this high time to be on some real be some real use to them and everyone else if we're lucky. If we manage to get to the platform back working nowhere and dramatically increase our capacity to pump their and refine the cerulean for everyone in the region, sadly we're not we're more than a few hands short of the workforce, not to mention the lack of supplies, which is precisely where you come in. Help us get uh, get things up and running again. You'll be have your channel of cerulean coming to your rig. You can you couldn't come up with more manual and beneficial uh, arrangement here. We tried. He seems a little trustworthy to me. I'm a little uneasy about this. Mm, yes, but I'd be, I'm leaning the same way myself. Ultimately, what he says about the potential benefits is true. Nevertheless, I doubt the higher the higher ups will assume. I should have. I suppose that's how it goes when you're dealing with the military types. For what it's worth, I do understand the, high, the hesitancy to throw your lot in with someone from the hostile nation. That's part two of my problem. I shall do you a service, provided whether to get into stress. I had to look around in uh, fringes of your camp and here before you arrive and I've spotted a few serial uh, engines in need of repair. I'd fix them up. Your superiors would have no reason to suspect that I want to want you driven out. Less reason in any case. Assisting us, uh, these loaded in Niger would go a long way. I imagine thus said I've hired in anything from the serial engines. <laughs> Uh, it's not as if they're entirely useless yet, but I guarantee they're not running as they should. Give me the opportunity and I can have them working more efficiently and safely. You're welcome to accompany while I do so. That way you can ensure that I don't get up don't get up to anything suspect. And uh and vouch for me when you're such to your superheroes. I have no objections, I trust you will uh, uh let us begin at the power expression then we can go to the work as soon as we're ready. Oh red. Alright. Action, however. Oh, God, okay. Let's just go. Get it going. Come on. Where am I supposed to inspect this early alarm engines? Where are the engines? There's so many in there. There's a cerulean engine right there. Look at it and fix it now, slave.
There's one more over here, slave. I want you to look at it and fix it. Bitch. Not me. Not me. Not me. Him. Him, not me. Where's the third and final one that I want you to take a look at? And I want you to repair the shit out of it. Where is it? Eh, where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Yeah. Is it not here? Is it not in here? Trying to check me out. Oh my god. Oh my god. You son of a bitch, you. Come. Um. Speed boost! There you go. Walks right through it. He's a cheater. He's a cheater. Oh, where are our engines? Alas, I fear either of those that was examined or guaranteed to break down sooner or later. Should you begin any use of the occurrence thing? Surely you jest. I swear in my integrity as an engineer, you are in dire need of instruction of instruction in the proper operation of Cyrolean engine, you fool. You saw the little, little lamp inside? You saw the little lamp light up when you touched the switch, correct? Not only it eliminates when there's an issue with the engine. <laughs> hmm. I'm in the machine. Very well, on behalf of the camp, I formally ask you to repair the Cerulean engine now, bitch. I assume that means I'll be taking the responsibility if anything goes wrong, so you may as well use your own two hands this time. That's the spirit I knew would come around, you little shit. <laughs> Form of continuous suicide. It must have come at a great shock to uh, to his men. What of the refugees? I'm told some were uh, receptive of our proposal, but I would hear your first-hand account. <laughs> ah, that so many did not hesitate to accept proves how desperate their situation has become. We'll do our best to make them feel welcome. The troops who participated in the ambush are no exception. They will be afforded the same treatment as other refugees. Per what? Perf D notwithstanding. 
Perfidy? I don't know what that means. What is that? After all, even I, even, even if I wanted to make an example of them, there's no one left to learn from it. Yeah, they're all fucking dead. <laughs> We will tell our allies that these soldiers were acting under the direct orders of their of their legatus, legatus, and their and following his suicide, they offered full and unconditional surrender. Perhaps Quintus thought that he that he had lived, he would be tired as a war criminal, tried as a world criminal, and his man punished with him. Perhaps by taking his own life, he hoped to ab absolve them of any culpability, or perhaps. Like too many others, he was a true believer, believer to the end. Who can say? I didn't know the man or his heart. His reasons, noble or otherwise, died with him. And it forced us to clean up the mess. Yas. Yas, queen. Yas. I assume you're curious about the, how matters have progressed here in, our, in your absence. I was just here. I didn't leave. Quintus, well, as it happens... Now that we uh, procured ceruleum from Trapper's Den, oh, hold on my eyes. The recently repaired heaters can provide much needed warmth. Furthermore, we prepared sufficient food for everyone. Those in Tritanium shall find a hot meal waiting upon their arrival. There's one for you, so go ahead and get some well earned rest. I believe that we're capable of wielding a ladle or two without your assistance. On your way, Maya asked you to speak to Yushoya. Uh, on your way, seek out Yushoya. She, she was but recently attending attending to to the wounded, but she's meant to be taking a rest herself. See that she is. Hey, Carlo, Carlo, what's up, brother? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream, brother. Welcome, 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 welcome. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to hear from you. Ooh, more current. Gotta do this quest. I've seen you before in Titanium, yes. I was part of the first group transferred here, but there's someone I'm trying to find. A small boy, red hair. Have you seen him? Hmm, he's probably still refusing to budge. Yeah, yeah. oh my apologies. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ho, First Legion. I've been doing what I can for, I can for the uh, refugees, though I suppose I'm one myself. You see, I've always tried to help those in need. Some call me busybody. In fact, in fact, but before joining the military, I was a member of the, of the Vigilis Urbani. And it was our duty to keep the citizenry, citizenry safe. Old habits die hard, though, which is why I'm determined to look for that. Oh, determined to look after the uh, whatever. I didn't read the, the last part. He's been separated from his parents in chaos, but he won't leave the station without him. Thing is, there's no place where a child his age pending for himself. You see the conditions there. He needs food and warmth, which you and yours have been kind enough to offer. I should go back to the station to try persuading him to join your camp. Could I trouble you to accompany me? It'll do him good to see you're not a monster. He probably thinks you are. Me, a monster? What did you eat today? I ate fucking, uh... Some good shit. Oreos. <laughs> yeah, bro. Eat some Oreos. Thank you, then. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I'll speak to you. I'll speak to him, bro. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Bunny hop. Gala, Galia, Gala. That's Gala. If my prediction is correct, he should be still around here. His name is Volui, Volusus, Volusus, Volusus. But most know him better for his scarlet locks. Considering how reluctant he needs to leave, I doubt he'd answer if we tried calling for him. Would you mind helping me look? Fine. Fine. Bom, Volus. Volsus. Volsus. You sus. Where are you, sus to the. Sus, sus boy. Where are you, sus boy? Oh, he's right here. Sus boy. Who, who are you? Who are you? Onion, you? 
Vulsa? Ooh, kind of baddie. We've been looking everywhere for you, still refusing to join everyone at the other camp, I see. I'm the man. Don't you see? It's for your own good. I know you. Came here with Hewlett, didn't you? Please, you got to listen to me. Mom and Dad are alive. I know they are. No one's saying they aren't. Sorry to burden you, but I'm feeling he'll he'll be more cooperative once he's got it off his chest. Hear him out, would you? What the fuck is that? It's fixing the car, so. My position in my job is a project manager, and I'm in charge of job and how to set up set up people, materials, supplies. Yesterday, I had to tell this guy to shut the, the hell up to get to work, and he took up he took it up to booty hole. He didn't get to work. He didn't get to work after I told him for the rest of the day. That's the thing about managers, dude. When we're in a position like that, and they don't listen, and they take it up to yes. Especially coming in, coming from me, dude. Like I started off as a regular line cook and I got promoted. Like they don't listen. You just uh They can't do shit about it, bruh. They gotta listen to you. They gotta fucking listen to you from now on. And today he was quiet and working all day, see? You can't say shit. That's good. That's good you told him to shut the fuck up and get to work, bitch. That's good that. Uh, you told him, hey, motherfucker, get back to work, you fucking slave. Love it. I love that energy. Keep that energy, bro. We're in a higher position. Well, well, now, here's a sight that warms the heart. I've never thought I have the honor to meet the hero of your, of your pedigree, let alone beg for your aid. You see... I've got a shipment of supplies to send down to Trapper's Den, and having someone who knows the lady land by my side would go a long way to ensure it's safe delivery. I'm the uh, I defend it myself, but I'm a piece of shit. If you <laughs> if you so be kind to escort me, I assure I'll make it worth your while. All right, all right. What do you mean, huh? What do you mean worth my while, huh? Commissary officer, what the fuck you mean, huh? Don't talk, don't talk, don't take the non monster so What do you mean, huh? Worth my while, huh? What do you mean, huh? What do you mean, eh? Where's the commissary officer? Oh, okay. Let's get this, let's get my bike. I don't want him to lose his job and shit. It's the holiday, yeah, the holidays. And I know he needs a job, and I talked with my wife about it last night, and he said not to worry about it. It was fucking. No, dude, dude. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, dude. You're doing your job. They take it personal, that's on them. You gotta manage these people, bro. There you are, I knew you have the heart to help a soul in need. Oh god, it's one of these follow missions. So where are we going, huh? Come on. Now I gotta walk with you because you don't have a mount. I could have easily gone here. It's not that far. For an ether current, not that far. I'll be flying here sooner than later. You better chill the fuck out. You better chill the fuck out, boy. Who are we fighting here? Oh, uh, it'll be some time. Yep, you better. Yeah. Uh, 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 do I have to do that? I didn't want to read all that. If you wish to have a commissary, I'll further accompany you again. Return. That's location. More talking circles. It's his actions that's going to get him fired, not mine's exactly. You're good, man. You're good. 
there's only hearsay, but I've been told some ma masses are formed from cerulean burst from forth from the earth and comes into contact with the surrounding water, freezing instantly and capturing the moment of violence. Furthermore, the water mix in in it prevents the cerulean from being set aflame, so we can't use it as fuel without re uh, refinement. The amount of cerulean you'll get after all the work is barely worth the trouble. Pure cerulean is rest rested straight from the earth. That's what that's what those rigs you see off in the distance are going to do. So have I heard. Okay, thanks for the information, buddy. I appreciate all the fucking information you're telling me, man. Fucking remember every single one of them. This dude needs to fucking chill. Chill, motherfucker. Motherfucker, blast you, motherfucker. You want a piece of me, motherfucker? You want a fucking piece of me? Huh? Huh? You need to fucking chill the fuck out, bitch. Deuces, sucker. Told you to chill the fuck out. Should've chilled the fuck out before you started messing with me, boy. On the good side, my son is four months old to Dayskis. Oh, that's right. Congrats, dude. They're gonna grow so fast. Here we are, safe and sound. I couldn't have done it without you, friend. No, we're not friends. All that's left is to deliver the goods. Let's enter the caves and get some shelter from the freezing winds. Oh, she wants me to. She wants me to enter the cave, yo. Yeah, yo. She wants me to enter the cave. She said she'll make it up to me. Now she wants me to enter a dark cave. Hey. Ah. Damn, you sure you want to do it right here? There's like fucking a bunch of people watching, dude. You sure? Well, the goods have been safely delivered, but I'm afraid I have one more task to beg of you. Of course, I do it myself I could, but I'm afraid this calls for someone with skills that I lack. You're not obligated to help me again, but seeing as how you're already here, maybe you won't mind hearing me out. Nah. nah I'm good, bruh. <laughs> I'm good. I'm sorry, bruh. I'm out. Good luck. Good luck, bruh. You promised me something, but... Give me shit. Hey, what are all these? Hey, yo. Bracelet? Hey, your headgear? Gloves? Shoes? You really, you really know how to get to a woman. Alright, Ishtola. Where's mama? Oh, there's baby. There's baby girl. There's baby girl. What's up, baby girl? I'm hella tall, huh? I'm still like, huh? You like that? You like that, eh? You like that? Yes, yes, I've been talking. I've been taking proper breaks and imbibing, imbibing sufficient water. Imbibing? What is that fucking word, bruh? I speak English, bro. But what of the Warrior of Light? You and the twins have established have an established history of reckless disregard for your own well-being. We're all fortunate that none of you landed yourselves in my care. I've already I've already quite enough to deal with between the temper and the first wounded. Alas, though I can mend their bodies, the toll of their experiences have taken have taken on their hearts and minds in another matter altogether. For their sakes, we mustn't waver. But nor must me rush ahead in eagerness to see the day one, and in so doing invite, and in so doing invite disaster. Upon settling down for supper, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It's recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these cutscenes in their entirety. Settle down for a restful supper. Did I tell you last time that I was in jail? <laughs> They thought I was Filipino, and a lot of Filipinos were talking. <laughs> no, you didn't. Then you should have just been like, No, yeah, man, I just don't know the language. I'm hella Filipino. Should have just been like that. <laughs> That's a cool story, though. Let me start talking to you in, in Tagalog. Hey, look at my baddie just walk. Mm. With her little mini skirt and her high heels. Baddie nerd.
Play that music, son. Well, that's a cool, cool gear. I wouldn't mind wearing that. The Bojan jacket is cool as fuck, too. <laughs> this fucker. Hell in you. Uh, my leg. <laughs> oh, it's those fucks. Is that all of them? It's those fucks now. They want to come back now? They want to come back now? <sighs> Is that all of them? Aye, that'd be all of them. Aye. The last of those who agreed to join us, yes. We left heaters and provisions for those who wish to stay behind. They won't last forever, but hopefully they'll last long enough. For now, I think everyone's earned a rest. We'll see to those in need of medical attention, so take the others with you and get yourselves some hot soup. Mmm, soup! Her steps are always the hardest. See, we're not all bad. Get some soup, you idiot. Come on, Eulis. We're not bad people. We're here to help you. This, uh, this motherfucker has a sad story. He had to kill his whole family because they turned into zombies. Look at that detail of that fire. Warmth. At last. Marvelous, isn't it? All thanks to the resourceful machinists of... I haven't even started, big boy. On their behalf... I have not I even started, you brother. Yourself to your heart's content. Oh, I'm broke Don. first night. Your people might have scribbled a few things on a piece of parchment, but it was our Lamincent Smiths that put the bloody things together. Well, be that as it may, we single-handedly got the interior heating up and running again, didn't we? The hells you did! We were there every step of the way. Why that's fine? That's not a good sign. We? You barely raised a finger to help, you ale-sodden reprobate. I did a damn sight more than you, you lily-livered bilge rat. Bilge rat. Take that back. Make me. I will not stoop to your level. Here. Way to set a good example, you idiots. At ease, man. There's nothing funny in it. Come on, dude. Everyone could be different, dude. I'm from Alamigo, but was a conscript until recently. Used to eat this with the officers. Alamigo, the one you Apparently, took. Apparently, it's adapted from a step recipe. This is my first time trying it, and I have to say, it's not half bad. Man, they're all different races can come together, dude. Mm. It's a bit too flavorful for my liking. <laughs> Perhaps compared to what you're used to. Wait, is that guy from Sher Sherlanian? Things that make life worth living, don't you think? Oh, yeah, Ain't your principles, damn it. We could all work together, man. I'm not crying. I'm not fucking crying.
so you're pretty much set now. What'd you get the kids? Tell me, I won't tell them, promise. I know oh. this is not a dream, and yet... I felt the same way at the Dragon Song War's end. Every morning I would step outside and need to be reminded that it wasn't my imagination. That my world had been forever changed. And just as I had grown accustomed to the idea, again you change my world in ways I never thought possible. Working with Garlemon? Working with Garlemon. Were it not for you and your fellow scions, the rifts between man and dragon and myriad tribes might never have been bridged. After pay? I think so. The Is it when you're paying for? Of Eorzea. The Ilsebad contingent. We owe it all to you. We've shed many tears in recent days of pain and sorrow, triumph and joy. I much prefer the latter. I'm honored to fight by your side. As an Eorzean and Galian both, I shall do all in my power to bring my peoples together. Yes, let's go! It is a remarkable achievement. Everything that I and the Popularis had hoped for, and more. Would that it had come sooner. It's really Indeed. good. My wife has done a Too lot of things from there. To see it. And yet, yeah, but it, it, it is pretty good. My breast, as if they so still give a chance to like moment. split payments. Yes, I know what you mean. On a night like tonight, the wind and cold seem to pass me by. What the fuck's happening? As soon as something good's happening, something terrible has to step in. Oh, he's mad now. Stay protected, everyone. He doesn't have a talisman! He doesn't have a talisman! He doesn't have a talisman! Oh, Emperor Varus? They are being tempered! The talismans! Quickly! No, not him! He was finally seeing change. God damn it. Save me, brave hero. Ahem. My lord has requested your presence, and I would hate to disappoint him. I'll have a word. I'll have a word with him. I'll have a fucking word with him. We'll have a fucking word with him. We'll have we'll, we'll exchange some words. 
We're gonna exchange some fucking words. The experiment was a success, but I fear our time is short. Mm-hmm. I'll have some words with your boss, bro. I shall I'll begin the preparations. Motherfucker. Things were going great, bitch. Now, it is time for you to awaken. Hmm. You're into sneakers? My kids want some Travis. Oh my god. No, don't give them that. Good morrow to you. Here, have a taste before it gets cold. Oh, but be sure to. Is that retail price for the Oreos? Take a moment, too, to familiarize yourself with that borrowed flesh. What? What? Borrowed flesh? Oh, motherfucker. So, how does it feel? I, for one, find those first moments within a new body to be most refreshing. We had a Magitech engineer by the name of Aulus to thank for this method of soul extraction and implantation. I believe the two of you met briefly in Alamigo. His was a rather sticky end, wasn't it? Thankfully, he was thoughtful enough to leave behind his mind jack technology. I took the liberty of making some improvements and selecting you as my esteemed test subject. Come now. To us Asians, it is no different from trying on new clothes. Why not make the most of it by partaking in this fine cuisine? Mm, I won't be here, I offend I Daniel. Say, I have gone to great lengths to reunite you with my lord. When I discovered that his friend was in this neck of the woods, oh. I suggested inviting you over for dinner. 300 bucks? Not bad, though. He never deigned to respond, but I took his silence mm. as a resounding yes. The fuck? Oh my! Daddy is pleased his grumpy little boy has finally found his playmate. He's alive. Varus was alive. Ah, exposition is in order. The Galian Empire has long outlawed all forms of religion. No gods to worship, no risk of summoning. Brilliantly simple. But people being people must turn to something or someone in their hour of need. Who then? Why, his radiance, the Emperor, of course. As you have observed firsthand, Garlemald has seen better days. The legendary Solasos Galvis, dead. Provinces near and far in open rebellion. Our bold new emperor assassinated. And that last one even sparked a civil war. What rotten luck. The people cried out for salvation. Their earnest pleas, one might even call them prayers, a supplication united for the Empire to reclaim her former glory. What the fuck? And so their will did manifest, channeled through the corpse of none other than Emperor Varus himself. And lo, the savior was born, the embodiment of the Galian spirit. Their anima. It calls to its subjects, compelling them to take up arms and fight. And just as the wealth 
and power gravitate towards the Empire's capital. So too does Ether from every corner of the globe. The towers with which you and your allies have been so preoccupied were created as an extension of Anima itself. An ingenious design. Would you not agree, my lord? Man, give me my body, this war will be over. Does the pursuit of prey you have bested before excite you? Of Don't talk to me not. like that. Absent the challenge, the thrill, your prize is a hollow victory. Butchery. Perhaps you think that to be the extent of my promise. I have no doubt fallen in your estimation since Alamigo. Fair enough. But do not let your disdain deprive you, deprive us, of an opportunity to craft an even more majestic moment of euphoria. I have been honing my craft as I set the stage for our reunion. I like how you turned it exactly how you pour wine. Wheresoever there is suffering and despair, you appear to fulfill your duty as defender of this star. Hmm. The chaos and destruction that my hordes have wrought are my gifts to you alone. Oh, it's that fucker. Now him too. He was about to change his view in the world. At a loss for words? No matter. As you will learn. I have only just begun. Oh, will you not finish your meal? There is only one thing that can sate my hunger. And it would seem my friend has lost her appetite. Damn. You guys get snow for I Christmas? That's awesome. Of civility might prove I want to experience that. Diversion. But clearly, we are above such pretensions. Don't use big words on me, motherfucker. While my lifeless body was in the possession of Cassia, I too claimed another's as my own. It was an enlightening experience to fight in an unfamiliar form. Flaws and failings in my technique were plain to see. Whence rises one's true strength? The flesh? The soul? Perhaps you should like to discover the answer for yourself. Don't look up my skirt, bitch. Did he take my fucking body, that little pig? Oh, that ass. Oh dear! Whatever would happen if my lord were to greet your friends as you? 
I shudder to imagine what carnage he would wreak. We'd better hurry if we want to avert the bloodbath. You can thank me later for my generosity. Is your camp, I believe. If I were to hazard a guess, I would say that you, the other you, is making her way there as we speak. Alas, this you will have to walk from here, or run if you can manage it. My lord would be cross if I made it too easy. Fucker. Such ingratitude. I'd not squander this fighting chance. After all, you've obstacles enough to overcome. Right on cue. Motherfucker. Tempered soldiers, with standing orders to kill those not sworn to anima. Under normal circumstances, you would make short work of them. But on this occasion, the odds are not so heavily stacked in your favor. It's a cool experience having snow everywhere, but it's, it gets cold as hell, I can only imagine. You're above the maximum level, proceed. I can only imagine, dude, but it's still pretty cool, you know, it's just opening presents. I sent a picture of the shoes I'm talking about to your Discord. I'll definitely check it out. One second. I don't have much time. This is a time mission. Um, I'll check it after this. Alright, brother? I got to get the fuck out of here. Oh. No, 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 no. Not bad at all, given your diminished capacity. Nevertheless, it would perhaps be prudent to keep to the shadows. Scurrying about like a rodent. Alright. Where to next? Alright, um... Get the fuck over here then. Wait, why can't I move forward?
<laughs> Thanks for that, Carlos. Just figuring out how to get away from these fucking zombies because this is not my full. This is not my body. I don't want to take any unnecessary fights. I still got 20 minutes, so. They're fast minutes now. I managed to get two, um, two media, two kits out of that. Shit. So I have to go, I have, they want me to go through here. I thought I was making progress, I just went back to where I started. All Gucci. Borrowed flesh. See, the thing is... Like, they don't know, I played Metal Gear Solid when I was younger, so this shit is easy. You take risks like this, get the fuck out of there. I got caught. I'll bring him in, I'll bring him in here so he could die. And no one will ever see you. Let's go. I got three medical carrots. Let's fucking go. It's lit. Hmm. There has to be another way. There has to be another way. Uh, can we go through here? I'm glad you're so stupid. <clears throat> Let's go, hoggers. We'll wait for that guy to move. Come on, move, man. No time. Fuck. Oh, you fuck. <laughs> Find a matchstick key and fuel. I found cerulean. 
I need to key. Where could it be? All right, I got key. You've inserted an in, uh, identification bit of magic repair to not be activated without fuel. I need a fucking ceruleum. Maybe here? Hmm. Okay, sir. Got to go. Phone's about to die. Hey, man. I appreciate you stopping by, dude. Showing some love. You always do. Thank you, man. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your night, man. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Alright. We gotta find this fucking key, bruh. I mean, this fucking fuel. Maybe we need to find a Magitek. Might be there. That might be one. Let's see if we can find some fuel. Bye, Carlos. Be easy, man. Wait, what? Uh, you find medical kit in the cockpit. That's not what I was looking for. Hmm. hmm. That is fuel here. Small sack of fuel. What did I find? You. Now we gotta find out where the fuck is this thing at. Where was the Magitek at? Kinda lost myself here. over here somewhere. Yeah, I found it. Let's go, baby. Blast our way through here.
Disembark, huh? How do I get out of here? There we fucking go. Alright. <clears throat> we gotta get to Camp Broken Glass. Peace out, Carlos. <laughs> I don't know how it looked with me. I'm in a camp broken glass with a bunch of imp imperial citizens. Get over here, guys. Get over here, guys. Holy shit, I'm at one HP. I live with one HP. I'm gonna save the blast. You begin to lose consciousness. How dare you do this on me? How dare you? God. What? What the hell, man? Did I crawl all the way over there? We were able to restrain the tempered without suffering casualties. A welcome one. Arun, Senna, and the others have their hands full as it is. Thankfully, there are enough scales for everyone. And what of Eulus? His symptoms were particularly severe. They were, but others fared still worse, including some brought back from the Magna Glacius. 
As those in most desperate need take priority, it may be a while before he receives treatment. Damn. But rest assured that he will. In the meantime, we must find our missing friend. May the fury guide you. Say my name, bitch. Of all the bloody times for a disappearing act. Right when the first wave struck, we'd be fools to think it a coincidence. But where even to begin the search? No one saw her leave in the chaos, and we've no trail to follow. While I know full well she can handle herself, I worry all the same. Ah, speak of the devil. No, don't talk to her. Don't. Well, time to call off the search. Don't. Don't. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Shit. It's closed. Oh, God, she's about to wreck all you guys. That's her. Over there. Oh, God, no. Oh, it would appear so. Thou art struggling to perceive her presence. I am. Perhaps in the aftermath of the wave, there is some residual effect. Oh, God, practices. you guys are about to die. But oh, God, not like this, yo. I'm going to slap them both. Watch. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. Uh, now, now, all's well that ends well. Are you all right? Are you all right? Oh my god, who are you gonna- Oh my god, not none of them. Who are you? Not Graha, not Alphanese. No, oh god, no. And I still managed to crawl all the way over there with one HP. Sadly, that is all we have time for today. The effect has run its course, and back to your own bodies you must go. Just end him now, dude. End him now. But where are my manners? We have all traveled so very far, and I have yet to pay my respects. Though in my defense, I was ill-prepared to receive so many uninvited guests. As such, preliminary entertainments were in order. A handful of tempered soldiers to hamper your progress. Refugees to command your attention while I siphon the ceruleum from the shadows. Bitch. Particularly effective. Charitable souls that you are, you bent over backwards to aid them. Heedless of the delay, predictable to a fault, and so my plan approaches completion unhindered. Anima will soon have absorbed the requisite amount of ether, and then shall come the spectacle to end all spectacles. The eldest and most powerful of primals will awaken. And all shall bear witness to the final days.
The gods themselves will be my meal. Your dear companions, my dessert. Upon this world I'll feast, and death shall follow in my wake. All your hate, all your rage, you will render unto me. <laughs> For upon thy life's reel wind too many threads of fate, power, wheel enmeshed with woe. More terrible still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions as they are swept up in the storm of thine existence. Take heart and protect them well. They will be your strength and your salvation. Bruh. Is that Rianje talking? Thank goodness. <laughs> the twins are so cute, dude. Yes, I'll be right back. I just have to use the bathroom. Excuse me. It'll be a while. It'll be a minute.
Hello everyone, I'm back. Okay. Is everyone alright? So I'm not dead yet? I am pleased to report you are very much alive. Everything in working order. <laughs> And before I forget, thanks for coming to our rescue. Of course. Of course, my little twins. Hi, Mama. Given recent events, I would be surprised if you weren't feeling a bit poorly. A hearty meal and a long rest would be my recommendation under normal circumstances, but these are anything but. If Van Daniel's boasts are to be believed, we must act quickly. Once you've blown away the cobwebs, we can discuss preparations for our assault on the Tower of Babel. Babil. Nice. You're certain you're well. Nothing out of place. No missing bits. <laughs> Good. Though I won't promise the same for Van Daniel and Zenos after we do, after I'm through with them. <laughs> How much have these people suffered before they are satisfied? How many cruel, pointless tricks must they play? Prelude to the final days or not. This ends now. Ether current gateways to the gods. Are you well enough to make your report? Let's go. This anima. Oh my god, how am I supposed to read that? It seems not. More to the point, we can surmise that wave of Aether issued not from the Tower of Babel, but from the primal lurking within it. Shit! Your primal's cry rang more, rather more loudly in your ears than ours. If you were taken to the tower itself, then th this proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that it is the beating heart of the Twelve Horos uh, Mechanicians. Mechanicians? Why couldn't they just say mechanicism? In which case, we have some highly irre irre irrelevant information. As many of you know, ever since we dispatched troops to free the Leviers, we've been developing a plan to infiltrate the tower. According to Thatcher and the scouts, the main structure is lou lousy with tempered, tempered and en enemy magic tech, magic tech. Furthermore, the road leading to its collapse leading to to it has collapsed, making it difficult to approach in numbers. Thus, we propose dividing our forces into two parties, one to distract and one to infiltrate. The, divi the divisionary force will be compromised of the comprised of the Ishgardian, Cardanian, and Lum Lumensian delegations. They will begin to construct begin the construction of the bridge to make the Telephoro believe we are marching upon the tower. Meanwhile, best suited for our Alamigan, Uldan, and Eastern comrades will use a different method of ingress. Look here. The facility marked in red is the Incaladium, a vast Magitech manufacturer, ma manufactory in ruins now of course manufacturing but the freight tunnel connected to the uh, Eastwild Imperial Palace remains intact mmm I see the tunnel while the Telfor's attention is as well our, our infiltration force can use it to enter the tower undetected 
Be aware, however, that the Underground Rail Network remains very much operational. The Temperate are using it to bring supplies to the tower even now. If it can carry their material, it can carry us too, provide we sneak aboard unseen. We're sneaking, eh? The science will lead an infiltration party. Once inside, you must locate and dispatch from Daniel and Xanos. We will save the people of Garmon and those who suffer and those who suffer that what the world over. I have my vengeance. Uh, I'll have my vengeance yet. It's time we ended this once and for all. I'm over it. Fuck those two. I'm about to smack them, bro. About to, they're about to get clapped. Hey, there will be no more casualties for the Telephoros. Manicial ambition. Can't even read. How quickly can we enact this plan? And Daniel made it quite clear that haste is a priority. A paramount concern, even assuming he did name the Tower of Babel on, uh, on a whim. He didn't name the Tower of Babel. In, uh, in Amon's time, it's meant Gateway of the Gods. Zaned Yusu, Zaned Ziande. Fuck if I know how to pronounce that fucking name with an X. <laughs> Yusu to refer, <laughs> refer to a void gate, but in this case, it's almost certainly alludes alludes to something altogether greater. <clears throat> the eldest and most powerful of primals. All the more reasons to act now. The rest of the rest of the contingent is aware of the plan, and we are ready to move on at a moment's notice. You are to proceed north to form pa patents. Least groups will meet you there. Patents. As ever, we're grateful for your foresight. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Spare no effort in your preparations. Hi. <laughs> Speak with Lise. It's time to get new gear. We're going for war, guys. It's time to get some new gear. We're 83. Enough with this skimpy outfit. We're going in for war. We might as well look the part, eh? Hey, look at that. No, 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 don't give me that. Stamp. The gloves. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Any new ones? Or are they all the same for the most part? 
urban coat. So, um, this is what um, Raha has on. This is so dope. Oh, that is smexy. Still not as strong as mine. Just skin. Eight thousand though. Yeah, let's just buy it. Okay, from um let's see what we could do with it with their glamour. You going for a wall, boy? Half castle. Uh, I don't like that. I have to uh, click it twice. 400 Q, A. Eh? Hang in there, boys. I'm just changing my, my gear because we're going to war. And I don't want to dress like a slut anymore. We'll go back. Well, obviously, we're going to go back to the to the sexy outfit, of course. Might as well repair everything while we're here. Make sure everything is repairable. I gotta delete some stuff, dude. I gotta sell some stuff. Oh, look at this girl. Cute hair. <laughs> I pressed E. I love this new UI. Yup, yup, yup. Yup, yup, yup. Actually. <laughs> Where is it? Hide uh, gear sets. Augmented x Arctic top. <laughs> I gotta sell that too. I gotta get my... I gotta get my uh, material from there. No, that's a reaper. That's a reaper. I need a machine this. That's pretty cool. Um, no, no, now for the top. There's my new war outfit. Um, 
I kind of like it. Let's change the hair. Four <sighs> KQ? Shit! I thought you said four hundred. Shit! Might as well call it a night. Oh, man. Did I do short hair? Don't care. Who's messaging me? I need, like, war hair. There's just not a whole lot of choices. I don't want to copy Ray. I don't want to think she's... Co I'm copying her. Well, that was, like, the only war hair. She cut off... She, like, she, she's, like, she cut off her hair because she's getting ready to fight. Sorry, Ray. I'm not copying you. It's just there's no, oh, not a whole lot of choices available. For anyone that don't know Ray, she's in our free company. She's also a bunny lady. Ooh, mine stay getting closer to, uh, getting closer to uh, joining me here. Bro, she's ready for fucking war, bro. Look at her. She ready to fight, bruh. Damn. Look, perfect attire for the upcoming battle, if I do say so myself, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Wait for me, Kichan. I'm not even. You're way ahead of me. What are you saying? No, that's not the. That's not the perfect war. War cry or war mount. And this is not the perfect. I need the perfect minion for my war. Um, <laughs> hell yeah. Let's go. I kind of like the music though. I don't like the music that was going on. Um, audio. Play music when mounted. Just sets the mood. I'm, I'm really immersed right now. My girl was like, you took over my body, dude. You violated me. So I cut my hair. I'm about to fuck your shit up. Let's fucking go. She's riding her motorcycle. She's all geared up. Oh my god, she about to go in on your head ass. Oh man, I want my mount. I want my horse mount, god dang it. Cool to ride in one of those. You don't want this noise, boy. You don't want the problem with me, bro. Yo, I'm ready for war. Yo, she looks badass, dude, to me. She looks really badass to me. Hora, the way into the tunnel is clear. We made sure of it. I wish you made sure to bring a coat instead. Then we best get in there before we freeze, especially you. Oh, 
Oh, the shoe will be on the other foot once we're in, believe you me. A good fight should warm us all up. Spilling! I got a lot of fucking messages. Jeez. Who are all these people? <laughs> Barely enough cloth uh, to uh, swaddle a newborn. Clearly, you have spent too too long around the fear, feral dog of Dothral. Watch your tongue full, lest I feed it to the crows. We will see who is the fool when you freeze to death. <laughs> expect me, expect me not to warm your ill-prepared hide. These furs are for myself and my naman alone. Should I be blessed to meet her this day? As any woman of worth should wish to be worn by you, little son. Should, should we find such a warrior within, she will bask in my glorious flame. Well, uh, there they go again. They're, they're, they add it again. Stop, both of you. Save your fire from the enemy. As for extra furs, I have plenty to spare. As do we. Oh, Mama Yistola. Oh, they got their gear back. Man, y'all changed? Y'all changed too? Mm. Hello, everyone. All set for battle, I see. Oh, yeah, we damn ready. Yes, free of unnecessary encumbrance. If rather more suspect susceptible to the cold, let us review our strategy quickly, if you don't mind. Pip it, peep it, peep it's group has gone ahead to the in Kelnum in in Kelnum? We're to meet them there. We'll wait until the te temper's attention is drawn by our di di division divisionary forces. Then we sneak into the train. Next stop, the Tower of Babel. Diversionary forces. If any temple included are injured, we, Athala, will tend to them. These signs must press on no matter what. <laughs> Aye. We should avoid moving as a group until we un we're underground, so we'll need to make our own ways to the in Keldon, in, Ke in Kaseldonium, in Kaseldonium, I can't pronounce that guys, please help me, see you there. I. Speak to peep it. Uh, first off, first off, we gotta take a gang gang pick, we gotta take a gang gang pick of the squad. Where do I place myself? I'll take Gang Gang, bro. Change my pose and everything. Um. We gotta take gang gang picks. That could be gang gang. She kinda cute though. Oh my god, are you fucking calling for a Man, bruh? I'm on Discord. Your Discord, my Discord, FC's, gang, 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 gang. gang, gang. I'm just taking a gang, gang pick with with the gang. Who's messaging me? 
Fucking Ryan trying to get a switch for some. Wait! Whoa. Yeah, as soon as I bought mine, they all went in stock. Really? Yeah. Bruh. But he already has a switch. This man's dumb. Yo, man, he needs a chill. No, it's not a bigger screen. It's a slightly... It just has no bezels. gonna get one no I'm not gonna get one the fuck why would I need one? Oh, gang gang pick fucking there's gang up, gang there's pick there's updates in the plugin plugin department here let's see what we got in the plugin department what do uh, you use for filters for control. pictures um you know the Neneko stuff Nanneko, 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 Nan
Real time reflections. Oh, I forgot. Trying to get fucking. Enough messing around. You still use the G Shade gameplay, or did you find a better one? No, I'm, I'm using the same one I've been using. Gameplay, right? Oh, OMG, yours, yeah. Gameplay. OMG. What's that under? Um, G Shade? Yeah, it is. G Shade presets. Oh, or, uh, yeah, G Shade. Just G Shade. No. Alright, let's go. Speak with Pippi. Why? Do you like it? What? Do I like what? Like colors? Oh, uh, yeah. It just changes the colors, but nothing else, so it doesn't know for the frames. Oh, you said turn off, um... MX, uh, MX... A... O? Turn that off. That's, uh... You like, you like the, um, no, the UI? Yeah. I can buy that. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't see it. AMXO. What? Oh, it's in. No, no, no. It's in uh, um, the G shade. Turn off the MAAMXO. MAMXAO. Yeah, it makes AO. The G shade. And then for your graphic settings, turn off real time reflections. Real time reflections. I don't know the other one. There's wait. Let me just Google it real quick. Hmm. I don't see real time reflection. Oh, there it is. Real time reflection. Yeah, that was at maximum. Yeah, turn that off. And hang on. there's one more. There's one more. I forget. Oh. Oh, transparent lighting quality. Make sure it's on normal. Transparent lighting quality. And then you scroll all the way down. Screen screen space ambient occlusion. Turn it off. It doesn't. The game still looks good. I don't know what it does. Damn, being like fucking fifteen x shit. I'm at 140 mm. now. Nice. I invite me to the party. Hold on. <laughs> Man, bruh. It's just thinner bezels. Do I have fraps on? Where's my fraps? Why isn't my fraps showing my FPS, you piece of shit? What's fraps? It shows your FPS. That's what I used to have. What's that? Fraps. It shows your FPS. It's a, a third-party applicant, yeah. You guys want to... 
No. 600. Dumb as shit. I gotta talk to Peep It. Let me unlock the dungeon and I'll invite you. It's good to see you, Cora. We heard you, uh, that you that you collapsed. We were given only the most curious explanation. I'm glad you've recovered and quickly enough to take part in operation at, all, at that. As you will have heard, we've secured the way in. Some few are to remain behind to keep their escape or, uh, escape route clear. Our comrades from the Lentest Tears, Lenet Lenet's Tears or whatever. We'll lead the way into the station. I'll join you soon. Oh god, another of these follow uh, follow missions. The station is right this way. Ted quite lightly now. Let's see to the station. Gonna rip us off. Dan This is everyone. <laughs> Considering the enemy well and truly distracted. I don't think Time anyone ever sold it at 600. I don't think I don't think so either. Our primary objective, of course, the Telephoros leaders. But should we be presented with the opportunity to vanquish Anima, we must seize it. If this is indeed the force behind the towers destroying it, will deliver our allies from the from the Telephoros reign of terror. And I, for one, would not see the Garlanian people manipulated any longer, be it by primal, Asian, or anything else. Here, here. There's been enough of that. We came to help the people of Garlemont, and that's what we're going to do together. <laughs> Till the very end. The train should be along any moment now. Prepare to board, everyone. Squad. 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 Let's fucking go. You ready for this, boy? Dude, during cutscenes, I was getting, um, 190. Yeah, of course. Dude, they don't like the new map. Everybody's complaining. Why? I don't know. In the, uh, Warzone. Even Aiden. Plays the game every day. It's like, I don't want to play this shit. Should I get a, a tank and healer? Should I get um thanks grid and oh never mind. We can't do that. <laughs> oh. No. Let's Wish go. Good. Boys. That'll be cool. You just bring a stole and um braha. Damn, two hundred frames on a cutscene. There you go. 
Hey, yo, why do I have an ASEAN in our team? Oh my... Fucking go. Now or never. Hey, banger. It's a banger, bro. It's gonna be a banger. Oh shit! Let's go, banger. Look at the, look at the squad. They're all coming, look at them. <laughs> this is so sick. Oh, I get a fence on my new skill. Banger. 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 How about this? Crit hit. Crit hit. Banger. I love that. I love this new shotgun I got. Man, you already got a new skill, level 82. 83. 82. Oh, more or more. Look at my new skill. Rushing them! See that green, green thing? Oh, no. I ain't seen no Rossang gun. Yeah, so you probably turned off your effects. Did I turn it on? I mean, I'm getting 86 frames per second. Getting what? 85, 86. I'm getting 180. Damn, that fucking 380. That 3080 is such a piece of card. 90, 94. I'm getting 190. How? This is old. I don't know. Damn. Well, I'm streaming. You're not, right? Keep it. I'm just spamming my AOE. Fucking crit. Mm -hmm. Is that a scientist on the ground? Talk. It sounds familiar. What does this mean? Um, I think whatever it is. You... Okay, I get it. I get it. So if it's plus and he has plus, you get repelled. It's opposite to track. So when you're opposite, you gotta get close to him so you don't get get out. Copy. Yo, where'd he go? It's minus. So I gotta get close to him. Oh no, it's gonna push where's me back, he right? Oh, he pushed me in. Yeah, he pushed me in. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know that one. Nice healing, Sage. Perfect dodge by me. You already know the vibes.
I'm losing in damage now. I'm Me? Up. I am. They removed my dot. What is it? What is he? What is he? Oh He's God. a minus. Oh, dude, this might pull me. This might push me back. Oh no, it pulled me in. You still did damage. You did more yeah, than me. I know, but it's, it's lower. It's lower. Oh, it's because I don't have my own um, material. You have new gear? Look at my gear. I got the dungeon gear. Oh, you got a new hat? Yeah, that, that, the, I want to get that gear. Where did you get that? The scouting, the six skin jacket. It's from the dungeon. This one? I don't know. Oh, wait, no, 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 never mind. It's, it says 80, 88 on it. Recommended. You think it's stronger than Eden Morn? I might actually put it back. No, we're on level 86 now, so maybe it is. It's higher item level. But the materia, there's no materia. I don't want to put materia on it. That and uh, what's your item level now? 534. 535? Holy shit. I guess the new max is Any more brain busters? Man, my girl's ready for war, dude. She changed her style and everything. She went long hair with mini skirts to short hair. I don't care. She about to beat on some head asses. Look at them, they're fighting. You see yeah, them? I see, I see. Yeah. And, um, I forgot their names. Lise and Pippet, dude. The, couple, the, the dragon couple. They're a thing, it's obvious. Yeah, they should just <laughs> go and make babies, dude. I didn't even know we had loot because of the UI. To get that plugin, um, it's a simple tweak. Simple tweak. I do it have makes, it. it makes, yeah, just turn on the settings that um, it, it turn um, the loot menu opens up when there's a new loot. Like the ones you don't have already? No, it's when something's added in the loot. Alright. The UI's clean though. That shit's clean. I like it. Okay, mine opens up whenever there's a loot thing. So I see it. I'm gonna pass on it. I'm gonna greet on some shit.
four of those squares. What the fuck this is? I forgot. Oh, I stuck on a fucking toad, man. Oh, you, you go, you go little. You go little, you go little. I remember now. Crap. I'm about to die. There's no heals. Oh no, heavy. No! I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn back late because I fucked up. <laughs> Look at this dude. Look at this dude. I'm getting a bunch of shit. I don't know if I should. If I should even be oh, getting Lee. it. Oh, oh Lise. What do you mean, what? I said look at the squad. Look at the squid. Oh shit. This guy is ballsy for pulling. Pull your fucking shotgun out, baby. Is it strong? Stronger, yeah. Stronger AoE. Now we could unsync uh, Eater Morn. Doesn't matter the stats, but that's good. That's good. Bitches. Yo, is that him?
Why he's like that? No way. He that's so un <sighs> underwhelming. <laughs> oh, he did it in a dungeon. So this is what you guys are fucking talking about. Don't pay. This has to be a trial. Music though, banger. Corner. What are you at the corner? No way. Why did it pull me back? I went to the corner. Uh, Nothing, huh? Look at this shit. His dick is gonna fight us. That's just his lower body. Yeah, and your character does damage. I don't know which one, first, which one's the first one to spawn. Okay. This one now. Go back. Go back. I'm good. I'm good. Fuck. That's gonna follow you. Yeah? No, I fucked up. I didn't move fast enough. Thank you. Holy shit! Relax, buddy! Oh my god! He got mad right there. Is he dead? Oblivion from a Nemo. I don't sound very nice. Kill these needles. No, they're just gonna do something. I don't like bosses that are too big and they don't move. I like it. I don't know. I love it, dude. It's so so awesome looking. Okay. Let's fucking go, man. And I leveled up.
aiming. That looks pretty cool. Try to take that. Reaper's Arms, Imperial War Scythe. Try to take that. Wow. I'm a little bit of a Reaper main myself. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, I see your frames. Traps. I don't like it. Just wait for the plugin to get um, updated. Yeah. That was fun. All right, time to read some um, excuse. All right, time to eat. Time to eat before I stream. Farewell, Varus. May the gods Pull have mercy on your soul. Pull on the boys. Ugh. Farewell, Varus. May the gods have mercy on your soul. Come. The other two await. Where's this fucker going now? We're running away. This madness ends here. You know where they're gonna go, though. Oh, hush. This is the best part. And Daniel doesn't seem to be, um, phased. Oh, it has a barrier. Stinian's such a badass. <laughs> this guy's out of his head. Almighty oh, Zodiac! Awaken from your slumber and descend! Didn't this dude just call the moon to fall on us? Bruh! Is he pulling the damn moon, bruh? Oh, what is this? Some manner of magical defense. Any Madara or something? Pull a meteor from there. Oh! Cryle! Cryle? But how? She's super saying God. Find my adversary will not be so easily broken. Hydalin. Hydalin. Feeble relic of a forgotten age. Hark. Victory is mine. One still green. That has to be the source. No more either. And I was so close. My lord, a slight change of plans. We shall travel to the moon and break this wretched barrier ourselves. Or what? Whatever it takes. Who bro who who? We'll put a barrier on the moon. What was that? I don't know, dude. Might be some god primal or something. The final order issued by Anima to the Tempered Rules. Look at this ray looking bunny ass. Should the Empire yeah, I knew you guys were gonna say that. The world <laughs> must share. With the black hair and a black of having ass hanging around. Father lacked the conviction. To give such a command. The abomination born of his flesh was but a puppet, and I, the puppeteer. You take a look at your eyes yet? You madman, you monster! Hmm? Your eyes in your hair? Your eyes in your hair? There's a funny hair joy in watching your flailing attempts to faces? fight the inevitable. Are they better? You're all going yeah. to die, and they're powerless to prevent it. Way better. We really 
must be on our way. You're welcome to give chase, provided you are content to leave comrade and tempered alike to die screaming. What the fuck? What? Did you just travel to the moon? I have asked too much of this child. Tend to her. Poor child, dude. But why go there? What help did she the do? The last brand at Mare Lamentorum is yet unbroken. Zodiac remains bound. I have shifted the flow of ether and sent the enemy far from their destination. Oh, not what she's there. Now, I shall divert it once more. An ally eating? and I will deliver you unto him. Yes. Ah, Seek damn. his aid. Restore the seal. Zodiac must not be set free. The tempered are running wild. Not only those at the tower, but those back at the camp. The others are doing their best to contain them, but the situation is growing beyond our control. Leave them to die or give up the chase. Just like Van Daniel said. Oh, yeah. I'm going alone, dude. You have to stay here. You have our trust and our faith. I pray we have yours. Better. I just noticed this change. Well, our friends and the tempered need our help. We will save as many as we can, I swear. I'm pretty sure if you're a Once we have if you're a well guy, enough, it's we'll Alize who room. says that. Until it's Alize who's care. in front of you. There's no telling what you'll find. Are you sure? Let me go check my bomb. If all of, all of his members are affected, Julius and his comrades likely put up quite the struggle. We'll find a way to save them. We must. I only pray we are not too late. In the meantime, may the 12th carry you to victory. It's alpha now. You may enter the Tower of Babel with an NPC avatar to make use of this feature. Open a trust in your Graha, a trip to the moon. My apologies, I was lost in thought. This a device of the uh, elegant design, which leads me to think I was right about Fan Daniel. No matter what he claims, he still had an attachment to the tra trappings of his past. Whether knowing this will make your path forward clearer, I cannot say. But bear that, in, bear it in mind. But let us turn to the task at hand. Uh, as Highland said, the flow of Aether will transport you to Maria Meyer Lamentorium. We must hope that this ally of hers can provide you with the necessary assistance to restore the seal before Xenos and Van Daniel arrive to stop you. It seems we are we <clears throat> it seems we are ever one step behind, but I have faith that you will make up the difference. Know that whatever awaits, our prayers are with you. Now go beyond the sky. 
We go to the moon. First, we gotta take a screenshot at this because, uh, because we got the squad back there, bruh. We got the squad, like. Just a mild screenshot, nothing too fancy. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Oops, my vape fell on my keyboard. Y'all, are we going to the moon, son? How close am I to you? Dalamud was forged to imprison an elder primal. My question is level 86. The eldest of them all, savior so of not the even stars, close, was baby. sealed within a moon of his own. Souls sacrificed to grant him life still slumber and dream of the day he and we will be made whole. Here he waits in this cold, barren place, his cradle and his grave. Silent lamentations and prayers of hope echo soundlessly to a sundered star, adrift and alone. Oh no! Oh no! What the fuck? Oh, these motherfuckers. Oh, fuck me. Oh, Lord. God damn it, bruh. This place is lit. Look at this place. Oh, let's go. How do I teleport from here? Yo, this shit is crazy. Oh my lord. Hey, let's take a, a gang gang shot right here, bruh. But behind yeah, Earth. Look at this clown looking head ass fucking bunny lady head ass clown head. What? Yo, we gotta take a gang gang shot for reals. This is the fucking moon. We're in the fucking moon. This shit's in our moon, bruh. Look up right now. You might see me. Someone already can fly here. My god. I'm annoyed. Leave him alone. He's not taking this time. Did I get rid of my shoes? I'm an astro. This is such a gang gang shot, dude. I love this game. I love this game, dude. And you gave up on it. How dare you? Bro, I'm back. What are you talking about? You left me and Manny. All the memories.
Hang on. What'd you do? Um, turn the Discord because I can't. Got lost. Where are you at? In the moon, bro. What's the name of the etherite? I don't know. Others. Why are they not changing? It doesn't look like it's changing. Last time, then let go. Why is it not changing? It doesn't look like it's changing to me. weird I guess you can't change this yet. Oh well. Appreciate. What up, dude? What?
Everyone's doing the um, ether current party. It's like, wow, you can't wait to do it on your own. <laughs> Dude, leave him alone. Why? There's nothing wrong with what they're doing, dude. Wow, dude, really? Yes, really. Oh, all right. I'm done. I'm done eating. Now, all right, we gotta talk to this fucker. <clears throat> Crystal, yeah? We're in the fucking moon. How much is it to teleport to the moon? She is 1,000. I'm gonna change my hair again. this headgear real quick. Yeah, that's attuned. Oh my god, everyone's forming parties for Ether Currents. Cannot believe this. Oh, what? What? <laughs> hey, Brian. Warzone? Nah, I'm straight. I don't, have any, I don't even have it updated. I don't have Vanguard, so I don't get access to the new maps. Or the new map. Fucking hell. You could have been playing with this, bro. You could have been playing this, but you you bought a switch. You just like unboxing new Technology, that's all you like doing. I like that too. You know, it's fine. Can't blame you. Yeah. It happens. It happens. Now you gotta live with it. 
Now you gotta live with that fucking, that shame and that guilt. What? That you oh, bought oh, that for no reason. Now I'll leave, live with that guilt forever, okay? Knowing whatever you'll do, your girlfriend won't notice a difference from it. I don't notice it. Oh, you bought it for yourself or what? Dead Ash, you bought it for yourself? They need more hairs, man. Yeah, all right, that's cool. You don't have one, right? You don't have one. You don't have one, then might as well buy it for yourself. That's a good upgrade if you were to buy a Switch anyway. If you don't have a Switch, that's the Switch to get. Mm -hmm. Got ass. Plus, you have your priority straight anyway. You have a house. You have a car. Your bills are paid. Shit, buy yourself something. Fuck, man. It's not like you bought yourself anything recently besides a computer. True. Bro, you only live once, right? Like, one life. It's only like one life, dude. Ask him if he wants to play Warzone. Mind state? No. Sorry, Brian, but we busy. We got shit to do. And you could have been right here with us. See this shit? You didn't want to be here? You didn't want to be here? You wanted to be a machinist, right? This is what a machinist looks like. This is the purest machinist that you have ever seen. But nah, you gave up on the game. I thought it looked so sick, they updated it or what? You know, the graphics look so sick. Oh, it's been like this. It's because you had a shit PC. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to bash on you, but... Oh, yeah. my. Should have never given up on this game. Like, all this is how the, how the game comes in. And uh, nothing's modded. You know, this is how it is. My interface. See? But nah. Why did you buy the skip and you didn't even continue? So disappointed in you, brother. Oh, look at this. Gang gang pick. We could have had a gang gang pick behind the earth, like, with earth behind us. We could have been here with us, dude. But nah, son. And you said it's better than. Right here next to you. And you said this is better than fucking WoW? I mean, WoW's better than this? Hey, what a that's, just, that's just cap. Oh, like, if I've ever heard of any cap, that's, that's just cap. Hang on, look. I'll be back, I'm just gonna... What a fucking joke. WoW is better than this? <laughs> a fucking joke. Yo, mm -hmm. no, yo, you don't take... No, 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 no. Don't get that outfit. No, no, no. I changed. Where are you? No. I'm gonna take off my sunglasses. Okay. I don't know, I don't know. The mods make your fucking girls look better. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, dear, bro. I'm not gonna lie. No mods. Mods look... Your character look better. I'm not gonna cap. 
Não, mas antes... Vai a Fantasia. Menos bora a Fantasia, for sure. Who? No you. Ruvan? No! This is how she oh. always looks. You just never appreciate her. <laughs> Bullshit. Dead ass. Yep. They came out with a Reaper. This is for you, for sure yours, Brian. Your type of shit. Show them. Could have been a Reaper, bro. Could have been a Reaper. Wait, is this you? Wait, what'd this you... is not even fucking you, man. Holy shit. That's what'd why. you what'd you miss? Bro, I showed you the Reaper. <laughs> that's not even that's not even you, that's why. Wait, show him show him this. show him some of your the Reaper moves. I don't I don't I don't have it mastered. I can't. I, how do you you can't? We don't have yeah, I guess. Right here, bro. This, this anyway. is my favorite. Look at this, bro. I love Let this. See. Do you have your effects on? Yeah. This one. My favorite. He could have had that, but fucking Brian, dude, gave up on the game easily too Look early. At that. What? You have a scythe? Look at that AOE combo. You can do this. And then, and then look at this. Watch, watch, watch. Ready? Teleport back. Check this out. See that shit? What? I thought I was unable to apply glamour plates here. Oops, I used swift cast on accident. Oh, you're gonna go with that? I'm gonna go with my machine, it's all black. Where's Van? He's not online? I think he, um... Gang gang photo shoot. Hmm... Naniko, Naniko, Naniko... I don't think it, I don't see it changing anything every time I is yours changing? You're in a Neko? What do you mean? Every time I click um a new preset it's not changing. It, it must be because you are frapped. <laughs> have another o overlay on top of the overlay. Turn it off. Let's see. Yeah, that's weird. It's not changing anything. Holy shit. Alright. No, oh, let's go back. <clears throat> Yeah, Brian. You gave up on this game too soon, bro. I wish you didn't. I've been playing the best story in in the world, best story in in any game. But no. No, I had to fucking quit the game after buying the boost. It's no fucking sense. No, he gave up. Yeah, after bought the boost, he so straight weird. up quit. Weirdo. So fucking weird weirdo. That did that.
How do you feel about yourself? Are you proud of yourself? Yo, see your cam. Huh? I'm eating, bro. Why'd you turn off your camera? Because your man's eating. I'll be back. Oh no, I can't. I can't. Why? Do another queue if I did. <laughs> if I did leave, what was I thinking? What is you thinking, my man? Yeah. <sighs> right, time to post that shit on the on the screenshot page. Damn, Van loves comics, huh? He loves comic books. seen Ray lately. We love taking photo shoots here. Why why'd you turn off your camera? Huh? Because I was eating dude. You're muted by the way. Oh, because I was eating. You want to see my face or something? It's not enough photo shoot. Time to get on with the story. Van Lucifer just logged on. There he is, gang gang. <laughs> gang gang. He's one of those people. Come on, tell him to fix this. Tell him to get on this side, behind the earth. Where did he get an apple? Yo. Yeah. 
when did you get that apple? What do you mean? That what apple? You know? Yeah. You know? I'm gonna get a gang gang. <laughs> gang gang photo. Why are you laughing at Russell? Couldn't get an angle that I liked. I gotta talk to this fucking alien thing, dude. Where'd you go, man? Huh? How far ahead of you are you? What what's your main uh, quest uh, level? Uh, Eighty six. Oh, same as same as Russ. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go do the MSQ now. Me too. I'll go mute. <clears throat> I, I return. I must return. Why? 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 Ah! These creatures! Who are these creatures of the depths? Oh, you get two now? No shot. Home, I want, I need. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. 
and currently in Halls Find Me. Alright, bet, say less. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> my god. That's so cute. That's so fucking cute. God damn it. <laughs> Look at my. <laughs> Look at my fat cat. Look at my fat cat. Look at my fat cat. <laughs> oh, he's just. He's clipping. He's clipping in. No steps echo through this looming spire, save your own, but you nevertheless sense a presence above. his name oh look at this male bunny man yeah white hair looks cool <sighs> apologies I have been preoccupied for quite some time and I'm out of patience at con uh, of conversation Ever since the moon was created by Hydlin, I have served it as an integral part. I am a watcher. I'm the you watcher. I'm responsible for the prisoner and the devices that hold him fast. Oh shit, he has to constantly hold him there? On oh, god, that's fucking Zodiac. Holy shit, he's all constantly there, dude. Zodiac himself, a projection of the moon's core. Those rent, those rent unserved by Hadlin, he grows more powerful with every rejoining. Seven there have been, seven too many. Shit, so, oh shit, they want him out of there. And yet, for all his seventh, uh, mission, machination, machinations, he remains incomplete. The fallen are beyond salvations. Machinination, machin, machinations, machinations? No attempt would be made to free Zodiac, not until he is whole once more. Not until he is whole once more. <clears throat> but someone has taken action. The shackles that hold him nearly shattered. Fuck. One of them did. Two! Six locks to his cowl, great and grand. Six of the locks shattered. Got to gone swords driven deep. Brands to bind Zodiac forevermore. Five were destroyed by this would be laborer. One of these I have restored. I strive to mend the remaining four, but my efforts are being impeded. <gasps> Soul sacrifices them in Zodiac, their manifestations, consequences of the warning seals. Those people that want to get them out. They, la they labor in opposition to my work. They must be expelled from the prevention, for the prevention of all. Reservation of all. God fucking piece of shit. Read. If keeping Zodiac in prison is the right thing to do, I will aid you. I will only resort to expelling them if all else falls. Nah, I'm killing all of them, dude. What is right and good? 
Ask a thousand souls and receive a thousand answers. I offer none. I am the Watcher and the Gyaular. Gaula. I'm not the judge. Know this, Hydaelyn commands the forces of stasis, and this moon is a product of such power. So long as Zodiac remains in prison in this place, no more sacrifices will be made in his name, nor will those souls rendered up, his, uh, up in his name fade into oblivion. Go, meet with these wandering spirits, do what you think is right. Bet. <laughs> oh shoot. Sea of Sorrow. You must confront the uh, those lost souls, yes, but you need not expel them by might of arms. A father to a feather touch a firm war word simply me simple methods may send them away faint echoes as they are or the strength of a sentiment that drives them however however emotions that do not fade even with the passage of centuries and make haste though you yet distant unwelcome guests draw closer oh shit did they say did he just say that the people is almost here the peoples are almost here them peoples are almost here, bro. We gotta make haste. I ain't finna jump off that building. I'm gonna walk down these damn stairs. Um. Dun, dun, dun. You discovered a new location in the moon. I gotta talk to this guy. Where, when, how long? So we just have to talk to them. And then they'll leave. Nothing too crazy. Nothing I can't handle. Shit. This fucker's already flying, dude. Come on, God. What is truly so long ago? Yes, exactly. You're absolutely right. We were happy, at peace with the star. We nurtured it, nurtured it, nurtured, nurtured. What the fuck is nurtured? Helped it grow with our own will, our creations. Mm. Hey, bunny lady. Hey, bunny lady. Oh, that's not a bunny lady. Mm. We were the star's beating heart. It's life. Every soul, a drop of blood flowing through its veins. Shit. To live, to learn, to create, to make better. The star flourish as we did. Do you remember? No. Thank you for talking to me, though. You may leave and stop uh, leave my mans to his jobs, please, because he has to, he kind of needs to seal this shit up. As the whispers die, the vinyl spirits fades. No shadow of time's long loss remain around a drowning brand. <laughs> what? Is that a dogo? Is that a dogo? That's a dojo. 
an, un an unusual, lustrous dog is gazing at you with what seems to be what, what seems to be fond anticipation. The fuck is a dog doing up here in the moon, bro? It appears to be waiting for you to follow it. Oh yeah. Lustrous, follow the lustrous dog and try not to fall behind. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, baby. We're in the fucking moon, boys. We're in fucking space. How are we breathing up here? The fuck are we breathing in the moon, bro? Beyond fantasy. It's beyond the final fantasy. You wanna go faster, Dogo? Yes! Sprint! Sprint, I'm beating you. I'm beating you. I'm beating you. I'm beating you. Ah. It's should be for a little over seven hours now, guys. If you can, like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow. Mm -hmm. All that stuff. Where are you taking me, Dojo? Dojo, are you taking me to the praying mantis? You're taking me to the praying mantis? The alien mantis in the moon? Imagine they have this shit in the moon? Imagine you're a human and you see that shit in the moon. A fucking 12 foot ma um, praying mantis. That's not the regards the spirit that it looks in the near band. Is it brand or band? I see an R in there. Yeah, it's a brand. We are the star were fulfilled. What? Wanted for not, mourned for not. So why? Why did it have to end? <laughs> The final days taught us to fear the death force upon us, the injustice of duties and dreams left unfulfilled, the grief and unexpected partings, swift as darkness, cold as ash. Why don't you kiss my ass? <laughs> Such tragedy, yet nah, but no cat catharsis, catharsis. Such truth, yet no consolation. Consolation, the fuck? Let me watch a video that my girlfriend sent me. Oh my god. As the whispers divide the spirits fade, all is silent and still around the num numbing band brand. And still around the numbing band, oh yeah. 
This fucker just got me hurt. The Lesher Saga once again staring at the expectedly end of And who are you to deny it? Follow and try to not and try not to fall behind. Alright, dude. Don't even, don't even try. Don't even fucking try, dude. The Oh, you think you can get away from me? Dogo? You, you try to... Huh? You try to get me fucked up? You ran in front of that praying mantis, dude! Oh god. He's doing it. What are those? What the fuck are those? What are those? Huh? What are those? What the fuck? That's why I don't want to go to the moon. Cause shit like that. They got little walking worms and shit. Like tall walking worms too. They're like 12 feet tall. Wow. That's weird as shit. The dogs on the guys and shit out of the legs behind the brand. Our perfection came crumbling down such overwhelming despair in that moment we knew the end was nigh. The faintest glimmer of hope remained. We gave our lives that the others may live. We gave ourselves to Zodiac. Zodiac, our Lord and Savior. Yeah. To forge our new, our world anew. Hey, y'all better back the fuck up, first of all. Don't be surrounding me like that, because I ain't gonna play no games. I'll shoot a ghost. I shoot a ghost if I have to. To live and love again. Become one with the star. Ah, oh, y'all got me fucked up. If you don't think I won't use my weapons. Fill earth and heaven with life. Birth paradise where fear is distant memory is a distant memory. Alright. Y'all wanna play this game. Y'all think that there's 12 of you late that's gonna scare me. Pardon me, but would you be so kind as to step aside? See, I, I knew you, you didn't have it in y'all. Familiar spirit. Ah, the unmistakable color, the soul of a zine. Is that Emmett? Well, not the friend I knew. I think, nevertheless, you are you. Hmm, so Emic's not meant for you to have it. Oh, shit! Emic Salk. You seem surprised. Why might that be? We meet again. Heather Lucas. You're in a reception as a viewer. Ah, uh, let's just say, say his name. Again. I do not believe I've had the pleasure. Oh. MS, I created a shade in my likeness, and not the, and not only me, but all the all of Amorot. 
<laughs> How very like him. <laughs> yeah, man. You fool. Slave to sentiment, even after an eternity. Sentiment. Sentiment. As you may have guessed, I am different from the shade you met before. No mere approximation, but the original. A soul sacrifice the Zodiac. Oh, no. They really sacrifice those poor people? We remember in vivid detail the events leading to our purgatory. The plans and the plots for our resurrection. Heidelin's intervention and Zodiac's the stars, the final fate. Tell me, please. And then we drifted into, into a waking dream. Our minds st steeped in fog until you came. I know not what you and your friends intend for Zodiac for the future of the star. Nevertheless, in you I place my trust and faith. In you I chose to believe, as Emma Sop did. Believe in yourself and all will be well. True, those be facts though. On God. Another one just got destroyed. I thought he was repairing it, he just fixed one. Hmm, more new arrivals though. Ah, Fan Daniel, that color I know. And another I do not, an unfamiliar but fearsome being. I know who they are. I have kept you from your duty. By way of apology, I will ensure the shades hinder you no more. Protect the final brand. Fare you well, my new old friend. Dog growls agitated. We must protect the brand. Come on, boy. Buy havoc and let let this little dog of war. The dog nudges you with its nose. You get the feeling it wants you to hop on. Da -na 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 -na. We're gonna ride you. Taking some screenshots and shit. Where's the last band? Is that them? No, it cannot. It cannot be them. Where are you? Van Daniel! Fucking way, we one shotted that thing. Stay away, friend Daniel. In the nick of time to savor the crowning triumph. Unbound and free at last. Arise, Zodiac. <laughs> Man!
Ah, uh, it's the fake one. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, fuck. Deprived of heart and will by the loss of dearest Elidimus. A little bit. A creature of pure instinct. Wanting for guidance. You're not gonna be the one to guide him. Powerful. Oh, so powerful. More so with every passing moment. Such potential, even in this incomplete state. Still the savior who delivered a world from certain doom. So, here we stand. You know my intent. Consume the god, then the world. Stoke your fury to a raging inferno. And dance among the ashes. Bro, if you want these hands, just we could go right now, bro. Or perhaps you would face me here for now. A lesser but welcome amusement. Oh, we could throw hands right now, son. Yes. A taste to oh. win the appetite. Yeah, let's go, motherfucker. I ask that you postpone the slaughter until I've said my piece. I promise I will be brief. <sighs> Do you remember when I told you that I wanted to die and take everyone with me? I meant it. <laughs> we are the guardian, the keeper of natural ne neutral order. We are many. We are the martyr, martyr, the brought the bestower, bestower. We are. Aspirations, and what sweet irony that the world's saviors will become the agents of its destruction. For the sake of the world. Wrong, 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 wrong! Lies and delusions! The dead have no power over me. You will be silent. Silence as the grave!
Fucking Fan Daniel, dude. Killing his own people. Believe and walk in faith. Let the light of your soul shine for all to see. Not quite the outcome you'd imagined, but a fitting one nonetheless. <sighs> Don't you think so, Hades? You want to do the dark inside? Yeah. You want me to send you a party invite? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna cut scene. Give me a sec. Invite Van too. Van, you want to do it? I thought Van was joining. No. Huh? He went deafened. Alright, 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 alright. I am ready for the dark inside. Another try. This is Zodiac, bro. Yeah, he's incomplete though. Look at him. Close get close to him. You see all his body parts? Holy shit. That's savage mode. He has savage a low. mode is him complete. Extreme. Extreme Zodiac is him complete. 
probably. Sat Sat Extreme is him with um, those two arms on the left. Savage mode yeah. is everything complete. He has. Is, uh, he has his dick. One, two. Dick out. Dude has six arms. He's missing three. Yeah, dude. Actually, he's not missing any. He just he just doesn't have this extra three hands, three arms. Look at half his body is fucking in half. He's cut in half. Man's hanging on for dear life. No, he doesn't even have his legs. He doesn't have a stomach. His legs are yeah. missing. His stomach's not there. He's not complete because um. They don't have enough ether, but uh, Asahi said, or Asahi, uh, Fandango said, whatever. I'm gonna kill everybody. <laughs> he wanted to kill, he wanted to kill Xanos. No, he didn't. Yeah, he wanted to kill him with Zodiac. Didn't you just read? No, you, you didn't read. It just said. No, he just wants to die and kill everybody else. That's what he wants. No, I'm gonna watch my bod. We don't even have. We, right, so we, we, got, read, bro. we just need two tanks. Boys don't even read, bro. We don't even read, my man. Jesus. I'm ready for this. Look at my eyes. Look into my eyes. My beautiful Wait. eyes. Are you streaming? Yes. Yes. Yes, daddy. Oh! Whoa. Calm down. No, I'm looking. I'm, I'm, I'm huh? referring to my in-game huh? eyes. My red eyes are so. Hey, my eyes now. Because I'm on. I'm in. I'm in Jollibee. Look at them eyes, bro. Hmm. Okay. See your eyes. Hmm, dude. All right, dark inside. Let's go. Once again. I remember I played this. I had a 30-minute queue. Really? I see you on my stream. Cool. Oh, we get a fucking chicken, really? <laughs> Kinda ruined the cutscene. They're there on your cutscene? Let me see this. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the front. Let's go. The end has come. And it will be beautiful. On God? Healer check? Healer check? Healer check? Oh! And Brian could have been playing this with us. Ah. Could have been playing us. Could have put the plane. You gotta look at the shapes. See if it's a square. If it's a square, it's gonna hit that side. I go to the other side. Oh, banger! The, the banger on this. The amount of fire this track is spewing out. I fucking love this song, man. Holy shit! It makes you so high, bro. Oh, 
Oh my god. Healer check. It's so badass. The triangle. We gotta go to the corner right here. Uh, that chicken killed it. <laughs> he doesn't have a stomach, dude. And, and he's missing him, bro. more shit. Zodiac. His tentacles. Oh my god. Damn. Nothing. He just he just posed for nothing. He just wants he to see like the camera. He just wanted to show you like this is who we all fighting. Not even a strong Got form. A corner. Here. Got a corner. Got a corner. Okay, it's gonna turn around. We gotta go to the uh. Wait, ah, uh, shit, I don't know. All I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Platform's gonna turn. Damn, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Oh, I'm fuck, I'm, I'm dead. dead. I was off My by a second. Oh, I used my special ability. Broken skies, full oh, tears of Yo, Where what the it? fuck? Yo. Where is it? I don't know. Right here, follow the chicken, follow the chicken, follow the chicken. Hey. No way! Jesus Christ! Paladin! Yo, the Paladin's badass, bro! Yo, healer check! Healer check! It's gonna rotate. Oh God, here, go, here, follow here, Paladin. Here. Follow Paladin. I don't know where he is. Where is he? He's by the dog. He's by the dog. All in existence, bent to my will. Oh, so the thing comes with it. Okay, I get it now. Will you live to see the end? It's the take. It's the platform and the attacks that move, not not us. What the hell is that? Jesus, mother of God! No Triangle. Triangle again. Triangle again. Corner. Right there. 
Woo! I teleported! I teleported! Dodged it! Here, right? Oh my god, barely. I'm dead. Will you live to see the end? Triangle. Corner. Oh shit. Commit. Oh ah. fuck. Jesus Christ. Hi right, friend Daniel. I see you, I see you. I see you, Zodiar. Again, triangle, corner. The one's on the other side. Triangle too. Go to the other corner. Oh. Move. Will you live to Back. see it? Get me with Savage Raiders, bro. Just nothing wrong. That was a knockback to get hit. Yikers. Half the team's dead. I don't want these snakers. Oh. Okay, they're gonna rotate. I don't know what the fuck to do! All in existence! Bend to my will! Oh my god, I'm in- what the fuck? Will you live to see the end? Okay. Whoa, the stack's on me! I, well, we do have heal- we don't have heal, I'm dead! I'm dead! Oh, we all died! Shit! <sighs> we had no healer! Fuck, Zodiac. Okay, I see you, bro. Did you the die the first time? Of course. We died like three times. I still don't get it. <laughs> the marvels of Sirius were the playthings. God damn, this healer is so sick. I mean, this Reaper. I know, he's keeping up with me in, da in damage. Soon I hold the 
Zodiac shall be complete! Mine! All mine! Go, oh, easy! <laughs> He's just flexing his body. Yeah, for no reason. I am become Zodia. <laughs> Here comes a real shit. This is gonna turn, right? That's so sick. All that. All it. Bend to my will. My life's work. My masterpiece. Damn it, fucked up. Stand close to it. All in existence, bent to my will. Healers down. The great cataclysm, faithfully recreated. Oh, come on, really? From broken <laughs> skies, fall tears of flame. Healer check, dude. You need a pure healer here? Dead Astro needs to get up. Oh! That's the stage AoE, that's so trash. God damn. Holy shit. Square. On the left side. I need to do those. Oh, fuck. All in existence, bent to my will. 
No way. Will you live to see the end? Come on, come on. Oh no, I was too late. Oh my god, if I get hit once more, I'm dead. Hit him with a limit break, boy. Let's go! That's a samurai one. Let's go, bro. Well, too. One fucking. Wow, my arm hurt. Okay. All these buttons, bro. Shit. Crazy. GGs, GGs. Alright, thank you. Well done, my preparations are complete, and I stand ready to seal Zodiac once more. Withdrawn now from this place, the teleporter will deliver you to, to, to safety. your plan all along, you dumb shit. Let your murder mark the beginning of the end. The coming of the final day!
How quickly strength fades, and blood cools. Old familiar sensations. So many lives, so many deaths. No different this. I close my eyes and slip into the dreamless slumber. A tired song and dance, routine. Always I wake. But not this time. <laughs> Nothing left unsaid, nothing left undone. Inherit my hell, I intone with glee. What? The man I was would weep for what I have become. The all-consuming contempt. But I've the wisdom of ten millennia to justify my answer to the question. No value in their existence. Not a wit. For all that I looked. None that I did see. A final chance, then, for Heidelin and her faithful. In cataclysm, prove me wrong. I sneer. All shall return to nothingness. As was your will, Emperor Sunday. I, the star, and every living being consigned to your oblivion. What now, another a Ashian? Deep breath, slow and steady. Saw it too, yes. The blue star below, thrown into turmoil. Then it was no illusion, all was truth. With the death star, the loss of nature over which he presented, president, have begun to unravel. The final days are upon us. What you witnessed was an omen granted by the Echo, a vision of the horrors to come. Fucking bitch. So we're not supposed to kill him? <sighs> Time grows short.
fucking bitch. Whoa, relax. Thanos. No. I'll find no fulfillment in a contest with you this day. Of course. Slavering beasts gather at your gates, ravenous and eager. Already you turn to them and away from me. I must go forth once more in search of power far beyond the might of Shinryu. Shinryu. Power to make your heart run over with rage. For the eldest of primals was a betrayal of promise. A pathetic creature incapable of inspiring true despair. I... That's what I crave. Pure, unadulterated despair. Damn. That shit was that shit was cold. That shit was cold, bruh. My sense is presence on the moon no longer. If you need not follow, then I beg you stay and listen to what I have to tell you. Of Zodiac and the end of all things. Before we speak at length, I believe change of sur uh, surroundings is in order. I have... Oh, excuse me. I have more than a little. I have more than all tidings to share. You see, I sense other arri ar others arriving not long ago. Though my communication with Island has grown infrequent, I have learned enough from her to know that these are your comrades. As luck would have it, they have already reached my boat. Come, let us join them. Da -da -da -ba -ba. And the moon's all cracked and shit. I gotta repair some of my shit first.
So I could buy it here now. Under 84. Am I 84? I am 84. Let's see what color it is if it's white. What about your hands? It's um aiming. Aiming, it's not as strong as what I have on right now. Aiming, 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 aiming. Mm -hmm. Where is the aiming? Oh, cool now. I like the healing one. The healing one's so sick. Striking. That is so sick. That's the ninja one's sick too. Where's the healing one? Ah, it's not here. Too bad you can't wear these uh, hats. Where's the aiming one again? Yeah, not, nothing really cool that I'm into. What else do you have? Um, accessories. Nothing as strong as what I have now. Uh, purchase items. Dark matter. Leech. Purchase weapons, race grab, battlecraft, or accessories. Yeah, we already looked at those. Purchase weapons for my machinists. Well, I think we're Gucci for now. Thank goodness you're unharmed. Wow, I could not read that. Not without casualties, unfortunately. Some few detonated explosives killing themselves and others. The contingent's healers had their hands full, trend tending to the injured and enthralled when we took our when we took our leave. Yo, Larry Knight, thanks for stopping by the stream, brother. How you doing? How you doing? Hope you're doing well, man. Lest you wonder, Mistress Kryle hath also been del been delivered onto their care, serving as a conduit to Heidelin's power not taking its toll, but she will recover in due, call, in due course. Hope you're doing well, dude. How's work? 
As for Alphanud and Alize, they insisted on remaining in Garlemald, while the, while the three rushed to your aid. It appears, however, that matters here have already come to a conclusion. Work was tough. Work was rough. Why, dude? Busy day. A lot of people. Do you like like when you're going to work and it's traffic? Do do people like piss you off? Like, ever think why there's so many people in this world? But what but what manner of conclusion, if I'm if I might ask? And is this the ally whom Heinlein bade bade you seek out? Is he not unlike the shades of Amarat? Busy, busy, busy. I feel you, brother. It's everyone's job is buying electronics for the, you know, for the holiday season, bro. Not unlike, perhaps, but the same. I was created by Heidelin together with this place. It was ever been my duty to keep vigil over Zodiac. Or rather, it was my duty, now that he's dead. I, I, I killed him, and, uh, and then I shot it at him, and, uh, and then uh, I, I grenaded him, and I... Uh, I sent my robot at him. That's what she was saying. Mm -hmm. Then Zodiac is no more. Yeah, no more. I done, be I, I done beat his ass, bro. And not without consequence. Consequence, I'm afraid. For now, the delicate weave, weave, wave of stars preserved by his presence will begin to unravel. If you mean to avert the final days, you shall have need of... Oh, what the fuck? Are you alright? No, he's dying. My attempts to forestall Zodiac's release have all but exhausted my strength. If you might allow me to rest for a short while, I will share with you all I can. Please do. You need not exert yourself on our account. The crystals contain records of your time here. Yes, we may per, uh, we, may we pursue perused them while we wait. Uh, By all means, if you would review the cry, them, cry on cry on jockly. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> I know what that words mean. But I suggest beginning with those on the upper floor. Cry 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 on all Cry, 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 chronologically, chronologically. Eric, say that word, man. <laughs> you can't pronounce it. I'm stupid. I'm stupid, dude. I'm an idiot. You know that. I shall leave you. I shall leave that to you, Cora. While I see what uh, what can be gleaned from the crystals on the lower levels. Chronic. <laughs> Chronic logically? Chronic logically? Chronic logically? An idiot. Fucking stupid. I'm not from this country. I'm already out of water. Oh god. <sighs> Inspect the uh, dimly glowing crystals. Ah. Where shall I begin? Hey, Thanskurd. Hey, Herb Uber Danger. Dimly glowing crystal. Let's see. Hmm, touch it. As you gaze into the crystal, ancient knowledge of Zodiac flows through your mind. Daily summary, no abno abnormal abnormalities detected. No abnormalities detected. No abnormalities detected. Of long, lonely vigil on the moon, dating back to the beginning of Zodiac's imprisonment. Wow, that's so fucking boring, dude. He has to record that. I bet this was an uneventful day for him. Oh, yeah. I missed a crystal. Dun, 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 dun. You gaze into the crystal and all the uh, past calamities flow through your mind. Hey, thanks for that, bro. Thanks for your uh, emotes and chat. The records describe how in each rejoining Zodiac's thirst for freedom grew, as did the stain of 
on the brand on the brands maintaining zodiac's imprisonment appears to tax highland greatly damn Halen and highland's getting crazy dude crazy tired just keeping this fucker keeping this fucker um contained as you gaze into the crystal knowledge of the past, rejoinings flow through your mind. The records describe the Watcher's efforts to prepare the prepare in the event of Zodiac broke free of from his prison. The records on the described maintenance care uh, carried out regularly with Loporitz, though it's not clear who or what they are. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, hey, hey. Twitch Prime subscription received. You appreciate the subscription, Eric. Thirty-six just subscribed. You didn't have to do all that, bro. I appreciate you. Thank you for using your Twitch Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime, your Amazon Prime on me. You could have used it on anyone else, but you used it on me. Thank you, brother. Thanks for the support. Always um supporting the homies. When Illibus is spotted on the moon, though, clearly not for the first time. It's clear he and his brethren have keen interest in freeing Zodiac from his prison, yet they've made no attempt to destroy the brands. Perhaps they prefer to remain hidden from mortal eyes until the final rejoining. Perhaps they realize we would never dare bring harm to Zodiac, so as long as he remains in prison. Yeah, bro. That's my Christmas present? Damn. I wanted a PlayStation 5 for Christmas, bruh. Oh, you got me on that. They're still hard, huh? They're still hard to get. They're still not coming in stock. Did you learn anything of import importance? So, as was just suspected, maintaining the brands require a great deal for her energy and focus, and this cost has grow grown higher with every rejoining. That would explain why contact with her has become rather infrequent since the seventh unbroken calamity. I too made that rather startling discovery. This heavenly body we know to be moon has be the moon has was in fact created by Highland. When the watcher said it was created together with this place, I thought that only meant this facility. Truly, Highland's power are far beyond anything I could have imagined. Yeah, that girl's a beast and she made the moon. God damn, bruh. She made a damn fucking moon? She's God, man. She's the God. This guy has to tell us the secrets, dude. Why is it gonna end now that Zodiac's dead? Wasn't it, like, wasn't she using all her power to keep him there? I thank you for affording me this short reprieve. I gotta switch. I'm not even playing it because I've been playing this game so long. I'm up to a little over eight hours it streaming. We should thank you. The records stored here are nothing short of extraordinary. There is much we could learn of Zodiac and his imprisonment. But perhaps you could offer us more focused guidance. Pray, tell us of the calamity that came before and comes now again. I might need to take a break, get some water real quick. Because I'm parched. Parched, that means thirsty. Long ago, before the Great Sundering, there was but a single world. I can't pronounce that. Someone help me. Itherius. 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 Oh, sh shit. One day, from within Earth, a terrible cry issued forth, affecting a profound change in all manner of life. We were not exempt. Our creation magics ran rampant giving shape and form to thoughts of hopelessness and despair. That shit came off the ground, bro? At first, the phenomenon was limited to a single region, but quickly, so very quickly, it spread and engulfed the whole of the star. Were the ancients ever able to deduce its source? Why? 
they are not. However, the convection struck upon a method to predict when the next corruption would manifest. Where the next uh, infection? The etheric energies which flow through all creation in the form of various currents. The currents which course through the lands and seas. Those which flow through the very air. Wow, oh, shit. And those of the celestial nature which encompasses both our star and this moon. Celestial currents. I cannot say I am familiar with the concept. That's a cool name, Celeste. Nor would I expect you to be. Few scholars of our time know of their existence. They we're getting some knowledge. Their invaluable knowledge helped us to better understand the nature of the calamity. That's some knowledge he's spitting. He's spitting facts, yo. Like the terrestrial ones of Earth and air, the celestial currents from a vast network, but the aetherial distribution is not consistent. The convocation soon realized that the, in that the inciting incidents occurred in regions where the flow was weakest. Correlation with, without clear cause, ultimately, nevertheless, on closer study, a stingency of ether was observed in nearby currents. Stangency. What the fuck does that word mean, bro? And so they sought a means to harness the forces of darkness, of activity and growth. Thus was Zodiac conceived. No less a power than a god's could set right the laws of nature and quicken the flow of ether within the star. Precisely. With the advent of Zodiac, our ends were averted. <sighs> they need him for like gravity? Emmett or Sel Australial Fall? summoned Hydalin did so because they saw Zodiac's power as a threat. Is that true? Indeed, there was a fraction opposed to Zodiac's creation. But their aim was never to unmake him. They understood that the continued preservation of the nat natural order was dependent on his very existence until we could identify and address the underlying cause of the final days. He would need to remain for his depart he would need to remain for his departure would set the motion those apocalyp apocalyptic forces once more. Eidolon recognized this as well, and so rather than destroy, she sundered Zodiac herself and the star into lesser reflections, that she might confine him in this place. I could have sworn she beseech, beseech me to banish the darkness. Then she told me and they will see it was false. That the two once die well, they well as one, until Zodiac grew hungry for power, upsetting the balance twixt them. Not quite a lie, though, a rather gross embellishment. But knowing what you know now, you must surely realize that she might up to ob ob obfuscate and mislead. Uh, obfuscate? What the fuck is that word? I don't know these words. Hydra and Zodiac are both construct of man, approximations of perfection limited by our own imperfections. Zodiac was, without question, the more powerful of the two, having been born from a sacrifice of half of Etherize pro population. Etherize? 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 Thus, was, was it necessary for Hydra to commit herself wholly to his defeat? Still more effort was needed to confine him. Maintaining the bands taxed her greatly, 
With what power she dared spared, she, uh, she cried out to any who might listen and offered her blessing to those who heeded her call. Though well, it was likely within her power to do so, I believe she did not wish to speak of Etheris and her history. Etheris, 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 Etheris. Like Zodiac, Hydaelyn's purpose is a reflection of her creators. They wish to look to the future and not linger in the prison of the past. The Asians set in motion seven rejoinings before we came to oppose them. How many more worlds would have been lost had we not placed our faith in her? How many more souls living in the present would have been snuffed out for the sake of those long dead? Well, in light of recent events, I see no reason to doubt your word. And even if Hydaelyn is not a god in truth, if Minfilia believed that we should trust in her plans, then I choose to do just that. Which brings me to a rather important question. Let's suppose we try but fail to stop this second coming of the... Agar Agar. What do you mean? Agar Agar. <laughs> Let's suppose that we try to fail and stop. Well, is that the jello? The so gelatin? The fall, what will become of the other making jello, Eric? The nominal culture is not fitting than you know. Is more fitting than you know. Nomen culture. What is the nomen culture? Bring ruin to the source, and its reflection will share its fate. Yellow? Are you are yellow? What are you saying, erudite? You confusing me? Help! I'm confused. Ah, it is ready. This way, if you would be so kind. Jar, jar, jar. You alright, Eric? Had a little too much to drink later, uh, lately. Feeling good? Feeling loose? Feeling warm? The fuck is that? A beautiful sight, is it not? I'm just blowing up, blowing yes, up your chat. Word, easy. appreciate you, brother. You're doing all the work. You do all the heavy lifting around here. You're the MVP. You're you're, you're the reason why this this chat's still up. this chat's still up. I had only knew better than any that her powers was not absolute. Indeed, she 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 has ever struggled to hold Zodiac in his in this faithful at bay. She feared the worst, and so made preparation in the event of his demise. There would be a contingency. This moon is more than a prison. It is a vessel, vessel, vessel capable of bearing, of bearing the people of Atharis to safe harbor. You need, you need not go far to find the pot, its pilots. In fact, I should be happy to take you there. Take you to them. And fulfill my final duty as the watcher in the dark. Don't look, get the, get the hell out of here, boy. Oh shit, I'm having to read. Emmett Selk speaks true. Even dressed like us, your unusual nature will be plain to see to those who think you. What is this? What is this girl <laughs> Your game saying you're playing a new Warzone map. No, I'm not. No, you got me, Eric. You tricked me, dude.
The time has come for you to be on your way. The creator at the heart of Mer Mer Lemon Lemon Torum, where Zodiac was in prison, in prison, was not so easily traversed. However, let us call upon Argos, the familiar, the familiar who you, you met earlier. He should have no trouble bearing your cross. As Hydling created, uh, created me as the Yolver, so too did she create Argos as the guard. It is his nature to appear when needed, and yet he is nowhere to be found. Strange, mayhap the imbalancing of Aether has affected him. Let us make for the crushing brand and attempt to call upon him there. You need to recall your path you walk with Argos before you will find your way. If he labors in service of Highland's plan, I see no reason not to do as he suggests. Shall we make it wait for discussion now? Da, 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 da. So I gotta go over there. I might have to go through here. Hmm. I doubt I could uh, cross these craters. Huh. Yeah, these craters are way. Oh, wait, there's a fucking bridge right here. Let's go. Lit. Later, you seven foot praying mantis. Oh, you can't jump over that. Are you serious? All right, there they are. This place we seek is just ahead at the Kolofosagrot. Kolofosagrot. You see, Argos cannot manifest without sufficient uh, concentrations of ambient aether. You would be hard pressed to find a greater con confluence than inside this cavern. Follow me.
No, let's go. Polar bear in the moon? What? That's the type of shit you only see at fucking Chris during Christmas. That's the type of shit you see at a fucking uh, Coca Cola commercial during Christmas. Where the fuck is it? Oh my god, I completely missed this fucking cave. It's a weeper. Later, sucker. Later, bitch. Stop. Stop following. Stop following. Stop following. Ah, thought so, bitch. Yes. Well, here we'll do nicely. The lunar spono spongo draw ether from the ground, which is where they disperse in the air. At present, however, the ambient energies are not quite sufficient for the Argos to manifest. Might you be willing to spare some of your own to help the spongo along? Here. Spongo. Spongo. -y. Hey, Dodgy. Manifest in flesh, he seems glad to see you again. Most fascinating creation of Highlands, would you not agree? Should the need arise, he, he is even able to create reflections of himself on a whim. Though I assure you, it was no reflection which accompanied you earlier to the, to the brand. No, Argos are quite eager to be at your side then. Is he now, it seems? I cannot recall when the last he showed such affinity for anyone. Beep. I thought it more likely to shy away from you and your companion. Perhaps it was more than a sense of duty that compelled him to aid you before. He loves me! He loves me! As for your companions. Unexpected, but greatly appreciated. <laughs> but you're a cat. I believe we are all ready. Then let us return outside that you may cross the chasm. I'll race you there, Reaper. Your destination is a structure there across the cradle of darkness, but climb onto Argos back and you'll take, you to take care of the rest. Once you have arrived, it should not take long to find the ship's crew. The facility is destined to, to roost them from their slumber, but in the event of Zodiac's destruction, heed their counsel. Together you may guide the star and its people to a kin kin kinder fate. This is where you part. This is where we part ways. But know that I shall ever be watching and praying for your success. Yo, watcher, good looking out, bro. Thanks for all your fucking help this this whole time. Keeping Zodiac at bay. Our allies' assurance notwithstanding, we cannot be certain what awaits us on the other side. So perhaps it would be best if we did not not all go at once. I propose the two of us cross first. While thanks for your energy, and so wait here. What? 
me and Mama. Me and Mama riding. Taking some screenshots as well. Just a little further. Yeah, flying here would be ideal. You need to switch. No, it's not. It's, it's not the game, bro. I changed it. This is Final Fantasy. I'm looking at it. Dude, I've been streaming for nine hours, yo. The structure is enormous. Now that is hardly surprising given the size of the average uh, Amorante. Um, Amorante, Amorante Knight. Apologies for the wait. Right then, let's head inside. And oh. Oh, the doggies. No. Bye. Most intriguing. A means by which he conserves its energy, Merhat. Well, I certainly wouldn't mind, wouldn't want him to blink out of existence on our account. Helpful as he's been. Stay here while I are safe. All right. Margaret has remained without. Let us keep him waiting on. Her. Okay, that's such a weird way to say things, but okay, that's how you want to talk. I'm not judging you, it's just so, so fucking weird how you speak. I got a fucking car in the moon! What does he want? No. Stay here. Actually, I want my bike. Oh, thanks, Grid. Thanks, Grid. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Seems to be empty. Our moonship pilot should be around here somewhere. Is that right? Moonship pilot? What's a moonship pilot, dude? Oh, it's a little cat. Are you dead? Dead ass serious. That's fucking cute. What is this race? Oh my fucking god. Heidelin made made cats and dogs in, in the moon. What an awesome god. They're little cats, dude. Oh my god. So adorable, man. Look at their fucking ears. This one's asleep. <laughs> That's the boss, man. Oh no! No! As of now, our mighty moon has a new purpose to bear the people of Aetherius to Aetherius. safety! 
So fucking cute, dude. So fucking cute. We must be swifter than swift. There is much to do before our guests arrive. Oh my god. I expect your workstations to be immaculate. Immaculate. Don't forget to relay our signal to Etheris. Questions? Yes? No? Maybe so? No? Then hop to it! Are they rabbits or are they cats? Look like, are they cats or rabbits? It is a rather curious crew she have chosen. Their endearing forms intended to ease the passengers' hearts, perhaps. Perhaps? Yeah, they're fucking cute as fuck, dude. <laughs> the little munchkins. All right, all right. We want to be. They they must be the little pirates mentioned in the Watcher's records. Not at all what I expected, but the Watcher did bid us need heed in his counsel. I assume that the one who gave the rousing speech was their leader. Though we might have to ask about no order to track down track them down. Come on then, let's be about it. Da, 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 da. Let's see how strong this weapon is. Cryon. Oh so it's a quest item. It's not as strong as my gun, though. Um, dude, I did this fucking ninety-two. It has crit already, two ten. This has crit two ten already on it. I could put 24, 40, 40 plus, 40 plus crit. <laughs> Damn. It's a good looking gun, I'll tell you that much. Alright, what else do I have? Mm. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good on gear. Just go attune this crystal and then let's go look for the the little creature, the little cuteness. Oh my goodness.
Dipper. Oh look, it's a ether current. Not a great shot. Hum 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 hum. The leader of the crew? Not me. Sing the name. <laughs> Singing way. <laughs> oh my God! I'm in charge of the maintenance of the atmospheric circulation system. Only the crispiest, cleanest air for the people of Etheris. Etheris. And that's a promise. Okay, enough of the kid boys. Alright, so that's not him. Once in uh, down there. Take this ramp. Dinner? Nope. Sleeping away is my job. My job is. Hmm, perhaps I better ask. <laughs> That's the one that sleeps. That's the one I was asleep. Hey, what's up, buddy? Play mount. It's a bunny. Wow. When did you get here? Who let you in? Why wasn't I told? Take me to your leader. Were you the one giving orders earlier? <laughs> what was that supposed to be? You're humming? <laughs> what can even call it that? Is atrociously off key. It should be sound more like this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. That's so fucking cute, dude. As leader of the Loperitz, lo I can now allow some substandards attempt at music musicality to go un unremarked even if you are a guest but being the being the magnificent sort that like oh my god okay twitch furnish all right thank you sort that i am i'll forgive you forgive you this one this once mag magnet i can't even pronounce that word what is that word Well, well, looks like you beat us here. Your friends, I take it? Is this all of them? <laughs> A group compromised entirely of children. What must their parents be thinking? Children? This isn't a nursery after all, though perhaps we should build one. Or did we build one already? No matter, you need not worry. Your pretty little heads, it will, it will be well. I promise. But goodness me, we shouldn't be standing about whopping. I must take you to meet the others.
You run along back towards the entrance, you'll find a path that leads to the central platform and upper floor. There's no ray, no ray, no wrong way to reach it. But it's that large glowing ball at the center. If you should find yourselves lost, I shall gather the others and meet you there. <sighs> well then, back to the upper floor it is. Is there an elevator? Oh, thank God, though. Oh no, I thought they were gonna cut scene me there. No, we're gonna take our fucking. Just taking my bike. There's a shop down there. The junk monger. Pretty much the same. The same stuff that he was selling earlier. Oh, I thought it would have been better. Nothing special here. I jumped all the way down. Wow. I'll buy the fucking. I'll buy the shirt. Just for you know, it's just for hurry on again, see how it looks. No. Fat chocobo. Look at that small little tiger! <laughs> oh my goodness!
deductions are in order. Ahem. My name is Livingway, and we are the Lockerets. Created for the express purpose of commanding this ship and bearing the people of Atheris to a brave new world. More specifically, I am the one whom she charged with the execution of her most vital plans. You might say I'm her right paw. <laughs> right paw. Always the name, map breather and navigator of the heavens. Oh my god. They're too fucking adorable, dude. Pleasure to meet you all. But I'm still trying to make sense of this. Confusion and bewilderment are completely understandable. Fear not, I shall walk you through it. The people of Atheris, through no fault of your own, I'm sure, set in motion a series of events that, unfortunately, culminated in Zodiac's obliteration. Obliteration. <laughs> Acutely aware of the imminent crisis, your parents sent you little ones on ahead while they began the necessary preparations. Earth. Without Zodiac around to keep things lively, so to speak, the celestial currents of the star have I gotta piss, guys. To degrade. Let me piss. I'll be right back. I gotta piss. And I gotta get some water. Yes, 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 yes.
is back. Your boy is back. How's everyone doing? Your boy is back. Nine hours. I'm starting to get tired, boys. Oh. Ay, 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 ay. All right, all right, all right. I'm here, I'm here. Turn off my cam. Something to eat. Hmm. Calamity of apocalyptic proportions will be visited upon a Ferris, bringing an end to all life. What the fuck? So too hath the Watcher claimed. By thine unperturbed countenance, I gather this eventuality was anticipated. The doom and gloom? Oh yes, quite expected. Imagine, if you will, that Atheris is a delicious carrot that I've forgotten to eat and left mm -hmm. out in the midday sun. Wishes or prayers will not stop it from rotting to the core. So sadly, there's nothing to be done but to abandon said carrot, Atheris, in case the metaphor is lost on you, to its grisly fate. And this moon will serve as the vessel to deliver us to a new home. Just so! We will gather up as many people, supplies, and resources as our stores will hold. We can't just leave the Earth like that. Done, admittedly, for one does not simply hop from star to star on a whim, which is precisely why we've spent countless years constructing the most propulsive of propulsion systems. We ought to make it to our destination in two shakes of a rabbit's tail. Impressive technology. I dare say it is beyond anything we have ever seen. No need to shower us with praise. All we've done is faithfully carry out the instructions left to us by Hydaelyn. Back in the old days, when she was still just Venar, she was dedicated to the study of the world and its inner workings. And the Watcher, the real one, not the simulacrum you met, was one of her fellow researchers. We and this wondrous vessel, masquerading as a moon, are products of their knowledge and know-how. There's certainly more to you all than meets the eye. Might I ask where exactly you intend to take us? We identified a few promising candidates for research <laughs> some time ago, but we cannot guarantee that they are fit for habitation. Moreover, the ship can only travel in short bursts. We intend to go down our list, hopping from star to star, until we find one suitable for resettlement. No need to worry, though. The vessel is being refurbished with accommodation for an extended stay as we speak. While we did have to rely upon outside help to determine what amenities were essential, I dare say we have risen to the challenge. Help? From who? <laughs> From you and yours! Who else? Each time we woke to perform regularly scheduled maintenance, we were greeted by the resources you sent us. What better way to learn about preferences and proclivities of our present-day charges? Ah. Oh. But you're still adorable little children. Perhaps your elders were responsible for the deliveries. I'm not sure what led you to conclude otherwise, but I can assure you that we are all grown men and women. And I very much doubt my elders know this place exists, much less how to send you so much as a starlight missive. 
I'm just talking about the bigger people. What? Then who in blazes let you on my moon? Hydaelyn herself led you here. You don't say! Well, that's really not children. Then why are you so small and stunted? Like little baby carrot people. <laughs> Well, Amorotines were a great deal taller. In the present day, persons of such prodigious size are exceedingly rare. <laughs> so, you're saying everyone's not like the Watcher? Oh, confound it all! Someone could have at least scribbled a note about your profound miniaturization! <laughs> that tome in thy possession. of our knowledge of your kind is contained in these pages. I thought it was abridged and made small for our benefit, but this isn't a regular sized book, is it? So all her research were meant for the Amaran face. terrestrial collaborators. Yes, yes, in due time. But first, I'd like to hear more about you, if it's all the same. I'd rather not risk any other complications due to outdated knowledge of our passengers-to-be. Cutest fucking things. Yes, yes, I was going to get this too. Purple carrot juice. Right then. Now that you're here, we need you to teach us all you. Teach us all you can about your people, and quickly. It won't be long before the final days are upon us, and in their terrible grandeur. So it's imperative that we are prepared to receive our passengers to be. If there's anything, anything at all, that may displease them, it must be addressed for post haste. And address, address it we shall. Here are best way. Best ways to borrow. We have assembled everything required to offer our guests the best way forward. Um, we have produ produced myriad an 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 amenities we understand to be essential to for day to day living, and I wish you to hear your uh, uh, options on them. Opinions on them, not options, you stupid fuck. Learn how to fucking read, you dumb motherfucker. I'm sure you all worked up an appetite, so why don't you start with foodstuffs? Meet me at the Caraterarium, and we'll see about filling your bellies. Oh my god, they're the fucking, they're the most adorable thing. She does not want, she does not want for instance, yeah, nor no to them. So is rather for being a matter of course, rather concerning them. Nevertheless, let us take that from the last Speak to living away. Uh, 
menos. Was that not a door? But this was not meant for us. Go down there, right? Where are the stairs? Down more? Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to leave this ship? Moon sail. So oh, there's a entrance. There's a. Okay, so I gotta go back up. Apparently. How do I get here? There's no entrance up there. Russ, how did um, how I get there? Speak with living way. Taste of the moon map. I guess I gotta exit. Alright, let's exit.
Nice fat cat. Maybe here? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're making progress. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay, okay. It's crazy. Okay. Not the not not the right way. We went the wrong way. How do I talk to Living Way? Is that a door? Oh, that's a door! Shit, never mind. Let me just message him. It's a fucking door right in front of me. You gotta look for him? Let's go. That was a fucking door this whole time. So embarrassing. Wait, are these enemies? Why are there enemies here? Oh my god. He's so fucking cute. <laughs> He's so cute. Alright. Hey, look, I didn't even, I wasn't even looking for this. No! No, you fool! Welcome to the Caratorium, where we create prototypes for various uh, sundries required for our soon-to-be passengers. Allow me to introduce the head foot foodstuff production. <laughs> Cooking way. <laughs> what? That's so cute. Pleasure to meet you all. 
Our work has involved no small amount of trial and error, but after many, many, many cycles of painstaking, painstaking labor, I dare say we have created the finest cuisine our guests could ask for. I learned all about the essential nutrients for a healthy, balanced diet from the reference materials we receive. Why? I am practically born to words from those invaluable pages. Naturally, we also considered to eat the considered ease of growth and production. We will not want we will not want for ingredients. I must insist you try some. We have fresh stock recently prepared on account of, of well because we just woke up and we're all quite famished. <laughs> Up along the platforms here, you'll find a storage unit full of, full to bursting with uh, delical, delectable delights. Help yourself to anything you like. You guys are a fucking adorable, dude. I cannot help myself. Your names, everything. I can only assume how you sound. Oh my god, those carrots are ginormous! Been doing a lot of photo taking. I wonder they were disabled. Let's go to... 
Where am I looking at? Where am I looking at? Alright, we exit g -pose and we're going to check out these cards. Let's just take a carrot for now. So, did any of our selections set your mouth to watering? Ah yes, fine choice, one of my personal favorites actually. Please dig in and I'm eager to hear what you think. Oh shit. Eat the carrot. With great trepidation, you take a bite of the carrot. You are taken by surprise when the blue juices burst from, from the carrot and dribble down your chin. As you take your second bite, you can feel your mental uh, facility sharpening. Your mind opens to the universe and and for, and for a brief moment, the mysteries of existence are simple, transformative truth. But the revelation of is fleeting. When you are at la uh, when you at last finish the carrot, a sweet yet sour aftertaste lingers in your tongue, and the number forty-two is in your mind. Forty-two. Oh, you, you find your mind suddenly so much sharper than usual. Ah, it's a boost. What did you think? Unlike, uh, wait, the philosopher's cast improved mental fortitude. Some something of a shock at first bite, but it's well worth the enhanced powers of co cognitive cognition. Uh, we have plenty of other varieties too: bleeding carrots to improve blood flow, dream carrots to help with sleep. So you see, we have carrot for every occasion. Thank you, cooking away. These carrots are. But what if I don't like carrots? I'm certain these. Demand for the Charlie. Mm. Yeah, but but what if I don't like carrots? <laughs> You're a bunny lady, though. I'm just asking hypothetically. You don't like carrots? Oh, you must mean you don't like them served in that fashion. Worry not. We pureed versions. We have pureed versions on hand if you haven't had the time to chew. I take it you you two had a wide assortment of carrots to choose from, and not else. <laughs> it's just <laughs> they just made carrots. <laughs> they just made carrots. If I may ask, what exactly did this col collaborators share with you about cuisine in Ethere in Ethereus? Surely you are away with their uh, abundance of dishes and foods you could emulate. Of course we are, but well, it's only quite recent that we established contact. Even holding a conversation was a struggle at first, so imagine their surprise when they sent Mountain books and documents with no clear instructions. The sheer amount of information was overwhelming. If it wasn't for the encyclopedia I found, we would have been at loss where to begin. And so we decided, rather than divide our resources to prepare a variety of, metal, of, of mad, middling and potentially unsatisfying meals, it would be more efficient to devote our efforts into the production of a single perfect food. Well, that's all and good, but man, can, man cannot live on raw carrots alone. Have you considered cooking them? 
You mean steaming, boiling, roasting, and like that? I suppose we can prepare carrots in other ways, but our prior concern was efficiency, and what's more efficient than sinking your teeth into a carrot fresh from production? Rather strange approach to take take on from one name cooking way, isn't it? Well, technically speaking, cooking way isn't even my given name. When first created, we were named in old tongue, you know? That otherwise in impenetrable uh, parlance the Witcher speaks. Mm. After we see, receive a great, great tome of words, a dictionary that is, from our collaborators, we learn your language. Adverbs, gerdins, gir pr present, present constitute, continuous verb, conjunctions, just the basics. Then we found we found the terms related to our given tasks and use them for them to form names. Aren't they helpful? No, not really. But it does explain a great deal. <laughs> These fucking creatures are cute. Where folk did say that kind deems such a change necessary. When the rest of your people arrive, we want to be certain they understand immediately what each of us does. You've never been able to pronounce our original names anyway. Oh god, they're so fucking cute. I see. Oh, I hope our critiques, such such as they are, were helpful to you. Though, if you should decide to reserve uh, Flora and Fiona for that for Mithrais as well, you would be able to offer the passengers more balanced diet. Until such a day. One I pray comes sooner than later. It would appear that it's not but carrots on the menu. <laughs> oh god, that's so adorable. <laughs> Cooking way, living way, building way. <sighs> Alright. The coffer. I think we, we had our fill of carrots now. For now. Let's move on to another necess necessity, shall we? Our clothing production is sure impressed. This way. Oh lord, I cannot wait to see this. Oh god, this is gonna be so funny. Alright, let's see. Talk to Living Way. <laughs> the clothing production. They gotta make these things playable characters, man. It cannot just be an NPC. They have to make it. I understand it's the challenge of making new playable characters, but jeez. I'll pay for that. Here we are, the apparel production station. We've chosen to employ more traditional methods for this task, creation magics. Hide me methods for this task, creation magics. Heidelin and her infinite wisdom blessed us with a uh, self-same affinity for magic her, per her people possesses. We have, other we have other amazing talents, of course, and I know you're dying to hear about them. But I will regale you, regale you with the details another time. That said, we did run into a spot of trouble at first. Our magic uh, alone was not sufficient to see our work done. In the end, we discovered crystallized aether was a wonderful catalyst that could provide us with the extra vis we needed. My, how resourceful. Ah, oh, the sweet sound of recognition. You will also be impressed to hear we've we're all your habits of changing attire to match your chosen profession. For the sake of efficiency, I presume. <laughs> sure, why not? It's <laughs> also been taken into account with our designs. But why take my word for it when you can simply try on our clothes? Make yourselves known to the workers, and they will see the see to see to the rest. All right. All right, bye. Alright, let's see what clothes you guys have. Oh, 
Oh no, restless low 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 point. Ah, it's you, one of the visitors from Etheris. Etheris. Goodness me, mapping away wasn't kidding. You are really smaller than than the Watcher. All right. Oh right. You're here to set, try and set a clothes, yes? What would you have me fashion for you today? And not for the bodies, my bloodlust. Something simple yet functionally fashionable and redefined ensemble. Fashionable, right? Uh, <laughs> um, this will only take a moment. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, finish <laughs> a perfect fit if I do say so myself. I'll be honest, I know nothing of fashion, let alone fashion of, of a thyrus, but. I'd wager no one down there has ever worn anything like this. This fine awesome, uh, ensemble. Perhaps you can start a new trend. No thanks. Lord have mercy on these guys. Would you look at that speechless in there? I thought you may not like it. <laughs> if you mind trying something else, why not speak to my fellow artisans? I'm sure they'll be happy to oblige. You must continue wearing the garments in order to, prog prog to, pro to progress. You will change back to normal garments if you move too far away. <laughs> Look to the map for the garment changer area for effect. Speak to the restless low for it to restore or prolong the garment change. <sighs> oh god. said you'd be coming or how can I help you you wish to try my clothes really of course it would be my honor did you have anything in mind go anything with a little more flair I'm looking for clothes with altogether different design surprise me surprise me I think I can handle that let's see that should do <laughs> it's hideous. It's relatively a new concept, incorporating an idea that's never been tried with clothing before. Fragrance, can you smell the the carrots? <laughs> These guys are so cute. Ah, simply divine. Oh my god. I was worried how how the concept would turn out when people put the put the proof. Put to the proof. Proof. I'm put to the proof, but it looks stunning on you. Won't you go and show living away? I'm sure she's eager to see what we'd come up with. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, these clothes. Living way. <laughs> look, look what we have on. Living way, look what we have on. Oh my god, dude. Oh lord. I cannot believe this. 
<laughs> these, these things are so cute. There's a living way. My, don't look, don't we look splendid. The result of much trial and error, but I know quality of work when I see it. Shame you need and speak. I, I can see your adorn, adornation for the moon and we little parrots in your eyes. Little parrots, little parrots. No doubt your friend feel the same having s sampled our creation. Oh, here they go. Here they go. Here they go, dude. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrible. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh lord. Oh my goodness. I can't stop laughing. I can't stop smiling. It's just so adorable. <laughs> Look at that script. <laughs> they insisted we sample all their concept. Here we return. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, this ensemble, ensemble most becoming. Ensemble. <laughs> I can't take it. I can't take it, dude. I can't take it, bro. Uh. <laughs> it's so cute. They don't know what to say. I think it's past time we return these clothes. <laughs> oh lord. <clears throat> I was so confident our garments would meet you meet you with your approval. Meet with your approval. Over whatever whatever are we doing wrong? Poor thing. It's not your fault, Living Away. You tried. The Watcher taught us that. In his time, everyone wore the same robes. To do otherwise was against social etiquette. We thought we could appeal to modern taste by tailoring the robes to specific professions. But... You're designing for them, not humans. Or, uh... Or our race. Please, you mustn't be so hard on yourself. Should we resort to eval- um, Evacuating the people of Ethereus, they will most certainly have no need f of your attire. It is clear you spend no effort in addressing our needs, but you must understand that we are not quite so humongous. <laughs> Speaking for myself. What I what I wear now better suits my taste, even if it's a if it's a in, inferior make. But there are others whose choice may be influenced by traditions or personal experience. Rather than make assumptions for the whole, you must consider the individual and their potential preferences. I fear we underestimated the complexity and diversity of our people. Even if you memorize every tome we receive, I doubt we'd have fared much better. Maybe you're doing we're doing you a disservice to show to show to show you with our baubles and flippery. What? Globals and flippery, thinking it was for your benefit when you'd be better off on your own. There are some who might agree. People who prefer to keep others at arm's length, even when they know they shouldn't. As one such former fool, I'd like to ask you a question. This plan to evacu evacuate and escape the final days, did it kind of count the reflection of the source as well? Oh, just so cute. 
Not that I'm aware of. We're born of Highland's love for Ethiris. Ethiris. And the salvation of the people in the star. And that star alone has been over aim. Our have been our aim. Surely it's better to devote ourselves to saving one world than to divide our, our, our efforts across 14 and risk failing them all? I suppose you're right. <laughs> Might we have leave to explore best ways borrow under unattended? You have given us much to think about. Well, I certainly. Until later, then. I mean, I should like to accompany thee a while longer. Really? I mean, you're more than welcome to. There was actually something I wish to speak to you about. Let's be off then, shall we? What's this fidgeting little parade all about, huh? What are you fidgeting about, huh? Mm. <sighs> mm, I apologize. I was trying to spy. I wasn't trying to spy or anything. been talking about the visitors come from Athars and I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. I was excited at first, but now now I'm worried. What if people of Athars refuse to come? What if we can't save them? It's clear we've made a mess of things. Oh, but wait, you still haven't visited the domiciles. Once you see them, you'll understand how wonderful the moon truly is. I'm sure of it. I'll be waiting for you by the teleporter near the entrance. Oh, and the name's Growing Way. By the way, see you soon. You're here. You're really here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry. What should I call you? Koraru. Crikey. Even your names are in the name music. Well, Cora will be using the cell part to enter the residential area whenever you're ready. Let's go see the residential area, shall we? Ready in the teleporter. Private audience, as thou didst request, for reasons I know not. Just a precaution. I'd rather I didn't have to ask the question at all, but I take my responsibilities very, very seriously. What's going on? The mood shifted. Gracious of me to belittle the efforts of the Indine. Lovely, Zenda. 
sentiment, really. But the disappointment is writ plain on your comrades' faces. It's oh. all the more frustrating since no one will come out and say what they find wanting. I like your clothes. I like your clothes. And your big carrots. faults in our work, we need to know. We can, we will do better. But time is not on our side. The final days will wait for no one. If your people are to be saved, we must take quick and decisive action. This vessel must serve as a home for as many passengers as possible for far longer than we may like. Which brings me to my request. Our collaborators on Atheris are doing what they can to prepare for the voyage. Would you be willing to go and lend them a hand? Having seen the moon for yourself, you could speak to its many splendors, learn what else they might require, and assuage whatever concerns they have. We're not leaving. Wherefore wouldst thou entrust me with such a task? How to put it? You're the only one who appears not to be wholly unsatisfied with our work. Or quite good at pretending that's the case, at least. Calm, collected, tactful to a fault. Very particular with your words, too. You understand that, in the face of great danger, one cannot pursue perfection at the expense of practicality. The difficult choices must often be made for the greater good. <sighs> and so fate doth conspire to set my feet upon this path once more. Come again? <clears throat> exactly what I say. Ah, idle musings. Tis no trifle thou dost ask. Yet full well do I understand the urgency and necessity. I... Oh dear me! Dear me! I was terribly sorry for the mix-up! Oh god. It's a bit of a malfunction. I hadn't realized the residential quarters were inaccessible, you see. But you're still in one piece. So... All's well that ends well, yes? Uh, won't happen again. I promise. That was embarrassing. I promise to be more careful from now on. Since the residential are closed now, I rerouted the teleport and allowed to travel between floors instead. Hopefully, it proves useful in the meantime. A, sh a shame you wouldn't see it though. You really would like it. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I'm, I'm so tired. It may not seem like it, but we've been planning for this far longer than I care to admit. Each time we woke up, we've looked, we'd have long discussions about how to serve as many as you can, save as many as you as, as we can. Felt like everyone had an opinion on this or that. But one thing we all agreed upon was that people are serious, are serious take action to save themselves until it's far too late. That's why we're striving to make the moon or uh, oblivion to get them. The resident will not be up to the necessary standards just yet, but there are plenty of other places we've seen. You've already had a look at the Caratorium, but wait until you see what's waiting for you at the east of the bar. Follow me. Thank you. 
Ooh. I'm so fucking tired, boys and ladies. Good, you're here. Through that door is the, great, is the greatest and slay on you. We deem it as such because it's the veil to, to end all veils. The most beautiful forest you'll ever see. We understand that people of Tharis enjoy taking leisurely walks through nature, natural spaces and like so. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. How about we start with a nice stroll in the fountain? This way. Nice little forest. Uh, it'd be better if it was full on nature. So what did you think of the forest? Is it, isn't it positively pleasant? Simply sublime. I can't see the forest or trees. I didn't see anything. Wait, you don't mean those crystals in the out there? There's a transcendent that's buying your face. You're pulling my tail. You're in the forest right now. Building this place will will was a challenge, let me tell you. Since we were born born here, we'd never seen trees in person, in, in person before, let alone a forest. The information sent by collaborators were quite enlightened, but after much deliberation, we decided to use crystalline construction as a place of living trees. And thanks to our atmospheric calculation system, this place produces as as air as clean as as that you find in the forest of Atharis. Hmm. The clouds is here behind us, Bob, but a rather large whistle adorning its top adorning its top plays a vital role in supplying us with fresh water. Much time and effort was spent take making the most spherical of spheres, and I dare say unparalleled around this speaks for itself. I enjoy nothing more than a nice long stretch and, and a spot of relaxing. However, it comes up here. You look like you could do a, with a stretch yourself. For the intense, why not stretch and relax? So sleepy, guys. <sighs> That's the spirit. I feel more relaxed simply watching you. It's not worth the many years spent building this place. It's not too much to ask. I've always been dream of a mind to take a walk through the forest with some of this earth. Could we maybe? Ah, uh, you will? Oh, be still my quivering whiskers. Uh, in order to proceed to the objective, we we'll make a it. Get. I might end it in. I might end it soon, guys. thinking Cora that I could be more helpful to you by teaching you a little bit about the moon and what we do. 
When we first created the moon, the sole purpose was to hold Zuljiark, and there was absolutely nothing to be found here. Eventually, Hanlon gave us our first task. Finish the moon with a propulsion system it's capable of facilitating travel to other stars. Propulsions. We also had a lot of time to get done. 6,000 years, give or take. Wow. But anyway, let's keep going. This this may come as a surprise, but we didn't we didn't begin building the habitable areas until after the population systems were ready. Considering how long it took, I wish we'd start sooner. Who would have thought we'd, ne we'd need 4,000 years to make it all to make all of this? It certainly wasn't work you dare rush either. We had to create interception and countless support. <laughs> Some which would never be in operation until hundreds of years later. And there, and then there was a brief period where we our productivity came to a screeching halt. When the bizarre red satellite was set up from Ethereus, the, Al the Allegan's mischief, I think. We thought maybe some new nefarious actor was coll colluding with Zodiac, and we would do, and we could do was stand, and all we can do was stand by and brace ourselves for the worst. I can tell you how relieved we were on one side when informed of this destruction. Oh yes, there was so much joy as humming that day. Hey, do you notice anything in particular about the treetops? I mean, apart from the fact, the fact that they're massive crystal and not trees? I'll give you a hint. It's golden rings em emanating from the glowing spheres. Along with its device fixed near the ceiling, they fulfill a role similar to our sun and do so better even. The sun and s similar celestial uh, objects in the great expanse radiates energy that is harmful to your bodies. These rings shield you from the energy while allowing you to breathe the perfect amount of sunlight. Or rather, a close approximation of it. <laughs> Pretty impressive, wouldn't you say? Oh, and you look closely, you'll see different types of trees and have so ever so slightly different curvatures. Yes, indeed, this forest is truly the greatest. Alright, the propulsion systems and habitat facilities were completed about 2,000 years ago, and with that, the most important features were fit for purpose, which was all, all well and good, except we, we still knew absolutely nothing about the present day people of Ethereus. Ethereus, why not go and visit Ethereus yourself, you might ask? Strictly forbidden with our technology, or knowledgeable. Or knowledge of the moon's true purpose exploited or e for evil ends. The results could be disastrous. Then there was a few more rejoinings and it became increasingly difficult to converse with Hyla. Fearful we might lose the ability to communicate with her altogether, we beseech her to find people of ours we could trust to help. We were quite fortunate everything worked out as it did. With the exception of routine inspections and maintenance. Eventually she did and when her powers was mine and able to speak to them directly for a short while. She shared with with them everything we could, including our knowledge of the heavens and the means of travel here to the moon. They certainly didn't waste any time with what we were thought we thought them. 
No more than a few years after that, our col collaborators found a means to convey message and supplies and supplies to us from down below. With all the letters, books, and other resources they sent, we learned enough to start making more meaningful changes to the moon. Anyhow, you're you're here. Hopefully, enjoy yourself as much as I am. I knew we, I knew you would like gr the greatest in in slave. I knew it. Thank you again for coming here, by the way. I know I was just a walk through the forest, but it meant a lot to me. There you are. I take you over to receive a grand tour. A shame we missed it. Growing I've been looking all over for you. Oh, I. Uh, it's about the teleporter to the residential area? No, never mind that. We have more pressing matters at hand. We will be calling an emergency meeting shortly, and your attendance is required. Really, I can imagine why you need me there, but if you insist, I can't imagine. We won't be, we won't be away long, so you are more than welcome to continue looking about the borough. But now, come along, giving way, growing way. Before we arrive, you seem to be in the midst of a rousing conversation with your guide. Did you learn anything of importance? Too much reading. A lot of reading. It's starting to loose me. I spent 12,000 years. I'm tired. With the appointed hour fast approaching, I can certainly understand their restlessness, but still. It remains to be seen if people can be per persuaded to evacuate when there are no signs of the final days. What's more, the technology of this place defies imagination. I doubt there are many who would really come to terms with living in such surroundings. Whoever those collaborators are, unless they are possessed with the world's most charming personalities or a means to forcibly evacuate people, they will meet with a great deal of resistance. Even if we, we've faced with an annihilation, the decision for to, to forsake all one's nose cannot be made lightly. Forgive me, friend, but I must beg you to leave. There's another matter which it begs for my attention. Of course, we can accompany you if you like. Nay, that will not be necessary, if you will excuse me. Mm. Just clear now that the fact that lay ahead of us, Pre preparation for the vacuum of Thoris is indeed crucial, but I'm not yet willing to forsake our world and its reflections, and I trust I am not alone in my reverence. Oh lord. this word I can guarantee you I won't know this word reticence reticence what gear color did Ernia seem strange to you more so than usual I mean I know he has he has perchant for keeping his own counsel but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried would you go and see if he's all right? Your stroll and I will remain here and see what else we can learn about the final days. If you hurry, perhaps we can catch up, catch up with him. Back to tricks. Where's the teleporter?
Where's the teleportation? Oh, there's the destination right there. to be heading towards the entrance of the best way store. Ventures off to somewhere in there for reasons unknown. You must better carefully. You might sense your presence. Another one of those following quests. I hate these quests. Has Russ been streaming three hours? Shit. I might end it soon after this question. Is it now? Bring Andre.
Thine arrival is timely as ever. Thou didst chance to overhear my conversation with Living Way, I presume? It was not mine intent to move in shadow. Nevertheless, I have been asked to do that and more yet again. Is it so plain that these strangers could intuit it at a glance? My capacity for silence and secrecy? duplicity. And Grahatia did contrive to deliver the first at the price of his own life. I was complicit in the scheme. A sacrifice averted for a mercy. Would that I could say the same for Menphilia. One life for one world. And by that bloody bargain brokered by my hand were the scions robbed of a dear comrade and Flamine, her beloved daughter. Two souls, whose selflessness was beyond measure, whose resolve was unshakable. They would not be moved even had I thought to protest. But protest I did not. Far from it. I pushed them forward. No effort did I make to seek out alternatives. Ones that would not demand such terrible costs. That resignation weighs heavy on my mind, as does the memory of another lost to mine inaction. Dearest Moonbreather, who did face death unflinching, that we might secure a means to bring low the Asians. In her hour of need, I did naught. Dutiful disciple of Louisois, ever looking to the greater good. Had I shut mine eyes and bid her live instead, mayhap she would be with us today. Selfish wants born of everlasting regrets. Most days I put them from my mind, but could think of naught else when asked to swallow the same bitter draught. Subterfuge and sacrifice. May have the right moral choice, but one I regard with great trepidation. The calamity of Amorot was a tragedy beyond reckoning. One which must never again come to pass. Thus must we struggle. Haunted by ghosts of those we have lost. Clinging to those we pray we can yet save. But what of those we cannot? How do we make peace with the dreadful algebra of necessity? Damn. Sometimes there's no right answer. Have faith in yourself and your decision. Take heart and protect well those you can. With that, we had time to weigh the cost. Sage counsel indeed. I see. Wisdom as befits a great worm. Curious that he should think thee in need of such encouragement. Strange. Scarcely can I remember when last we spoke alone, and so candidly. I thank thee. For all my supposed skill with words, I find it difficult to express such private thoughts. As for the Loperitz proposition, I will take time and consider how to respond. It would be to our mutual benefit if we could converse more openly with our aspiring caretakers. 
A concern I should be glad to address on the Scion's behalf. To dispense with all pretense and bear one's heart to another is a frightening thing indeed. But we cannot move forward ere we take that bold first step. A lesson I have learned many times before. And today. Truth, my reason for traveling higher was to effect a plan of my own, a plan of which may pave my way forward for us all. May, may, I say that for no guaranteed success, this is the reason I set out alone in failure, should it come, would be mine to bear alone. Yet thou standest before me with a prefer preferred hand and open heart. This would remiss me and refuse thy amenity, and so I ask, would thou join in my endeavor? I thank thee for accompanying me. This is a simple plan, in truth, we shall not only long away from Westway's morrow, we shall not be in it will be long. Difficult decisions must be must needs to be made in the coming days, but I nevertheless believe we are all of one mind in our desire to save the people of Athars. To make clear our resolve <laughs> to the war efforts, I would offer them a gift that's making Doth required most a singular ingredient. Alright, boys. What's this? Item 533 here. Hmm. They're stronger? They're stronger? Ugh. Oh shit. Call it a night. Where do I have to go? Um, where is this? Let's talk to him. So I got the legs and the shoes, so there's a chest. this of aiming the augmented exarctic top of aiming retrieve materia drill for the aiming augment escaping all makers is also that
switch the gloves. Well, I'll get the scavian. Well, I'm still wearing it. Also, oh, the augmented crippler shows I'm aiming. Crippler shows I'm aiming. I gotta get rid of the crippler now. Retrieve materia. Eater Mars, oh wow. Three thirty six, three thirty six, three thirty. Wow. Workers were the the gear. No, it's not. I have to go to. Hey, abundance is one. Excellent. Oh, so he's gonna give his ether. A chance to spy the aggression when you're crossing the exit in, in, in East Rural Prison. Using a spell, uh, I believe there's. A suffice through gift file fashion. The magic requires considerable concentration, however. Might I prevail upon the the stand with Ultra Marine? Anger. Thank you, my good man. Oh, wait, more? So I put the stress. This would be the good opportunity to see what Dragon remains to flex on his word. This dud. I imagine a uh, rare occasion with a conjurer. Mine own, but it's never was the most useful skill. The resulting product is an admittedly a process of no bad pre, pre, pre natural properties, but it's a huge, but it's a huge, is one of mine own choosing, which I pray the Lollapurus will appreciate. Or are you not? Oh, thank God, I thought you had been eating or had perhaps fallen into the crater. Crystal has been looking for all all over for you, Cora. She says she needs to speak with you about something most urgent and dire, even. It was also quite clear that she wishes to speak with Cora alone, which means I'm afraid you must stay behind her, Andrew. But worry not, I just have a you need help with the air and deliver a package from the Watcher's Palace is the best way to It's quite large and heavy, perhaps too heavy. With we pull our purse and we're oh dude, what are you fucking doing? Well, I suppose I should be going then. How about an extra prayer hand before I go and meet this all? Where I shall be long. Uh, 
Alright, motherfucker. Alright, now's the perfect time. We go to Limsa. Fix this girl up. And then I'm gonna call it a night, guys. Thank you all for watching. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's go. Was it? 12? Yeah, it was 12. We can take that out. Move that. Do we have a blue? She looks. Stixie. Not quite to my liking. Um let's show gear. Okay, nice. I like the color. Inventory. Do we have anything for machinists? No. Um. This is the bracelet coffer, headgear coffer, footgear coffer. Do it for me, boys. I'm calling it a night. Thank you all for watching the game. I had fun. I hope you guys can continue to support the channel. I stream for a little over 11 hours. 11 hours exactly. Thank you all, guys. That's it for me. Goodbye. This is.